What is up, everyone? Welcome to either Bear Reacts, the conservative Chicanos are free from Fetters Grove, and everybody else that is live streaming across this. We got a doozy of a show for you guys. It's not a show that I usually do on one of my channels, but I'm excited to do it. We got some big things going on, and a lot of people are super excited. If you were able to see the Easter egg that was in the thumbnail you know exactly what this is about but i'm gonna go ahead and bring up one of my co-hosts today because there's a bunch of us on here the first one i'm gonna bring up is somebody that you guys know very well his name is free from fetters grove what's up fetty you're muted what's going on brother i just realized that we are not streaming any of the channels but salute to everybody uh much love and respect free from fetters grove america baby uh trump 2024 let's go um fuck dylan um we'll get into all that much love and respect to everybody in the chat i'm trying to let everybody know what to do and where to go because we're not live for some reason that's insane all, all right, right i'm letting everybody know i'm taking care of it though okay the next person i'm gonna bring up is your favorite cousin but i'll let him do that What's up, hoodie? <laughs> YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. It's your favorite uncle. It's your favorite cousin. It's your favorite brother, Drizzy Dre, the hood conservative. And I'm going to be back real shortly. I'm in the studio just getting the computer fired up. I forgot we was really doing the lives. <laughs> <laughs> all right. The next guy I'm going to bring up is somebody you know and love from all over YouTube. The one, the only, the real Gregford, Greg, Kelly. What's up, Gregford? I'm good. Y'all know what time it is. I'm just in the back, taking a blow, seeing what everybody up to. Good to see everybody in the chat. Y'all know what I'm doing. I'm staying back here, man, of my business. All right. And now we got somebody that you guys love. He gives that, that love advice. He gives that family culture. He gives that good stuff. That you get on YouTube and TikTok. You know him. I know him. Everybody knows this man. Gary mother freaking lamb. How's it going, my brother? You know, that was a beautiful introduction. I just want to say I appreciate you, Bear, for that. That was beautiful. You, done, <laughs> you touched my heart on that one. Thank you. Hi, everybody. How is everybody doing? Uh, thanks for having me. And uh, let's get into this. All right. And the other host of the show tonight. You know, you love, he's everywhere. He's the masked Avenger himself, Gator7. What's up, Gator? Fuck you, <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> good well, to see good. everybody. How's it going, guys? Doing good, man. Doing good. All right. We got an extra special guest tonight. You know him from the chats. You've known him from the original channel, The Angry Viking. Mr. South Pa Rocky Balboa. How's it going, everybody? <laughs> South Paw, salute, brother. Salute, man. Nice to see you, bro. You guys too, man. All right. Now we got another super special guest that's been part of the original crew dating back. You know him. He has a bushy tail. Silver Fox. What's up, Hello, brother? How's everyone doing? We're doing well. Gary, Gator, for everybody. Everyone. Oh. The smooth sound of Silver Fox. The, sa the sultry sound of Silver Fox. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like our Uber special guest is not in the house just yet, but we'll get started. So a lot of this stuff. No, go ahead, go ahead. All right. A lot of this stuff that that we've it's been coming out, it's been leaking out that's affected this group going all the way back, you know, almost what, like 18 months. Um I want to start off with uh with Southpaw. Southpaw, what do you what do you got to say about all the, a lot of the stuff that's been leaking out? It's uh the truth is finally out. That's it. It's uh the guy's a con man. And he'll he'll be exposed for it. Well, I mean, if nobody, I mean, if nobody's caught on to the, the, the theme of the show, um, there's been some pretty interesting developments going on over on TikTok with a mutual friend of all of ours and uh, our former, former leader 
uh, in the community. So, uh, you know, we, we just like to clear the air on a lot of things. I think it's going to be a, a very he uh, healing for the community uh, as a whole. I know it, just in the last couple of days, it's done some pretty cool shit with this group right here. Um, so uh, we'd like to share some of that with you. And uh, there's, you know, this is, this is, this, this is, yeah, this is going to be a good one. Oh yeah, especially we got we got what a lot of people don't know. Our super uber special guest is gonna expose a lot of stuff that I think a lot of the community needs to know. A lot of community needs to hear, um, especially in that group, understanding where a lot of the stuff went down that you guys all know about. Because I know a lot of people missed out on a lot of stuff, but it's gonna happen. Gary, do you have anything to add to this? No, I'm ready to get into it. Gregford. Hey, the floor open, bro. That's rock and roll. Lock and load. Uh, Fetty, do you have anything to add? Uh, I'm ready to go, man. Um, I mean, I just, you know, it's been a long time coming. This man has done a lot of people dirty. Um, a lot of people gave this individual lots of funds. And uh, this individual did a lot of people dirty. People literally sacrificed their life for them. All right. The uber super special guest is ready. Are you guys ready for her? I'm ready. Bring her right. I'm You're ready. Yeah. Let's rip Yo. the fucking band-aid off. And oh, let's and by the way, but, but by the way, before we bring our friend in, let's just make it clear that we know that our friend's going to be in here watching. So, we just want you to know before we rip this band-aid off and get down this path, you know, that you know what you did and you know how you handled it and you know how you you treated your brothers people that you called brothers everybody in this fucking group right here you know how you treated people that were willing to take a bullet for you people you, you endangered a lot of people's lives for yep. a fraud for a for a grift and a real man had he even started this as a grift would have gone into it and realized what what he was surrounded by the people that he was surrounded by and you know somebody with a fucking soul that would have changed them on the spot but obviously that didn't happen and we're gonna really get into this and you're gonna see exactly and my friend had you just walked away had you just kept your fucking mouth shut we wouldn't be here but you're too much, too much of a narcissist you're too much of an Adonis, wanna be Adonis. You ain't shit but a worn out Adidas. <laughs> <laughs> and, to that, and to that, I say fuck him. All right, guys. I'm gonna bring on our super special guest. You guys know her from TikTok. I'll let her introduce herself on that, but you know her from TikTok. She has a big following out there. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Mama T. How you doing there, Mama T? Hello, boys. Before we get started, Mama T, tell us who you are, how you know this individual, and let us know what this is all about. Well, um, his official name now is B.O.T. Um, somebody else say it, because please, it makes me gag. Big old, uh, big old, old Texan. For those Thank don't know you. that for those that don't know, we're talking about big old Texan, uh, the good old angry Viking. Uh, go ahead and continue, man. I was gonna go yeah. big old tampon, but since y'all wanted to be respectful, <laughs> <laughs> big old grifter. <laughs> All right, so yes, I big old am. Big hopper. Yeah, something, something uh, like that. We Dylan the yeah. dildo. Dylan oh the dildo. I'm just Dylan saying. Oh my goodness gracious! So okay. I am Sorry. his. Wife, who he divorced. Well, I divorced him, actually. Let's backtrack that. Um, but now I'm his wife again. I was not the one that he was married to when he was AB. Right. I am she the one blonde. before and now again after. But well, we need oh, to pick your brain, Mama T. 
So we so can get a little God. bit of information from this. Wow. I think you know uh, something. Seriously, from, huh? And from what I understand, uh, uh, Mama T, there's like, there's a paper trail and stuff, and there's like information regarding things that were done with certain <laughs> items and so forth. We would love to ask some questions of you, if you don't mind. Absolutely. Ask away. Like I, I think, said, hey guys, um, hey guys, I really don't second. care. I, I told him if he ever screwed me and our children over again, that it would be the worst decision he would ever make in his life. Hmm. I, I, and who I has custody of the children? Wait, hang on. Betty, hang on. I, I, I mean, hold on. Dale trying, oh, trying to say oh, something. Dale oh, trying to say something. My bad. Hey guys, so listen. Well, what I think we should do for her followers, for context of who we are, we should, you know, introduce ourselves Absolutely. to her community as well. So, oh yeah, and could you say how you know him? Like from that yeah. time, absolutely. absolutely, we would be more absolutely. than happy to. Absolutely. And then, so Dale, I'll I'll let you start since you're. I, I think yeah. that's so your they most people know me as Silver Fox and or Dale or whatever. I was uh, the Dylan's number two in well before the Angry Viking. It was Facebook, and uh, you know everyone followed him on um, Facebook, and he did you know, pretty good things to start, right? He was uh, very convincing of his whole story and what he wanted to do for the country, right? And this is where I met all these guys at. They met me here. And then, uh, you know, after after TikTok, I'm sorry, after Facebook, he, you know, wanted to do something else. So we came up with the idea of the Angry Viking and to go to Louisville, Kentucky right to march against uh grandmaster jay and his goon squad right and uh that was one of our first big rallies we have tens of thousands of people there and uh you know then just went so on and so forth from there and uh but that's just who i am like i know the ins and outs of this guy like you know for years before Everything went to shit, so that's who I am. Uh, Gator, I think you should go next. Yeah, I was a so, Gator for sure. sure. Uh, I'm Gator Charlie, and uh, I was his personal security and head of security for the Angry Viking uh, organization, and uh, one of the one of the three that uh, was part of the leadership of the group. I think that pretty much sums up what I did, right? All right, All right. let's go. Let's go with Southpaw next. Nope. Uh, yeah, I'm, they, they call me Southpaw or Mike. I was the Wisconsin chapter president for Angry Southpaw, or for, uh, sorry, for Angry Viking. And uh, I got to know him, all these guys pretty deeply. And Dylan, I always had... A little bit of reserves about Dale have never and Charlie never and uh, we are large supporters of the angry Viking myself and my wife and we got taken advantage of by Dylan so it's uh, Wait, somebody, somebody was taken advantage of by him Oh, yeah. imagine that. Imagine are are that. you for real right now? No way. Just so we understand the context of uh, uh, how how much Southpaw gave of himself, of his family, give me an estimate of how much money you donated to, to this individual. Oh, it's in the thousands. Thousands. Probably close to eight grand. Yeah, probably more than that. Oh, yeah, that's probably more than that, Southpaw. Um, yeah, you're well, being very modest, Southpaw, and we know that, but it's all good, brother. I mean, not just, and it bro. wasn't just financial, man. It was it was your time, your your you know your your heart, your investment. You know, at that time in in this country's history, we all put ourselves online and on the line to stand up for what we believed in. Well, yeah, you know, he was supposed to show up to Kenosha for the Kyle Rittenhouse thing. Mm. And uh, there was money raised for that. And then all of a sudden there was no money for that. And he never showed up. And they, uh, <laughs> Wait. We, had, we had other people 
that were part of the organization that drove seven to ten hours that showed up, but Dylan never showed up. The next individual I want to go to will be I was gonna go to Gary, but he's not here. Let's go with the real Greg Kelly. I don't know why you want to go with me, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm the young buck, bro. Well, not really the youngest buck. You know what I'm saying? But I came into the Viking family last, I believe. And, um, you know, I listen, I'm not going to go into a, a ton of detail. I'll just say this. You know, when you meet people, you get the opportunity to rub elbows with people, man. You, you find out real quick who they are. I mean, I found out who he was, who Dylan was real fast. Uh, just watching him, you know, like the brother was just saying, you know, people going places, showing up. He ain't showing up. But everybody was there, you know, to take that stand that we know we needed to take for America. Uh, and he was nowhere to be found. And, you know, I know for a fact leaders don't leave their men in the field. I mean, that, that's just that's just what it is. You know that. Uh, but I watched him take advantage of people, people I care about, people, some of the people in this chat, some of the people on this panel. Um, I tried to, you know, have a word with him on a one-on-one. He never communicated with me. He wouldn't talk to me at all. And if I were him, I probably wouldn't have either. You know, I poke holes in bullshit. I think it's fun. And so that's what that's what it would have been. Uh, but I did meet some outstanding people as a result of his fucking buffoonery. Um, I developed a strong relationship uh, with all the men that's up here, with the exception of Sal Paul. Me and him don't really know each other that well. Uh, and Dale, we don't know each other too well. But, you know, we've been... Uh, you know, in circles together. And uh, I have I can only say they're good people. You know, Fetty, uh, I met a lot of good folks. Uh, you know, me and Bear, I mean, that's my best friend at this point. Gay to fuck him because I can't ever get myself close enough to his ass. <laughs> and the one time I was close to his ass, somebody else had their hands on his ass. <laughs> <laughs> so I just couldn't get a hold of him. But anyway, yeah, man, I, I, I love the brothers up here. Uh, like I said, I met some good people as a result of this dude. But... I'm hoping that, you know, vengeance, that the Lord pays that brother back for what he's done in mercy, of course, because, we don't. none of us deserve what we get all the time. Uh, but, you know, he needs to stop, you know, hurting folks and taking people's money and shit, bro. That's all I got. All right. The next person I'm going to go with is going to be uh, Gary Lamb. Um, what do you uh, what do you want to say? Well, not much. I just wanted to say, hey, everybody, once again. Um, so I, I'm also one of the ones that came in on the tail end of the situation. And I kind of just got swept up into it um, when it comes down to, yes, yes, Hood. Like, when you really look <laughs> at it, come on, let's be real. We that we was like three months out. These guys have been dealing with, with this guy forever. We got in when he was at his height, height you know? So we was kind of on the tail end, too. I ain't had but so many opportunities to talk to the guy so uh you know i look at it like i just got swept up into it but i did see some interesting interesting things it was a couple of people that we was talking heavily in backstage trying to figure out what was going on with a lot of stuff and oh, um, i got we'll get to it baby we'll get to it i promise yeah sorry guys yeah. my guys are asking questions um guys i promise you right now it's just like the introduction of everybody You'll understand more about what we're doing. Um, they're just introducing themselves because that way you'll you'll we you'll want, we want you to have context. Yeah, yeah, like so when we say what we're saying, we, we weren't just fucking, people in the chat that he blocked. We were right. just we weren't just fucking some some young chick that he uh, scammed online and came and stayed with on the couch for for a couple of weeks. We were family. Yep. He, called, he called everybody in this group right here family. He called he know the meaning of that. He called us all brother. Yep. We're going to show you what family means, brother. Okay. With that said, I'm done. <laughs> I got nothing else to say. You guys. Hey, Gary. You, 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 you. I love you. All right. The next individual we're, I'm going to call on is Hood Conservative. Yeah. What's up, my brother? Hey, listen, you know, old hoodie, you know, this Viking situation, it was a very interesting one. You know, honestly, you know, did you know, listen, I, I look at yes, him being a fraud and all of that is scary. But I really met a lot of people, you know, especially, you know, the guys on this panel, you know, especially meeting them all in person, man. And you know, look, we had we had uh we had some good times, man. You know, what I mean, meet listen, meeting Gary in person. I mean, now mind you, I probably 
I still haven't met Gary anyway. You know, me and Gary are probably still, you know, be as close as we are, you know, anyway, you know what I mean? But not Gator, you know what I mean? Like, you know, I met Gator and then, I mean, you know, Fetty, you know, like, come on, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, you know what I mean? But like Bear, you know, and everybody, Bear was around, you know, like, you know, we go back, like a lot of that, you know, back then, it was, it was fun, man. It was, it was a good time, man. It really introduced me to a, a different, a different you know side of america you know what i mean so yeah you am i gonna beat his ass up and and do a lot of joking around <laughs> and bullshitting today I, absolutely because this motherfucker was in a dress you know what yeah. i mean how the fuck you go from an ak to a goddamn dress you know what i mean but you know like listen i i, I you know what i mean i wouldn't have met you know southpaw you know what i mean i wouldn't have met Dale. i wouldn't have met gator i wouldn't have met fetty you know those four guys you know for certain you know what i mean you know greg probably i, I, I might have uh, met greg you know coming along oh, whoa whoa there, whoa you what you I mean mike don't forget the airbnb <laughs> oh no I'm, I'm saying you still you, you still you still you you still would have came along with bear i'm talking about people that specifically you know like i wouldn't have met him unless you know i came through that angry viking way you know what i mean like bear and stuff like we had done stuff on the channel so like or oh, like a lot of that stuff had you know happened pre well i don't know wait because if, if i'm not mistaken bear bear yeah i don't know i think bear reached out to me for viking if that that might have been how it went or something yeah like i that. i met you through uh me and you met first and you were on that live we did like three lives together and yeah. then um i got you in touch with silver fox i think it was and then you started going on there Goddamn bears! He got me introduced to this damn scum. <laughs> man, bear ain't nothing but a damn occultist. He sucked my ass in too. He's a fucking occultist. Damn you, bear! But you I'm know, so it was, glad it it happened, was a lot though. of fun, man. Listen, listen. I'm glad yeah. it happened in a way because I met all you, man. The reason why I'm pissed off about it is because how much he's he hurt you, right? That's what's bothering me. Is like, yeah. That's what pissed. I don't give a shit about him. <laughs> you know, he. I never really got a chance to give a shit about him. Here's, so it's here's, like, here's the biggest thing for. I'm sorry, Gary. Go ahead. Gator, can I get my no, turn good. real good. quick? Yeah, yeah, get yeah, my yeah. turn real quick. Let me get my turn real quick. Uh, All right, I'm gonna go ahead and call on uh, Fetty. Go ahead, Fetty. Make it down. Thank you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, right? I, I just want to say that you guys are being modest, and I want to make that clear because I came in after the fact. I met this man at a rally that we went to that's how i met my brother hood my brother gary you know what i mean and, and yeah you uh, came to florida i came to florida lakeland florida i i gave a speech we all kind of gave a speech and a story and we all met some good people and we met dylan and i'm gonna tell you the night that i met dylan the first night that i met dylan it was not just gator and 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 dale and other people it was also myself that stopped everything our wives were in this airbnb and everything and took right. security measures and protected this individual's life with our own because we thought there was a threat pending the house i remember i'm just saying we i mean you know period no questions asked and and gator way before that was this man's security and protected this man with his life dale was heavily involved um and then not after and, and not only that so many people like southpaw nana and just so many people and shout out we are live we are live now we're live on all platforms so salute to everybody watching on all platforms it's very cool um it went through it just popped on i guess but um you know there's so many people in the chat that this individual took advantage of and that's like what's really messed up about the situation and you guys will learn about that as we go gator I'm done. That's all I had to say. All right. So um, I got a I got a question. Uh, this is probably going to go out to Silver Fox if he still um, if he could turn off his mic, turn on his mic. Uh, one of the questions from Forging Two Electric Boogaloo. How long was the AV around for? Or maybe Gator? You know? Yeah. I mean, approximately two years. You know. I mean, it was Angry Viking on Facebook first, right? And then, uh, and then it turned into. Uh, actual group with people and a whole organization right so approximately that long i mean before that you know probably a year so probably about three years total okay and um one of the things i want to i wanted to bring up is 
I want to let Mama T handle her business and let her um, say a lot of other stuff that she wants to get off her chest. But I think, hold on, before we give her to this, like, so let's go on with a lot of questions that are here that what she can back up and then what we can back up for here. So we're talking about Bruce. So Bruce, I seen you typed in here. uh, Where is this? Something about a 501c3. Oh, yeah, I I missed that one. My bad. 501c3, Dale. Dale never created these things. Dale stuck by Dylan and believed in what he said, right? Believed in where the money went, believed in where stuff went, right? And the reason Mom T is here today, his wife, is to tell you guys that he solely got this money into his bank and he's getting, he hasn't even filed taxes for that stuff he before i mean yet and she has the proof with her so you guys i know most of you guys me gator south paul and a lot of the other guys went on and tried to keep up phoenix social network and everything with that after he just abandoned everyone you know but there is you know explain when you say and i want i want mama t's audience to understand exactly what did he just walk away from with no explanation uh and to, to any of us and no payback or anything exact how many things what, what what was the the magnitude of this is that a question to me no 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 that's for silver fox <laughs> oh because i was tell like me. wait a second <laughs> no 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 tell him everything that was that went into this yeah i mean so like whenever you guys were buying all of his t-shirts and stuff so it started on facebook right so he claimed to us that he never got none of the money from facebook thousands of followers paying monthly subscriptions he claimed that he never got it and us were like okay you know whatever we believe you right and then just like and then right after facebook got so-called shut down and stopped from getting money we went to louisville right so you know i paid for that out of pocket i paid for mostly everything out of pocket of my own personal money. who paid for that me okay wait say your say your name who did it dale paid for that i paid oh, for oh okay most I of just the stuff to make sure that, that, we, that, we, you know, that we reiterate and, that and, and then going to like the spreadshirt stuff he claimed the spreadshirt got cut down and we and never got money from that, right? And here you go. Is she has the paperwork that has his 1099 that he received the money. He got um, all of it. shirt, $10,547.31 in 2020. And there hmm. you go. After you uh, guys said it was. There's another one. Royalties from Spreadshirt, $4,450.57, 2020. Right. That, so there's Mama T. Where'd that go? I, I have no idea. I wasn't with him. No, 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 no. I'm it, saying where was where was that deposited? Oh, into his bank account. Who's whose bank account? Dylan Stevens. His personal bank account. Yes. He's never had a business bank account. Thank you. There we wow. go. Wow. After he Look lied and face. said, here's the thing. He's like, oh, I'll, I'll add you to it later. That was his favorite thing to say. Oh, we'll we'll square up later. I'll I'll add you to the 501c3 later right things like that <laughs> face why and, did it uh, just get so big you know <laughs> that's still you know it's never you know that was never done oh wait and hang on just to be clear too for those numbers that i just told you um spread shirt sent him a how do you see what type of form a 1099 miscellaneous right. 1099 nec so those are not for a charitable, those are not for a 501c, any of the shit that he claimed. Well, I want my damn shirt. I ordered a shirt. I never even got the damn thing. I ordered a couple. Can I get my yeah. shit? Anybody? <laughs> got it? I burned all of mine except for one that I unfortunately found out I still have. So. so the reason why we're doing all this, guys, is just so you guys know, a lot of this stuff was went, went into a Dylan's pocket. A lot of the money that you guys got burned for didn't go to Silver Fox. It didn't go to Gator. It didn't go to Mama T. It didn't go to any of us. It all went into his pocket. 
and scammed out a lot of you guys for your t-shirts. And and the reason we're doing this is because we want not only our community to understand and because it's validating what we told you guys. We're, we tried to tell you guys and there was a lot of people like Mustang Mangler that Dale paid for this shit out of his pocket and was never reimbursed. But you fuckers wouldn't listen. If I fucking tell you something, it's the fucking gospel. So we're setting this up to let you guys, for one, understand, and we can clear the air from our time. We also want Mama T's group to understand what he did here for context for all the doubters that are on coming into her channel and all this other shit to say that, no, this is an honorable man. Honorable my ass. We're trying to tell you, all you little girls that are over there on Big Texan, whatever the fuck his name is. Over big there. old tampon. Big, big old tampon. Yeah. Big old all Texan tampon. There, listen to me, ladies. All you ladies that are over there on his jock defending him, willing to go out there and put your ass on the line for him. Because he sweet talks you. Hey, baby girl. You hey, guys baby. don't know him. We know him. We know hey, him better than. Know him better hey, tell than him about the man show. <laughs> yeah, let me. No, I'll tell you about the man show. Girl. We we gonna we gonna get to the man show. Don't look. Don't rake him over the coals yet. The fire ain't hot enough, damn it. <laughs> yeah, and, and like like Gator was saying, like we're not only here for ourselves. You know, we're here to help her, right? To, so her viewers have a context of what he did to other people. It's a pattern, right? It's just a, a pattern of being a piece of shit, basically. You know, I mean, in the bottom line, is is what it is. And he told her personally that me and Gator stole all of his money. We had access to his his account, which what, is what clearly there in the paperwork. It was only his. What, what did he say, Mama T? Tell, tell him what he told you. He told well, <clears throat> the majority of it. I mean, it was basically that you and Gator, uh, Dale, you and Gator took everything from him. Um, Y'all ran off with his money. He had been trying to find Dale, but Dale um, apparently stole everything and turned it into Bitcoin and was um, hiding because the federal <laughs> government was looking <laughs> for Dale because he took everything and turned it into Bitcoin. And he, I mean, he was just like... Um, he was one of those hackers, and so the federal government had been looking for him anyway. That's why Dale was always behind the computer, because he had to hide. But that's why he paid Dale so much to freaking do everything that he did, um, because Dale knew how to do it. He paid Dale? Hey, Dale, you got paid? <laughs> I, did, hey, Dale. I did. I got $4,000 out of $88,000 from YouTube. You, you got four thousand dollars for that. What? Wow. Wow. Geez, that was just the that you was working night and day for, with Phoenix for Social Phoenix Network, Social that Network. fucking beautiful platform that you developed. You telling me you got four grand? I'm talking about you ought to be rich, bro. Let me hold this. Right? This is why he was always behind the screen. It's because um, he was Mr. making a platform. Yes. yes let's Mr. give let's Texas give context to that. Yes. Yes. Let's explain this. So the, this is. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No. 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 This is why he was always behind the, the screen, because he was building a platform for everybody so we could have freedom of speech. This man literally sat there enslaved and, 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 and wrote codes and everything to build this platform. Hey, I can't even explain how much eat a dick. I can't even believe how much work went into this. That's why he was always behind the scenes, because he was working his ass off for you when you fucking smoked him. You burned him. You're a piece of shit. You... Mm. Go hey, ahead. Look, I want to say one thing before anybody cut loose. I, I just want you guys that are listening over on TikTok, everybody that's watching this, I want you to put this into context. The dude built a social media platform. Just let that sink in. His own shit. Like, yeah. our own shit. Yeah, great. And this motherfucker here took all the money. Like, servers are not cheap, not only to build, but to maintain them. Night and day writing code, trying to do updates, trying to get people more and more access. Then we tried to get the live streaming. Well, none of that shit free. 
Yeah, and he just took divorce. the money and bounced, man. He just took the money. And on top of that, what really pissed me off is it destroyed the unity that we had in this family Amen. because we had people that were sitting around believing this motherfucker, believing that, yep. that Gator and Dale took money. And we had a great divide right here in this group of people right here. We had a great divide because people believed in him and just couldn't see that he did it. And the entire time, it was like he plotted it. He Look, he got to a position and he was like, it's time to break camp, retreat. Pull back about face. Bam. And it was like nothing else. No, no communication. It's like being in love with somebody for five years only to find out they really don't like you. They really yeah. hello, you. Hello, That's exactly hello. what it is. Yeah. 17 years. 17 years. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm talking about, Mama T. You 17 years. And like people not taking that shit into account. Like, okay, yeah, it's up here. We bitching about a couple of dollars, but really it's a lot of dollars. But it really won't about the money, even though the money played a part. It was the camaraderie and the brotherhood that he that dishonored was, and disrespected. It was ripped apart. You know what I'm saying? Ripped like really apart. disrespected us. And I'm a, I was a newcomer, and I felt disrespected. I felt disrespected. I'm done. Oh wait, hang on, guys. I'm gonna say something. So somebody just uh, no, somebody somebody repin that comment because I want to say this for everybody on YouTube to see too. I'm going to repin that and, comment. And, you, know, I, 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 you know, having ha over the last week or two, um, have seen some stuff on the on the interwebs about, you know, on Reddit and all these other places about the angry Viking organization. So what I'd like to ask everybody, and I said it in the chat in, on TikTok, but I'm just going to make sure in case you missed it in the chat. Let me ask you a question. Does this look like a racist, violent group? No, and everybody in my chat has said absolutely not. It looks like a brotherhood. That's oh, we I'm had saying. a good fucking time. Listen, so let, let me tell you something. I had a good time. Said, <laughs> Listen, that's what I'm trying to get back to. Let's Damn it, just it, thank you. Whoever put it again time. for me. Look, this is what somebody said. Mama, BOT comes into my life all the time asking for me to throw for him, especially today because he had a bad battle. Oh, my God. You gonna have to explain this battle shit to me later, Mama T. I'm gonna get with you. I I'm, I'm still on it. I know I want the smoke, but I don't know what that is yet. You can't handle my smoke, boo boo. <laughs> I'll get you. I'll make sure you get. I'll make sure you get a thousand followers, and then you still can't handle my smoke. Ooh, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. okay, challenge. Sorry, I needed a giggle. Thank you for that. I, I see her chat saying he's always begging for money. And just for, uh, and let me explain this, because I, I see it in our chat. Just so you know, ladies and gentlemen on YouTube, Angry Viking, a.k.a. Dylan Stevens, left YouTube, left us, couldn't find us, even though I had a channel, live in the same place, have the same phone number, Dale, same thing. All of us have channels. We are all brothers. All can be easily reached through this chain, this network. But just so you guys know, he left us and went over to TikTok and is now called Big Old Texan Family or Tampon. Big Old Texan. He has about 700 fucking accounts because he keeps <clears throat> getting shut down because people over there realize he's full of shit and they're calling him out. So just so you guys know where he went while, while we're talking about TikTok, he is now big old Texan. How many followers did he have? On his newest backup, I don't know how many. I mean, I'm blocked from everything. <clears throat> his main account, 2.7 million. But he's not allowed to go live anymore because he's an idiot. So he keeps getting shut down. Is, the, is that the one where he was wearing the size dude dress? <laughs> uh, oh, you mean the uh, pirate dress? <laughs> We'll, we'll talk about that. No, no. I, I took that from my personal collection of pictures that I had to hang on the wall. Oh, damn. You had the picture. The, whoa, he was in the dress <laughs> on the wall at the crib? Yeah. I mean, I, that's what I was going to do just because I Hold thought up. it was freaking funny. Hey, 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 Mama T, <laughs> tell everybody in YouTube world what, oh, what Christina said on TikTok. Hey, I have I have her TikTok playing live uh, right now. Keep, I, Bear can share it if he wants on he the said, panel. You're all scammers. He looks nervous. Say it again. Christina went and peeked at his live because he's, of course, live right now. He knew I was going to be. Just <clears> keeps, <throat> and he said, you're all scammers. He looks nervous. Yeah, he better be fucking <laughs> nervous. <laughs> he better be fucking nervous, you over-fucking-filled balloon animal. 
<laughs> Yo. He's sweating. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Whoever went and looked, I I will bet you a hundred dollars right now, and I'm a broke ass bitch. Yes, he's doing this. How much can I tell you? He's biting his nails. He's pulling at his beard or he's pulling and twisting his beard. And then he's like every once in a while looking around. That's right, because we coming, baby. And it scratching might be at the his back shoulders. Door. The it might be at the back door. <laughs> Just so, oh, if you're, and it. since you're watching uh, the world, he's getting paid your, your rent and groceries. A you didn't pay a America. fucking thing, you piece of shit. Fucking you didn't pay a fucking it's, He's thing. nervous and he's on roids, honey. You should have just went away. Yep. Oh, Dylan. Do you guys see the top right hand corner of my screen? Yes. Blow it up. <laughs> Blow it up. I can. I, it up. I can show it live if I need. You to. can save it as an overlay. Save it as an overlay, and then you can put it up as an overlay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Oh, I'm a I wizard. Mean, we'll yard, bro. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, what kind of goofy clan is this? And she's gonna act like she didn't know he took the money. So actually, actually, Tyler. Okay, nobody deal with Tyler yet. Hey, Tyler, you baby back bitch. <laughs> get off your fucking knees for my husband. Okay, because I'm telling you right now, his cock is disgusting and it's small and it's a waste of your time. No, If you pay attention, if you pay attention. Fucking Tyler, all right. <laughs> pull his dick out of your fucking mouth, and you may actually be able to pay attention to the fact that I was not with him during AV time. No, you weren't. No, because when I, because uh, we're, yeah, I get it. We're we're not allowed to talk about the woman that was with us that he was with at the time. But no, this woman. You know what? Not for this, for these fucking purposes, go ahead and fucking. All right, this is not. Oh, the, wow. I, I know. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to call her out because you know we. I'm, I'm like we. Like we've said, you have a different relationship with her. Well, I mean, and at the same time too. But you know what? In all honesty, it may not be smart to call her out. I think they boot at you. Everybody knows because I've had words with her on lives and stuff. And if, in all honesty, let's not call her out because you yeah, know. Yeah. No. Let her be bitch. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Time out! Time out! Time out! Time out! They booted her. They booted her on TikTok. They booted who? You. No, I'm just frozen. I just got to get uh, out for a second. Hang I'm on. about to say, how somebody going to boot her? Oh, no, listen, listen, I'm watching Vikings live. He's talking about us right now. Oh, he, shit. Said, he said shit. he's not giving Gator a dime. He's not giving Dale a dime. And Mama T oh, can no. a dick. No, no, no. Put, uh, let me tell you something, motherfucker. I wouldn't take a fucking penny from oh, you. He's showing paperwork. Wait a minute. He's showing paperwork. Show How is he it. showing paperwork from Sharon. his truck? Share it, Hood. Show it for the IRS, baby. Show How it is he showing paperwork from his truck? Share it, Hood. Let me see if I let me log in. I got it. I got it. I got it. It's right here. I got it. It's right here. I'm I got it. I got it. It's right here. Look at that. Oh, he's showing paperwork. You bitch, you. Okay. What's I that? What is that? I don't know. Mama T got to tell that's me. That's our fucking What's divorce that? from 2019. Oh, that? He's that's what he's focused on right now. Oh, we got divorced in 2019. Yeah, dumb fuck. We <laughs> also we literally told everybody we got remarried because you fucking <laughs> live here. You're a dumbass. You're a fucking hold, hold on, hold on. Can I can I just say something right now? Can I just say no. something? This man, this, hold on. Let me say something. This man put together an organization, a group called Angry Vikings. Okay, put together an elite group, people that had served in the military, I mean, honorably, and Which literally served. Listen, not like you, not like you in your whack-ass service, oh, old Texan, not like you in the Navy, not like you in your weak service. I'm talking actually put in work and went and saw mm -hmm. duty, went and saw okay, action. So go check it out. Listen, we get to that yet. Uh, well, if you I'm, can I'm see it on the YouTube, bro, watch up, it on man. YouTube. If not... I'm, give me like three minutes on my TikTok. I'm gonna reset, clear everything, and then I'll be back. All right, love you guys. And so now he's wearing dresses on TikTok. You're that was my whole point. You're unfroze now. Yeah, you're. Okay. you're uh, well, it's because I reset my phone, but I'm also my TikTok guy. Just let me know that I was getting mass reported. Uh, that's fun. Just so y'all know, that's him now. That was him just a few days ago. Oh yeah. Well, not a, not, I mean, not a few days ago. <laughs> 
Dylan, you knew That's it was coming, no. buddy. You knew it was coming last night when you saw all of us in your chat. We saw I'm you. I'm surprised he has a shirt on right now and hasn't gotten angry and ripped it off to be like, baby girl. Dude, yes. he's watching us. He's sad over there. Look What's up, Dylan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are watching you right now. Let me tell you something. You fuck- he oh, okay, he's showing us something else. What you got? What you got? What you got? Notice to Obligator. Man, yeah, notice that, notice these nuts. So let me fucking explain something to you. You're such a big, hey, tough guy. You fucking had me as your fucking personal security. You're, you're so fucking big and tough. Mic drop, motherfucker. Oh, look at him. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's what your asshole's doing right now, bitch. You look like <laughs> asshole doing Hold right on. Now. He, said, he said he showed receipts. This motherfucker's talking shit, man. You showed receipts for what? He said he showed receipts. Back, we got so thousands of receipts, buddy. We yeah, got baby back thousands of people with receipts. <laughs> While you're sitting in the gym parking lot, motherfucker, you think I don't know where the fuck your stupid ass is? Big old couch surfer. Couch yeah, it makes me feel like I should go sit in my truck and do this. By the way, honey, go ahead and clean out your is, nose before you get close to the... He is so bad. Listen, listen, Viking just said, I show all my receipts. I don't see why y'all believe everything she say is facts. She ain't saying it. We are. We are. Am I the only one who's in here? <laughs> fucking little bitch. I'm. I'm. I'm not gonna stream them no more because I don't want them to fucking uh, block you at me. Let me just say this: Go put your dress, your dress on, Taylor Grift, and go fucking smoke your little kiwi flavored fucking pipe. <laughs> All right. That's I, don't, I think I think he's smoking crack. What I saw last night, he's he smoking crack or he's smoking meth okay, or something. I'm not going to lie. If, I don't know how much y'all have seen of him and his lives in the past like month. I seriously think that the fucking asshole is on nose candy now. He is definitely on something. Did you see his eyes last night? He was... Oh, yeah. When they go bug eye like this. Ooh. And then he does this. Oh, yeah, that's when you know he's nervous and freaking stressed. And high. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's dude smoked out, obviously dude. on news candy. Dude is, he, listen, he look, he looked like he smoked yeah. out and snowed in at the same time. Oh, my God, bro. I can't believe this dude, man. I, right, told y'all, just, I told y'all, I am not the fucking crazy one, but because he makes all this fucking money, okay, I quit my job to fucking, when he came back home, I quit my fucking amazing job because he wanted me to, for us to rebuild our family and start over again and be absolutely fucking amazing. Okay. I mean, he looked amazing. So then this motherfucker winds up like (laughs) on death's door. Who takes care of him, gets him to the doctor, does everything, but I'm this psycho piece of shit? Are you kidding me? Mama T, how much money did he make off? uh, Have you done a combined income for how much he made just off of TikTok and YouTube and Facebook? Um, From when? Last year or when? Uh, Just if you have a a community. No, I mean, for last year, it wasn't anything because he didn't do all of the stuff that he's doing now. Okay, so what has he made this year? Do you know? I mean, had- hell, in, in June, he made over $100,000. Yeah, she burned your shirts, motherfucker. She burned <laughs> your <laughs> ass, motherfucker. Yeah. Listen, he talking about it. Yeah, she said fire to and- it. Yeah, yeah, bitch, she did. <laughs> she she said, fire shit, to your fucking ass tonight, brother. He said he brother. always shows receipts. <sighs> um, is that um us that he made that up, huh? Hey, Mama T. Uh, guys, can y'all say the YouTube channel in case I get shut down? Because everybody's yeah, on. Oh, like, I'm on uh, All American Chicanos Network. There you go. All American Chicanos. What? Network. Say that shit again. All, All American Chicanos, Chicanos Network. Network. Okay, that's where y'all freaking YouTube it. He showed divorce decree. I'm, guys. I, I, okay. okay, but we're not talking about that, buddy. Okay, and hang on, hang on. For those in the back, for those in the back. I, I'm going to say this one fucking time and one fucking time only. And then mods, anybody who says stupid shit about this, fucking kick them. I am tired of y'all not paying attention. Okay? I've been saying this for two and a half years. We got divorced in 2019. Okay? Let me say that slower. 
We got divorced in 2019. 2019. Right after okay. that is when this all started with us. Right, right? after with that. Angry right? right after that. Has he, he also left the fire department, quit. He did not retire, quit in December wow. 2019. Mama T, Mama T wow. I, I, I got a very, very <laughs> important question to ask you. Which one is saying? Uh, he is such a bitch. Yeah. Yo, listen, he was like, he was like with them going live and telling their lives, I would much rather keep sub only on. <laughs> I got a very important question to ask her. Can you please elaborate on his military service that he claims that he was this bad? He saw uh, bodies. He saw bodies. He was a BAMF. Okay, I can't, Ooh, I can't that, show, that sounds I can't like it's going to be good right there. That, that, that body stuff sounds like it's going to get real good. Real interesting. Hold on. He, she said she it? can't show it because of the government document. Uh, so government ask document. me a question because y'all know what's going to be on a DD-214. Was he ever deployed? Yes, he was deployed. No, 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 no. But deployed in the Navy is different than what we're talking about. That's he called being That's called being spent, out to sea riding around on a hunk of metal. Okay, that's what that's called. He spent 90% of his time in Bahrain on a ship. Bahrain, yeah. Uh-huh. Bahrain. Oh, oh yeah. the old white the, the old white ship out there with the red cross on it. Yeah. Did he, he ever go yeah. to a combat zone? I I can't answer that from what I was obviously told, which I've been told a fuckload of lies. Um, the answer to that would be no. <clears throat> hmm. That like the truth of that would be no. He said that he has. Wait, somebody just said I want to know about his pendant. Um, FYI, guys, um, he's not a Viking. And nobody gave him his pendant. He bought it himself. And the original one that he told y'all that somebody gave it to him. No, uh, he bought it himself. And that motherfucking thing is sitting in my cash box hidden in my house. So that bitch couldn't come back here and get it. So he was, was a D- so he was a DC man. What was, he, what was his rank? Does it say his rank? Uh, when he got out, he was an E4. Okay. So, but, but he was a firefighter in the, in the, uh, in the Navy. No. no. What, what was his job okay. in the Navy? Uh, he started out as an MA, so a master at arms. And then while we were married, he actually got, um, he changed over to a corpsman because I went to his graduation. Well, that's why he was in Bahrain. Because that's where they sent all the corpsmen. He, w- he was a master at arms when he was in Bahrain. Yeah. Okay. So he never so- saw action. He was just on a ship somewhere in the sea. I mean, that's that's something only got a... Was he awarded What's a the date? What dates did he serve? What date? What no, dates? No, 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 don't talk no, about me, that. That ain't even that ain't even important for me. Not even relevant. Let me ask you a question. Well, I just want to know during when his when time he was in, in the act, service. Hang on. During his time in the service, <laughs> why did, did he spend a lot of time on leave or away from duty or anything no. else? So he no. didn't have to. He didn't have to go on like humanitarian leave or anything. No, he did. He did do a humanitarian relocation after my son was killed. He was a deep seaman. After who? After whose son was killed? My son. Okay. Okay, and so that's not his biological son, right? No. Did he raise and, him? And, and here's the thing too that everybody's giving me shit about. They're like, "Well, he loved him though, so wouldn't you say that that's his child?" No, I'm sorry. We got married in March. 2008 my son was killed in august 2008 he was home on leave two different times for a total of 10 days maybe total of 10 days he did not fucking know my child so him fucking doing his bullshit saying that he raised that kid how can you raise that child for years like what you fucking said last night you dirt dumb fucking baby back bitch. Baby back in a dress, baby. Back it you up. You can't fucking on, say that up. you raise a child when you only fucking knew him for six months and you only saw him for maybe 10 days. I know I've said five, but Thank thinking you, about it, yeah, it's maybe 10. Go, go fuck, get up off your motherfucking knees, okay? The government fucked you in the ass without lube. They should have fucking done it harder. Mama T, can I ask you a question real quick, just for clarity for the chat, for those that yes. haven't been watching this man on TikTok? So you're yes. saying he's been saying he's been he's been grifting off of the 
death of your child that he did not raise that was not his biological child he's been using that as a sob story to grift for money on tiktok when he started ab with y'all and got on tiktok yes that's exactly what he did wow yes. yeah good job buddy hey didn't we sit right on solid Did, honorable didn't we sit and talk about the about have mutual stories with each other about the death of our children didn't we sit and do that and didn't you cry you lying fucking sack of shit you told me a different story yeah. too listen this guy looks so fucking nervous it is and be warning because i know there's other people in the chat right now that's lost children so you know be nervous like seriously, last night when I heard that that motherfucker was online, you know why he's bringing up my child again now, right? My child's anniversary is in three weeks. Oh snap! Well, we're sorry. My for child's you fifteen year fucking anniversary is in three weeks. That's why that motherfucker is talking about my kid again, doing his bullshit crocodile tears on fucking live. Because well, I have told everybody the proof and I showed the proof that he's not the father. I showed our marriage certificate, my son's birth certificate, and his fucking death certificate. All of that on live last night. You're a baby back fucking bitch. Stay the fuck away from me. Gator, um, Live Freedom wants to know uh, about the patch that he gave you. I mean, I'm not going to talk about uh, we're, that's not the topic of discussion right now. I do have it. And thank you very much. But I, I mean, we, we got to stay on topic, guys. Let's okay. let's stay let's stay on topic with what we're talking about. This is too important. We can cut up later and we'll fellowship and have a good time. But right now, this is too important. Kristen wants talking, to we're, we're all talking to you, Dylan. Kristen wants to know how did how did he get a hardship removal from the Navy then and be honorable? I'm wondering why he couldn't get a compassionate from the uh, compensation, compensation from, the VA. from the VA. Okay. <clears throat> so um, when my son died, okay, he was automatically awarded a hardship relocation because, well, obvious reasons. Okay. Um, so he spent, because you're only allowed a hardship relocation for up to a max of one year. So because we lived in Houston, he was sent to Ellington Field. That's where he did his hardship relocation. Okay. When it was time for that to either be either, hey, you're joining back or you're getting out. All right. He said, what do you think about me leaving? And I have no, I've always said this. I said, no, I just lost my child. Plus on top of that, um, a month after I lost my son, we wound up pregnant with twins and I lost one in utero. So I just buried one of my twins. Then I wound up pregnant with twins again and lost a child while I was pregnant. So I was like ridiculously fucking emotional. And I said, no, do not go back. Don't go back. So counselor signed off because, you know, you have to see a counselor with the military and everything. And the counselor says what they say. Counselor and he agreed. No, I'm not going back in. So they gave him a humanitarian discharge. His discharge is discharged honorable. Narrative reason for separation is hardship. When did he become a fireman? So when he got out of, um, he was officially released, I think it was June or July of 2009. Uh, June. No, hang on, hang on. Where's the date exit? Separation. Yeah, July 2009 is when he got out. Um, we started up our own personal fitness company, um, Fitness Times Infinity. Did that for a while. He talked to people and said he wanted to um, become a fireman. Um, very last minute, I got all of his paperwork from the military Got him enrolled in the fire academy at Kingwood, Lone Star Kingwood. Got him enrolled in there. When I got him enrolled in there, he started there. That was, let's see, the fire academy is a year long. Um, had Avery in 425.11. Um, so he entered, I want to say like August 2010. That sounds about right. A year after he got out of the military. So August, 2010, um, I got him enrolled in Lone Star College, Kingwood. That's where he went for the fire academy. 
when he got out of the fire academy and he did great in it. Like, I'm not going to lie about shit. He did great in it. Um, then he was going to school for, uh, he was still using his GI Bill or whatever to do uh, another degree in criminal justice and another degree in fire science. So after that, he was waiting for um, like acceptance into a firehouse. Um, the firehouse that accepted him wound up being my son's name, Porter Fire Department. He was accepted there and started in April 2012. 2012. Yeah, because he was actually still in the fire academy when I was in the hospital having our daughter. So my dates are off a little bit because in April 2011, when I had our daughter, um, he was in school. He couldn't come um, the day after he was taking care of the kids and going to school, doing his shit online. And his fire chief came and actually saw me. He said, if his name is mentioned, someone's going to catch a felony. Dylan motherfucking Stevens, you can't do a goddamn thing to your wife for me saying your name. Uh, you calm calm down, Maddie Blair. Yeah. <laughs> Matthew Blair, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You obviously don't have a lawyer, boo-boo, because you don't want to know what the fuck a felony is for. Calm down, dildo. Calm down, dildo. Shut the fuck up, you baby back bitch. It's not a felony. It'd be definition of character anyways. Or it's we're not, not defrauding them. It's the truth. That's right. Exactly. It's not definition yeah, right? of character if it's true. <laughs> he got his baby back, baby back, baby uh, Yeah, back, he did change his name for real. For real, yes. What the fuck did you think was going to happen, numb nuts? What did you think was going to happen? You thought you were just going to fucking get away with this shit? If I you get bananaed, I'm just going over. I, if uh, I get bananaed, I'm just going to go watch it on YouTube. I mean, he, he probably yeah, did think me. that he was going to get away with it because, you know, most criminals don't think they're ever going to get caught. And the shit that he did is borderline theft. There ain't no borderline about it. I was about to say it's not borderline, honey. It's one thousand percent theft, right. and it's actually. Well, I stand corrected. Is, it's one hundred percent. Is it grand larceny fucking... for the amount? Yeah, that's I a felony, baby. That's a felony. Yeah, so you might want to shut the fuck up because guess what? I didn't give you all of your shit because I know what you're gonna do with it. You're gonna throw it away. I'm smarter than you, moron. I can prove that you're a fucking thief. Hey, anybody here that has connections in the IRS, go ahead and spread his word. Woo, yeah. <laughs> so I know what wait, to do. Just, just wait till they see his shit this year. You uh, donate $50,000 to you're someone. So you're not donating $50,000, so dude. You're, you got $100,000. You sent out $60,000 of that towards someone wait, else. Wait, is he that. wearing a mask in his car right now? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, you want a mask, you big fag? Wait, 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 wait. Where the hell did Gary go? Gary right, right there. there. It's Hood that disappeared. No, uh, yeah, no, who uh, yeah, Hood, Hood was the one who was showing it. Oh my he's seriously wearing a mask right now in his car. Hold on, I think I'm subscribed <laughs> right. to him. Let me That's see. Okay. Let me see if I can pull him in here. Hold on. <laughs> Thank Here's you, Amanda. My face now. He and Max are battling with masks on. Here it is. <laughs> here it is. You know it's here amazing it how this shows a pattern. All the way back to when he was with Amanda the first time. Get back together. No, he's battling. You're a baby back bitch, just like my husband. Okay, you're a baby back bitch, just like my husband. So just go back down on your knees in his fucking home, which is his, you know, car. Oh shit! That somebody's gonna report him to the IRS tomorrow. What? Who's he battling? Tell them they can call me. Uh, his name is Max. He's actually disgusting and trash. Um, oh, I got him, y'all. I got him. Really fucked up illegal shit too. Oh, hey. Okay. But what's his like? We are, are everywhere. We are legion. <laughs> we are legion. Hey, look at me. We are Viking now. <laughs> All right, look. Oh, I'm about to, listen, I'm tr I'm trying to share my screen. Come on, bear. I don't see it. Well, hold on. Hold on. That He's gonna block if you go right? to his live. I'm there. Look oh, at gotcha. these weirdos. 
Look at these weirdos. Guys, do you have it? Got it? You gotta give him some credit. Oh, hang on, hang on. Y'all gotta give him some credit. Oh, oh. How... This is what he does. Yes, yeah, guys. Look, hang on, hang on. Listen to me. You gotta give him some credit, though. How hard is it to find a mask that you can plug into the cigarette lighter of your truck? That's pretty that's good. Pretty I mean, that's pretty intuitive. That, that's, that's pretty, pretty good. That's pretty hard uh, King what they're Jersey, doing what, what they're doing people. right now everybody is a grifting for money both of yeah. them right now are basically <laughs> grifting for money and begging for money i mean all, all i'm saying is give him some credit finding a mask like that that plugs into a cigarette lighter dude you're kind of a fucking genius <laughs> i mean can't get yourself a home, but you can find a mask that plugs in like that. Boy said he, I mean, he's a good scammer. I mean, he's the best con artist I've ever met in my life. Ever. And I'm a pretty good so fucking judge said when we went to the gas station to get batteries. Oh, fuck. This is I wild, get him dude. I can't believe this. I, I just want him to lose this battle. I just need to know his like actual screen name. <laughs> <laughs> he's going he's gonna to be swinging at the air, bro. <laughs> Randy oh, won. What's he saying? This Anybody know what he's saying? Like, uh, guys, look at this. Yes, grown yes. man. Try, Two guys. grown try. men. Two fucking right, grown yes. men yes. on TikTok like guys, fucking teenagers. Yes, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Here's the best MVP. part. Here's the best part. He's going to write some end. thirsty Pick bitch's Vic name Gloria on his cowboy hat. Rumor, thank you. Leo, Valerie, Jessica, Danny. Guys, the Patty, best part Janet, is he's writing one of his thirsty bitch's names on his hat. Right. 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 That he says he's gonna mail off to the winner. Thanks, no, we got it. He, he never, never mails it off. Um, no, I just so throw you guys, of them. Uh, in case you didn't hear earlier, me and this man are gonna actually be in Texas together on Tuesday. We are gonna go most likely live from the tattoo shop and live from the and then he'll be going live from the gym, but I'll be with him. So if you guys are not following Tex. And you want to see me sweating my balls off on Tuesday? All right, you gotta. You know, I'm not gonna go live too. It's stupid to have two things live. So we'll just go off of Texas account. So if you're not following Tex, give him a follow uh, for that one. If you want to do his gym live, but uh, I'll be there pretty much sitting down eating donuts, going, "Hey, really good job." <laughs> Hell, you will. We gonna sweat you out, my brother. Good job, buddy. Are you <laughs> kidding me, dude? You out, homie. <laughs> <laughs> did he lose or did he win? He lost. I can't see the whole thing. So Everybody, guys. He lost? So Good. Much. Hey, man, great job, Max. Man. Well, you know, he said that he'd have a house by August that. and he was going to take his kids from her. Yeah, okay. On Tuesday, man. Dig, All right, dig, bars, so trash. You couldn't All right, take boss. my kids we'll see you from soon. me <laughs> if you were sleeping with a judge. Ladies and gentlemen, Taylor Grift. <laughs> Taylor Grift? <laughs> I love how he said grift. That was awesome. That's all that is. When, they, when they're sitting there battling everybody, all they're doing is they're, they're, they're hyping up their people to give them money. No, the IRS will not interfere with me, Michelle, because I have filed taxes separate from here, separate from him for Kristen, five years. Mind. So how are you going to sit there and try to get money when you only have, when you have sub only on? Because True. anybody, anybody can gift while you have sub only on. Wow. But um, only those who subscribe uh, to Team Nasty. But that only boot once and we're only it's only gonna comment. be just for not gonna be battling or anything tomorrow, guys. Um oh, yeah, man, man. Man. tomorrow. Wait, 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 what's he saying? What's he saying? What's um, happening tomorrow? You know what? I probably won't honestly be battling much Tuesday either. No, you're so gonna probably quit be TikTok, taking most of Monday and Tuesday off. Um from battling. We might do something tomorrow night after my live. Just, just you know, to do a quick little push, see if we get can do anything. I'm trying to get in live tomorrow uh, towards the end. Um, but you know, we might stay out for one or two hours max tomorrow night after my fitness live. Um, and then yeah. but we're gonna you be doing a live with Max do. with the tattoos on Tuesday. Then we'll be doing a live fitness live with Max on Tuesday. Tomorrow I'll be doing my fitness uh, live with um, Jared. Oh, nah. um, and then that'll be that'll be it. I'd be yeah, trying to get off can, we get, can we get the can we get uh, the yeah, baby guys, back bitch off the screen? We're 56 in the day, Lisa, that's amazing. Oh, um, get him off the okay. You know, yeah, yeah I mean, like seriously, I, mean, I, I kind of feel like vomiting right now because I've heard his voice way too long. <laughs> hey Amanda, can I can I tell you something? Absolutely. I mean, can you? I don't know. 
Well, I'm going to. You know, the, it's a little backstory, but what he did to Dale, and especially Dale. Yes. I I seen it. I talked to Dale for hours and hours and hours and hours. I seen what it did to Dale, how it ruined him mentally, emotionally, and financially. And when all this ended, I'll tell you what, out of everybody on this panel, I am so proud of what Dale turned his life around. Oh it literally lit a fire under Dale's ass. And it's like a rags to riches story that that's between me and him. And there's a few other people, but regardless, <laughs> Dylan what he did to him, it had real bad shit, and it had a good result. Are you talking about my kids right now? We don't, care. we don't care. Fuck him. He's anything he says is bullshit. He better not be talking about my kids right now. Somebody go fucking tell him, like y'all. Hey, look, we, hey, moment, he look, is, hey, moment, oh, he's check, threatening look. legal action against all of us. Hey, listen, listen, listen. Hey, 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 listen, listen. Ain't nobody getting excited about what this motherfucker's saying, man. Yeah, that dude. Hey, let's, say let's, let's, not, uh, let's not pretend that this guy actually tells the truth. Right. Okay, he's he's right now. He's on a stream performing. He's an actor. So Facts. we're not going to pretend that he's telling something that actually has any merit that has or holds any weight. We're yeah. not about to do that over here because we know we already know he's full of shit, <laughs> which is why we're here. Well, first is, of all, he is an overblown balloon animal full of fucking hot air. Well, Facts. just 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 so he knows, dude. Colorado is a legal state where we can actually drop names and stuff like that. And he'd have to file charges in Colorado because that's where the stream comes from. So go fuck yourself. Also, you're, <laughs> you're a personality on social media, you fucking idiot. Yeah, you you put yourself on social media. Your your identity is public. You are you are I like I have I have no expectation to privacy that I'm on social media now. Like you have no expectation to privacy, lane, privacy lane. Like you, you are this literally an actor on TikTok. Food. You're an actor. That's, That's what you are. You're an actor. None, none of us actually have a right to anonymity because we're literally on a show. Right. <laughs> you put yourself Facts. there. Yeah. So okay, I want to say something. Um, my my darling, my darling baby back bitch, or to whatever trolls over here watching. And you're in my TikTok too, guys. So yes, whichever one of y'all want to go share it with him, let him know. My dear, you couldn't fuck a judge and take custody of my children. They're my children. They ain't yours because you don't know a damn thing about them. Number two, I dare you to even try because I have an army behind me and our children and all you have are a bunch of thirsty, fat old bitches that are fucking losing their retirement because they're blowing <laughs> it on you and you can't clean your nails, brush your teeth, or take a fucking shower. Sound familiar, Stop family? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds very familiar. So, <laughs> never mind. Our ears were burning. Thank you for bringing the individual to the top of our priority list. Expect us. Best regards. Thank you. I love that. Thank you, gentlemen. And Salute. And He's about to get Whoa. off live. Be ready for recording. Hey, can one of my mods do me a favor and please pin again um, the YouTube in case this does go down so that, um, I mean, because I'll obviously be there. Um, what is your serious question, Wolf? Sorry, guys. I'm new to like trying to do this like back and forth thing. Like I'm talking to the guys, but I'm trying to talk to y'all. I want y'all to see everything. So yeah, I have, I'm not great at it. So what's your question, Wolf, honey? Yep. He's gonna play some money to go get his. Uh, he's gonna play play his last song so he get money. He's playing "Welcome to My House." <laughs> hey, you know oh, yeah, what? that's what he calls the family song. It's the family song. All right, I, I need to vent for a second. Can, can I just vent? I'm pissed off. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah. just gonna keep it. Vent. I'm gonna keep it a band. I'm mad right. as my vent. I'm I'm pissed the fuck off because, like, honestly, bro. I look, I started doing this shit three years ago. Okay. I ain't made a fucking dime. Okay. <laughs> and I be busting my ass on this motherfucker. Okay. And I'm trying to figure out how this clown get two point something million fucking followers. 
And I don't know how, I mean, wearing skirts and shit. Is this what I need to do, Dylan? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I can tell you real quick before you finish, the way he got 2 million followers. Okay. I don't know how we got 2 million followers. The way he got 1 million followers is when he was dying. He literally said the only thing he wanted was to hit 1 million followers and a bunch of freaking people freaking did it. And it happened in like 20 minutes. Oh, That's hold on, it. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. That facts, bro. He said he had organ failure. This dude didn't change a color. He didn't. He looked red. Had the color in his face. Didn't turn jaundice. Didn't. I mean, bro. Didn't lose a pound, bro. Was swollen. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I, I, I got to do this thing. Okay, you two. I'm dying. <laughs> I'm on my last, last leg. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already stuck between the realm of the living and the land of the dead. <laughs> Please. The only thing I want for Christmas is a million followers. Please. Please Don't subscribe to the Real Greg Kelly Show before I die. <laughs> I want to see it. Once I see it, I'll go peacefully. Thank you. Chris, and yes, you can ask a question. Um, but no, Fetter, I, I'm going to stop. I was like waving my hand like crazy. No, 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 no. That is 1000% true. He was sick. I'm dying though. No, okay. he was. He oh, was. I take that back. I take it back then. Okay, he me was. too. I, I walk it back. He was seriously on death's door. It was bad. Like it was horrible. I l nearly lost my shit when we went to the fucking doctor. Now, is this the first time? No, it's the second time. But this time was much, much worse. So I'm not, I, I'm, that is absolutely 1000% true. Well, thank you for clarifying that because I appreciate it. I'm hearing, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm hearing, I'm hearing, I'm hearing, I'm hearing organ that. failure and I'm seeing somebody that looks completely healthy to me. So, I mean, you know, I don't know. I just, I, I don't know. I just I saw, will I saw share the pictures with y'all of what he looks like when it happened. But yes, his, I, I don't, we don't need none of that. That's, that's HIPAA. Hey, I, I just got a sub y'all. I just got a sub. There you go. <laughs> hey, there it is. There it is. I got, I got there a damn sub, baby. Coming. Oh, oh, baby. Oh, oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, my God. Let so, me say this. This no, is the team. Whoever, this is, this I is don't big, know who right? in the world said that he had cancer. Somebody had started that, but no, he never had cancer. He never said he had cancer either. Okay. Right. He never said he had cancer. Somebody else started that fucking shit with all the other things that were going on. Does he skin pop? I, hey, Alan, I saw it, brother. <laughs> I appreciate it. That's why I'm over here flexing. Ah, oh, I got a sub. Ah, oh, woo. I've been stuck at 400 and some subs for a whole year. And I know I'll be dropping bomb ass content minus all the damn audio fuck ups, but I still do a good job. <laughs> hey, so, so let's, let me ask you a question, Mama T. Let's talk about, can you confirm here on YouTube and TikTok, does the angry Viking use steroids? Yes. 1,000%. That's oh, what I meant by skin pop. That's what I meant by skin pop. He, he, yeah. he injects I can tell you where he buys it from. Oh, no. I don't, we don't need no. No, we that. don't need that. No, but, I, but what I'm saying, yes. But yeah, 1,000% yeah. does. Great no, I your, never I mean, that's what we fear. Here's so the thing. I mean, here's the put thing. your link in the, in the chat. Great. I have oh, all of it except for his test in a bag hidden in my house. Yeah. So, I mean, I you know, I mean, everything. how are you going to sit here and, and, and cry about having fucking organ failure and dying when you're oh, clearly he's on, he's on his doing line steroids right now guys just Good. So you know. listen like, buddy we're right here we're right, right here, here. Right. How? I, I i got something better why don't you bring your fucking sorry ass into this line yeah there huh? you go come uh -oh. up here and talk to us i would love you. that you fucking uh -oh. coward uh oh Tell Tell him he has my number. He could text me, and I'll 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 give him the link. Big Gorge, old yes, he is. He's, yeah, Gorge, yes, he is. I just got the proof of it, honey. I will. Well, I not, will drop your car. Not have fucking YouTube. <laughs> Kristen says he is probably going to come spy on you guys. I want no, we want him to come up here. here. Yeah, no, we want him to come up here. We'll drop. We'll give him the link. He can come up here. He knows how to get a hold of all of us. 
Absolutely. He can. Everyone. We'll give him the link right now. He can come up here and talk to us like men he and answer some questions. I want to know why he never once came to me and said anything why he left and just took off. Or me. Or, or Gator or yeah. any of us just walked off and didn't give no excuse, nothing. Just left, vanished. Why? Oh, guys. So we're all motherfuckers crap. that believed in you, you bitch made motherfucker. We, we fucking we would have fucking went to battle for your punk ass, you motherfucker. I had weapons pointed at me for you. Yes, Dale. he did. Bitch had a made. weapon pointed at the back of his fucking head for you. Yes, bitch he made. did. Bitch made. I've bitch made. <laughs> I'm in this fucking live. Greg. And I'll tell you what, if you come into this live right now. And you apologize, you admit and apologize to this entire fucking community. We'll stop fucking hammering you for your AV days, but you're still going to have to deal with that over there. And I'm going to tell you right now, that's probably a shit ton fucking scarier than we are. Um, yeah, yeah, I second that. Yeah. He walked trash. out on his fucking kids. He's not even a man. Gator's trash always has been trash. Yeah, he had the trash yeah. man. He our had the trash man trash watching his back. Suck. Yeah, we're okay. All, all we're going to be is trash. He's yeah. going to... Oh, yeah. he's talking about my son again. Whatever. Let him... You know what? If that's the only... Here's the thing. You know what? Fuck that. You want to talk about my kid, you baby back yeah, bitch? If that's the way that you can sleep at night is talking about my dead child... The only thing that you could even claim gave a shit about you because they're they were too feel free, motherfucker. You're off social media, high speed. Yeah, come, come visit us, man. We kind of miss you. Yeah, we miss we you. Miss come in you. this live. Come in this live and flex and come talk. Oh, he said it. we're mocking his health and it's sad and disgusting. I'm I ain't mocking, mocking your health, health, motherfucker. Stop sticking a fucking needle in your ass. I'm, I'm not mocking you. It's very I'm the simple. Paul, I'm the Paul that baby. Don't stick a needle in your fucking ass. I'm okay? going to say exactly what I said. This is... And then tell everybody that you let the dog lick your fucking ass. You're I'm the pa fucking whoa, 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 Oh, oh, whoa, 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 so we got him in a skirt, and he's been over with a dog <laughs> licking his butt hole. He's oh my god! Not talking about his health and his son, Oh my god! Oh, god. Come in the live and say it. Show come up. Come at my don't, don't, don't come in the live, bro, because all I'm gonna see is you bending over, licking tongue to the booty. I can't do it. Um, that <laughs> was while it. he was doing his wife, and he didn't stop the dog. Whoa! Whoa! And <laughs> and if you think I'm joking. Everybody on my TikTok can go to y'all's YouTube right now and literally tell y'all that he show he fucking told the story. Hank Brown says, what "Yeah, he sure fuck. did." True story. I just cut it off. I don't know. He popped back up on my um on my screen, man. It was muted, and then it just came back on. Maybe he's got some of that Dale, some of that Dale trickery and shit. Hey, Dale, you taught that man how to hack. <laughs> that man know how to hack, bro. Nah, dude, he can't do shit. He's a moron. He says we I don't know if she's talking. We aren't trash. You guys are the freaking garbage trucks that are going to take his trash ass yeah. out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You should have just left us alone. You should have just kept Crazy. your fucking mouth shut. Seriously? <laughs> really? Maybe you should get off your knees, bitch. Oh, that's Tra uh, Tracy. No, over here? no, no, that's Tra that's somebody saying that we're the garbage hey, trucks about to take him out. That's what yeah. you're saying. Oh, see, I got something for okay, so there's a different yeah, Tracy yeah, yeah, yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah, because I got a troll Tracy on my side. Oh, well, tell her oh, come great, over. Here. Oh, we like trolls over here. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, we, over we here. like the trolls. We want all the trolls. Listen, when I say I want all, all the right, smoke, so you know what? Y'all just want her over here. Let her go over there. Y'all just come over here. We'll put that bitch in her. Yeah, yeah tell her come over here. <laughs> tell her come over here. We'll talk to her. We'll talk to her. And now we go live to peanut butter with tra with a trauma story butter. <laughs> <laughs> fucking forging peanut butter packing <laughs> peanut salute butter the forging packing. man and everybody from the channel Guys, man. if you can't find it don't worry about it it's probably already peanut it. butter so, packing baby Silver peanut Fox, butter. you got any yeah. questions that you would like to ask this young lady 
Who me? Silver Fox. Silver Fox. Okay, I, I'm about to say they don't. Oh yeah, Silver one. Fox. You have any other? No, no. I talked to her personally the other day. Yeah, but I'm, wow. but I'm, what I'm saying is anything that we're missing or that we haven't talked about yet. No, I was done with this shit the, the, a long time ago. Only reason I'm here is because he brought us back into it. That's right. Exactly right. Like I said, you should have just went away, you dumb fuck. Yep. Well, and that was the point I was getting. Me. Don't say you're looking for me. You know where I live, you fucking roach. You know where I live. I mean, please, this cat right here is officially branded as a liar and a grift. So please, nobody take what he's saying seriously, man. Right. All of this bullshit about, you know, we're going to catch charges and all. I mean, shut the fuck up. Because we know everybody know that shit ain't true. So, nah, bro. Like, hey, have at it. I mean, do what you want to do. Put. I wish I had a video of that dude. I'm, I'm going to be quiet. Bro, I'm, I'm certified I'm, as a paralegal, bro. Listen, bro, you're, you're blowing smoke, bro. I know what I, I can say. I can't say we ain't said nothing that ain't fucking that's illegal on this fucking platform tonight. And all I said was how can somebody sit there and grift for money and, and talk about organ failure when they're fucking taking steroids? That's what I said. Hey, right, y'all don't want me to redo what I said. But you know what I said. <laughs> hey, if you have not subbed to the real Greg Kelly, man. <laughs> oh, I'm I dropping it in the chat. Bro. Hey, so God sub to it. the real Greg Kelly, free from Fetters Grove, <laughs> Gators <laughs> Den, <laughs> Gary Lamb, hey, Silver Mama Fox, T. Southpaw, Everybody. the Bear, man, the conservative Every damn bear. body. Come on, man. Mama T, I tell me you feel my pain, man. I be in this shit. I be in this bitch sweating. In this okay, you know what? Hang on, hang on. You want me to feel your pain? You want me to feel your pain? Yeah. Here's the thing. What's up? I need a Judy or a Zeus, motherfuckers. That's my family. If you Ooh. don't do that, then we ain't family. Viking. Viking. Oh. Viking. Somebody send me a shit. Everybody on my fucking TikTok <laughs> knows that I just did a mic drop motherfucking movement. Eat Robin. my ass, baby back bitch. He should be. <laughs> he should be a nervous wreck. Where is my favorite cousin at, though? And my favorite I'll just say nephew. this. I won't shed a fucking tear. Not one. I'm gonna be hurt if something happened to him, but I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a smile. Not because I want anything to happen I'll to him, but I'm gonna be kid. real. Y'all already know how I feel about the shit. The Lord gonna get him. You know what I'm saying? Amen. I already know. When 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 God gets you, ain't nothing that we can do to match it. You know what I'm saying? When you when you go and have to pay that debt for what you've done to people, Don't taking people's money lines. Hey, the Lord don't like that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, we up here and I'm gonna talk smack all night long. But I really feel sorry for him because he don't have anything on the inside, man. Nothing. No soul. That, that, that's what pains me, man, is that he really don't. When I watch him, bro, he is cold hearted and all he cares about oh is himself. I photoshopped, he cares about that money. I photoshopped money. his stuff. That you know oh that that's God. what really bothers me the most, I man. Is that his heart is fucked up I like photoshopped, that. guys. I photoshopped his fucking income. Right. I this DVD oh, how you Photoshop that shit and make I it real? Photoshopped everything. <laughs> Damn, you a bad oh, girl. Like, guys, Sorry, listen, man. listen, we a bad girl. <laughs> guys, listen, everybody over on TikTok, understand? We have all heard. Everybody in this group, a lot all of that shit. Majority of people in this in our fucking YouTube chats in here, we have all heard this before. This is yeah. common, and when he when it starts to run out is when he runs somewhere else. And now he said he's a okay. He had mods in my live in our live to screenshot his military. But we don't got none of. Hey, listen, what are you man. talking no about? Man. That's all smoke. That's all lies, bro. Don't even entertain none of that bullshit. That's all smoke. This. We've all seen this tactic. We've all seen him. This is panic mode for him, and he's just yep. shooting he's, from the hip he's right freaking now. Freaking out. None of it's going to make any sense. It's going to sound, oh, I got to fucking sue you and blah, blah, blah. You're not going to do a fucking thing. Fuck you. Stand the fuck down. Stand on it, bitch. Stand the fuck down. I have one Shut picture showing. Get <laughs> off TikTok. Get off social media. Go get a fucking job and become a human being and part of a productive part of the society. All right? Get hey, off guys, the steroids. Social media. Hey, guys, I got his military <laughs> picture right here. <laughs> look at that deep semen right there. It looks like he's in deep semen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. 
That's his military oh, picture. Is that a picture of a deep semen or a guy that's been swallowing semen? That's what I'm saying. He's, he's the deep semen. He takes the semen deep. Oh, God. I'm you dead. feel me? He takes the semen deep into the esophagus. Listen, we're talking about a man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on, guys. Yeah, so, okay, so now he's claiming that I kidnapped the kids and took them to okay. Florida. Number one, motherfucker, I can go wherever the fuck I want with my kids. You will never stop me. Number okay, so two, now you, you see this. I'm not in Florida, and if you would fucking tell your fucking skank-ass bitch to stop stalking my house or be honest with you, you'd know I'm not in Florida, dumbass. I've been sitting on my front porch smoking cigarettes. Hey, hold on, night. hold on, hold on, Mama T. He just told he just told the world that there is a restraining order ordered against you and you can't speak of his name publicly oh. unless no, no, you go no, no. to jail. It's not he a so he can't even say that correctly. It's not a restraining order. It's supposed to be correct term is a cease and desist. A cease and desist. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so he's he's talking cash shit that he can't cash in. But somebody else is sending him some damn money. I wish I could have. Hey, Dale. Hang on, hang on. Hey, I need Google a me, bitch. <laughs> Google me, bitch. I'm going to get that motherfucking money. Bro. I'm going to get that shit from somebody. Google me, bitch. There hey, ain't mama. nothing on me. Hey, I mama. just paid to fucking do a fucking background check on my own damn self last night. You know why? Because apparently there's so many goddamn cops showing up at my house for all these fucking felonies and all this shit, taking my kids and blah, blah, blah. So like, fuck felon. it. I'm going to pay for my own damn background check. Guess what? There's a fucking ticket for me speeding fucking 10 years ago on that shit. Eat a bag of dicks, okay? And go take a bath. No, no, I no, no, no. Even don't buy make him the fucking the dick. Don't make I'll him buy the, the fucking soap. I'll he buy you that. the nail brush scrubber, okay? I'll get you <laughs> a fucking razor. I'll get you shampoo. And I'm broke as fuck. I will fucking do it for <laughs> you. Up. Just okay, man, don't, don't, don't send him to the dog. Don't send him to the dicks, though. Because it like it, I think he likes that. The guy that he's up there, they talking about sweating their balls off together in the gym, doing things together. And this shit is weird. It's starting to get really it's very weird. weird. Very weird. Can I say lawyer's something real quick? It personal now. I, yeah. I listen, hey Dylan, if you're watching, if you, if you can hear this, um, dildo. Um, th I want everybody on TikTok to know this. This is somebody who, um, portrayed to be a patriot of this country that stood against the indoctrination of our kid our children by the lgbtq community that that stood against tiktok very, very much so stood against tiktok said he would never be on tiktok because it was a communist platform this is a man that had a, a show called the man show where he literally oh. referred to women as whores whores so just just so just so we're we're while we're we're gonna we're gonna bring this back around for you. He's over on TikTok, YouTube world. He's over on TikTok going, "Hey baby, you know what you need? Hey hey girl, you you, you need the you need the big old big old tax fraud is what you need. Hey girl. Oh shit. So he's over there fucking playing like he's Mr. Sensitive and all this shit. Uh, fair. What do you say we show TikTok, the man show? Yeah, hey, he's coming you on your side or my side. Hey, hey, get, hey, get that. Hey, look, get that pirate with his. Get him off of me. <laughs> okay, I forgot you know I was up there. Get down like that, bro. <laughs> Thank you. Don't you dare think about putting that motherfucker back. You got on your me. junk all up in his face. You know and shit. <laughs> oh, come on, man. My bad, bro. <laughs> God damn. Christina, a lot. <laughs> like straight up, this guy is a fraud. Dylan, you're a fraud. And listen, you can't, I can say your legal name, you fucking idiot. You're a fucking social media platform, fucking uh 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 whatever they call them, fucking entertainer, fucking you're a fucking weirdo, is what you want. Content creator. <laughs> Content creator, there you go. Um, bro, like literally, like you're a fraud. Like, literally, you bounced out on a bunch of people that you called brother, a bunch of people that you called sister, a bunch of people that helped support you, bro, that fucking donated thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to you because they believed in your bitch ass, and you motherfucking just smoked their fucking boots and walked out on everybody and didn't even say nothing. You're a fucking coward. And they come to find out everything that you said you stood for, everything you fucking said you stood on your tin about, 
Come find out you're over on TikTok doing the very opposite. You're a fucking bitch, you motherfucker. Fraud. Fuck you, punk. He, Aren't not, you in Florida? Got, uh, Hold on. Isn't he in Florida? Don't he, he reside does. out here? He's in China with Xi Jinping balls deep in his mouth. I heard he was in Florida because I'm in Florida, motherfucker. No, that's where I'm taking that's where I'm taking the kids. He's not in Florida. He's here. He's literally 10 minutes from me and the kids. Wow. You know what's crazy is the I can't believe that he hasn't like none of his trolls have come in. <laughs> oh no, they're well, they I mean here, they're been here the entire time. Oh, they in here, bro. And he ended his oh, live. They're in here. Yeah, Annie. Annie here, fuck them. Let them be in here. Hey, I bet you won't come up here and show your face, though. You we, bitch. We want him. We want him in here. We want him here. We want all of his I love how here. he keeps telling everybody, "Hey, guess what? There's a cease and desist. Like, I can't talk. I can't speak his name on social media or to my children. Okay, number one, motherfucker. I can speak your name to my children any goddamn time I want. So, um, again, go eat an ass. Um, number two. No, I can no, speak your name that. on social media all I want to. Number three, you got to get served with something like that. And when you're a liar and you take it up the ass by a dog for money, just so people like believe you, it, it's not going to work out in your favor. So, baby back bitch, go get your pillow and lay down in the back seat, front seat, hell, even in the bed of your truck and just go to sleep because that's where you need to fucking stay because you're a fucking liar and a con and a piece of shit. And um, I don't care. <clears throat> Can, yeah, I I something? Something? Wait, wait, Can I explain right, something? Can I explain something? Cease and desist. Go ahead. Go ahead, let me, let me Let me just finish this real quick. Answer this question. He doesn't have a group no more. He's no longer the angry Viking. He's no longer the man show. He dresses up in drag on TikTok for money. Yeah, he's a I, character I, now on he TikTok. He gave himself a swirly. I cannot that let y'all sit up here and stand with this man like this. Toilet. No, Boy hold on. What is it? What no. is it? Hold on, Gator. Explain this to me. He gave himself a swirly, which, yeah. if you don't know what a swirly is in middle school, if you were a little bitch, you got fucking swirly. He stuck his own head <laughs> into a fucking toilet and flushed it. No, seriously, on TikTok? On TikTok. That's your age. <laughs> <bike. laughs> Damn. But I can't look. I can't let y'all sit up here and slander this man like this. Hold on. Okay. All right, y'all going too right. damn far. This is, this is for Logic Rex. Oh my fucking god. Logic, there you go, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all are terrible too. Y'all are terrible. Logic popped up quick. I, see, I, see I know. I'm a, I'm a fucked up human man. being. I'm a fucked up human being. You know, I'm, terrible, I know. Man. I'm going to hell, hey, get brother. Get off of me, man. Stop putting him up there. <laughs> Great Come to on, see you Logic Rex in here, guys. He said that picture is altered. Y'all saw us fucking live when he fucking did it. Brother, I, do, it, I, do, I do Photoshop all the time. That's a real picture. Stop. Yeah, I stop literally it, had it turn into one from Mixed Files, which is why I fucking put it on there. And I literally have a basket full of fucking pictures that I got for Mixed Files. It's style. super easy. Like, you don't, did you, you don't seriously have to say anything pick on that one? You don't have to text anybody. You don't have to fucking be on TikTok defending come yourself. You can come right come here. Join us. Hold on. Let, look. Right let, now, let, let, let me give him the Grim Reaper. Let me give him the Grim Reaper. Come join us. <laughs> <laughs> Logic says he can borrow his wig with that. I'm dead. You need bro. to get a this sound effect hilarious. with that and 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 put it on. <laughs> All right, hang on. To my mods, if that nasty fucking whore is in my chat, you better get fucking rid of her now. No, right. actually, put put the link to the chat in here, no, 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 YouTube, no, no. and I'm, then boot her out. Y'all gotta remember. Y'all gotta remember. I'm getting messages on my side. Yeah, no, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Before you kick her out, drop the link over here and tell her don't go to TikTok. Come over here so she can get some fire back. <laughs> oh, yeah. we, we, we're Nikki taking Nikki. all the smoke we're over here. We we're all taking the all the smoke. All the smoke, because I'm gonna get, all I'm gonna get at least one more sub out of the smoke. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Nikki friggin', take your trashy fucking ass over to YouTube. Maybe yeah. somebody will give a shit about what yeah. the fuck you say. That's the what all American about. Chicanos Network. All American Chicanos all Network. American Ch get free from Fetters Grove, Gators Den. Even though I'm gonna go in the den with him, he gonna fire that motherfucker back up. Yeah, yeah straight up, bro. We got to. <laughs> and look, Gary, Gary Lamb, Lamb, 
Yeah, South Paul, we we, we gonna we gonna get him back in the five two. Bring your asses, y'all. Bring y'all asses. We love his y'all. yearly bath. Hey, big jersey. Yeah, the swirly. Oh, go back to that comment. Oh, there it is. So whatever proof you guys have, I can make calls to people in the IRS and the Attorney General's office. Yes, Lord. I'll right, send you hey, a number. Hey. Send me a DM. Yeah. Get my number from one of the guys. If if not, hey, my email address is in the about section of my channel. I'm sure it's in the about section of some of these channels. You can always email one of us. Let us know who you are. Remind us. Yeah, definitely. We'll, Just we'll, so hey, you know, we're, we're all hey. super easy to find. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're not. We're real people. Yeah, we're, we're not yeah. fraudulent we're uh, 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 characters on TikTok. <laughs> no, we're not. We're real. Hold we're on. a real we're thing. We're actually content content really creators. content creators. Yeah, we're racist content militia content create militia all kind of shit from what i've been told it, yeah. I, from what i've been told. You know, aren't you a racist i Damn am right. i hate white people <laughs> all of you motherfuckers yeah. i hate you i hate i just hate I just opportunity hate protecting me by you know putting themselves on the line i, I can't know we got white privilege oh, i got some privilege i got brown privilege you know right <laughs> Like, I got blue privilege. You know, Wait, I'm gonna be that? honest with you. That I had a white group of people. privilege. Whoever said that, that wasn't even privilege. That was like privilege. That was me. Okay, he has well, blue Gary. privilege. He got so blue so privilege. Cool. All of that. You know so, what I'm saying? I think Go ahead. Our, I, let, me, our community, let, let me ask. Let me ask this community in the chat. Do you have any questions of this young lady at this time about? Dylan Stevens time with AKA the AKA Maddie Blair. Dylan Stevens. AKA Big Old Tampon and Tax Evasion. Don't forget about Maddie Blair. Blair bitch Project. And Maddie Blair. Hildo, baby back bitch. All of that. So let me does anybody have any and you guys watch out because I um uh Kim, there's no point in putting him in here. Like freaking uh BJ can watch it right now. BJ needs to get into if BJ can get into the YouTube shit, then yeah, he needs to come up because that is the biological brother. Oh, oh the so god. Hey, drop hey, drop the channel name again. Drop the channel oh, name. Again, Chicano Network. BJ, what is BJ it? BJ or Denise. The Denise, All American seriously. Chicanos Pay Network. Pay attention to it. Pay attention to it, Denise, so that BJ can come up in here. Like y'all need he, to join it so y'all can come up in here. The yeah, All American yeah. Chicanos Network. Let's explain how the All that. American Chicanos Network on YouTube live I right now. Wrong, but they'll get the gist of it. I put oh it shit! In I got a good one. Big old tax fraud. Yes, Jessica. Um. So just so everybody understands, because we're gonna go. So now this, this is kind of like a, an Avengers fucking block of movies right so we're in the middle right now we're gonna take a step back in time ladies and gentlemen we're gonna go back to prior to us maybe prior to you i'm not sure mama t but um because somebody asked about it in the chat you know and i know right now his sanctuary is his car but did he have any other ideas of sanctuary in his head mama t Oh my goodness! Did he You're write anything? Did he write anything down about sanctuaries? Oh yeah, his book that's fucking fake, which is why his brother needs to come up in here because that's what I found out about three weeks ago. Everybody in my TikTok knows his brother that I knew about. I knew about his brother. I knew about his sister, his mom. Like I knew about them, but I was always told something completely different. Thank you. Oh, yep. uh, hold, what, what, okay, can somebody read this? Can can we blow this up, Bear? Yeah, I got it. It says an oh, author. What a sanctuary? Dylan, oh, yeah. yeah hold on. Let, he's gonna read the author's notes. Go ahead, author Bear. Dylan Stevens is a true survivor. After escaping the abusives of his father, he takes on a life on the streets. He's from the streets. What a sanctuary allows the reader to get close to the horrors that an abuse victim goes through in their daily lives without any of the danger. Wooded Sanctuary takes you on a ride through Stephen's life of pain 
And at the same time, this book shows you how to survive regardless of your current problems. If you know someone who is facing adversity and wants you to help, Wooded Sanctuary is proof that even in the most horrible situations can be overcome. But I want to tell you guys something. This yes, yes, book, yes. this book is for ages 9 to 12 years old. And no, it is not. It's right there. You can see it. I'll put my, I know, my but mouse number over. one. It is definitely not when you read that book. No, it is definitely not for nine, nine to 12. I wouldn't even let his first son read that. Okay. BJ's here. BJ's go. here. Um, BJ, how can we give let, him the link? Motherfucker, yeah, BJ, get I up wouldn't in even here, let his oldest son read that book because of how graphic that book is. BJ, I fucking love you. Come on, bro. bro. I, I, this right here bothers me. Like, you know, like to, know. to, if somebody would be fraudulent about something like this, this bothers me, man. This is, this is a topic for another time. I mean, going down that rabbit hole. I know where you're going, brother. I know. We, that, this, that's yeah, no, be, I know, I know, I know. I just, I, I want to meet, I want to meet BJ. Yeah, I would love to meet him. That's a whole other thing. Do you have a I way to? I would love to hear from him. Okay, BJ, I'm going to send you a link. Nobody else use this link. This is only for BJ. And uh, uh, and BJ's brother, too. Uh, oh, yeah. This is also for... We want, we want to encourage yeah, the, the brother to uh, show up. He's trying to figure out how to join. Y'all are going to have to let him know how to join. Okay, I'm so listen. Um, his wife is telling me in here. Bear? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send the link into the chat. He just has to click the link. All right. BJ, so, click the link, honey. It's it's super easy, man. You'll, you'll see it. It's super easy. Bear, I mean, your, me, bear, your bear, douchebag me brother, my douchebag husband figured it out. So we're definitely smarter yeah. than him. TJ wants to know if she could, if you could see them. And um, Joker wants to know if he cross-dressed before he was on. I, I don't know if he cross-dressed. I didn't look at Come him like on. That. You know you, you caught know. him halfway with, with the damn I, high heel pump on and one off. No, and, I, 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 this might be a question for BJ. Time out. Time out. Look. Guys, we, 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 oh, I got, got him. Here. Hold on. Got hold really on. Serious topic. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Ladies and gentlemen, BJ. Number BJ. one. Tar hey, Heel. Hey, you, oh, you need no. to put your hat on now. You need to put your hat on now. Guys, Tar tell Heel? me that that's not his brother. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Wow. Hey, uh, are you a Tar Heel for real, baby? I, I can't hear. I can't oh, right. hear. We can't hear. Oh, Go into your settings. Go into your settings. You, he can't hear you. Oh, shoot. Yeah, he just said that. Hey, uh -oh. Denise, you're right. There. Hang on. Denise is in my chat. Hang on. Denise, tell him to go into his settings and fucking do accept Mike and um, everything else. Go help him. Well, you're, you're smart. We could hear him. No, yeah, because we can, we hear, can him hear him. Fine. He just can't I, hear I us. will say this. Except as far what? as technology, the apple does not fall far from the tree. <laughs> your brother was pretty stupid too <laughs> can you hear us now B oh, bj we heard great. that <laughs> kidding, yeah because i have her phone right beside me okay oh, hey, hey bj oh, cool all right all right we got contact contact is made bj i love you bro um, can we can i ask you a question from the chat on. put your hat on you turn yourself babe I'm just, just teasing. He still just can't hear us. Yeah. I think he's listening through my TikTok. Can you hear us now? Do you do the? Denise, do the is that how he's listening? Is through the damn TikTok? <clears throat> Denise, he's listening is through the damn TikTok. All right. Yeah. So we'll have a delay. Okay. BJ, I got a question. I can't for hear you. anything. Hang on. Try turning up the volume on the freaking phone. <laughs> if that works, I am going to sleep. I'm, I'm done, dude. If like, that seriously that, works. That's what it is. I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, so what is the volume? Him, let Bear ask the question and we all be quiet. Oh, uh, he dropped off. He coming, back. He'll come back. Yeah, he'll come he'll back. back. yeah, he coming back. Yeah, he coming back. They'll fix it. They'll figure it out. 
Hey, that's awesome. That's I remember crazy. my first time getting up here. I was going through the same thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, bro. Yeah, me too. Oh, man. It's, it's nerve-wracking. And, and, and first time maybe being on social media, too. And then you're trying to figure out how to fucking make StreamYard work. <laughs> no, his first time on social media was when he decided to come into his sister-in-law's live and say, hey, guess what? Um, My brother, who you're married to for 17 years, is a fucking liar. And everything that he's told you is full of shit. And then shows me receipts wow i want to ask you a question then and this just goes on because the only reason i can ask this now is because he was in the chat is there a reason why mama t that um his brother is collier and he's a stevens it's collier it's not collier, yeah, collier. and we already we already talked about this because his original name was matthew blair collier yeah, we talked about it, but we haven't talked about it on the chat. No, we have. So hold on, his so middle name is Blair. Well, I mean, it was, yeah. <laughs> I mean, how how do you spell? How do you? Hey, look, bro, don't Never stop mind. tripping on the middle name Blair because I'm Blair too. Are you really? No, he's not. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. <laughs> his middle fucker. name is Ford. Greg Ford. <laughs> hey, stop! Don't you Ford. do that, hey Bear? You shut up. <laughs> Did you do that? Oh, he's back. Did y'all see? Did y'all see BJ's comment? He's trying he's, to figure out how to come back in. He's back. I got it. Yeah. Awesome. Can it, you hear us now? Um, it's all my volume is turned all the way up. You're not on the TV streaming, are you? Mm -mm. Can you hear it us is, now? Oh, Look like he froze. Change. Yeah, it looks like he froze, but he might be. He might be watching on YouTube, maybe. And and so he's not on the everything is on. app. Okay, are you in the StreamYard app or are you watching YouTube? Logic's a lot, buddy. Everything. Uh, yeah, and pretty much everything. Uh, he's back. The the app. There we go. You're good. You're good now. Can you hear us? There you go. You're good. Can you hear us? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 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 Yeah, I can hear you. I, oh, I can hear you through is. my wife, so I'm... Okay. Okay. There so we, go. we had a question in the chat for you. Does okay. did did Dylan cross dress before or after TikTok? The look says it all, baby. The look says it all. Definitely <laughs> after. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. All right. All right. All right. So he wasn't cross dressing prior to TikTok. That's good to know. Wait a minute. Maybe he didn't. <laughs> maybe he didn't. Maybe he didn't. Tell me, though, that he was weird. Okay. Hey, so, Tar Heel, I got a question for you. This is real Greg Kelly. Have you ever caught him maybe in the bathroom with one pump on and one leg in his leotards? And maybe one side of the bra strap hanging off too. <laughs> All right, so let me ask you a question, Tar. This, no. This bro. No. Okay, okay. All right. I was just checking. It, I, tell us what it describes. Not in too much detail, but just kind of. I mean, bear, the, you know, read a little bit, but it kind of describes the childhood that you were a part of. I mean, it's like I told Mama T, um, we had a normal childhood, and, I mean, everything was normal. Um, so, pretty, for everybody out there, that book, from page one to the end, is a complete lie. Like, none of that happened. So he was um, he was never homeless, or never anything like that. Never homeless, never no. addicted no. to any type of drugs or anything. Never. Wow. Mm -mm. Okay, that's insane. Never. Yeah. Okay. No, that's that's actually pretty normal. I mean, that's what liars do. <laughs> I'm, I'm not confused. About this shit. <laughs> like this is what motherfucking liars. I mean, do. He so just to be real good at it. the last time I saw him was when I was 18 at my wedding and he was in my wedding 
Um, but according to his book, he ran away from home because of the abuse at 14. I showed Amanda pictures of him in my wedding when he was at least 17. So, wow. he never, n n none, of that, none of what he described as his childhood happened. Like, the, the part that I find funny, that I found so funny, was in that book, he stated that me and my sister would beat him. Or be outside. Or be outside playing while he was locked in a room on a floor. Well, the only house that, that had an outdoor shed... He was 17 when we moved to. I was 18. My sister was 12. I wasn't going to be outside playing with my 12-year-old sister while he was laying in a room somewhere. So, I guess he thought, since he cut me, cut our side of the family out, that we would never find out about this book. Um, but, I mean, I... I, I think my, my mother got a copy of it and let me read it. And I, I mean, I laughed the whole way through because it literally, none of it happened. Damn. Is there a reason why that he cut off your family? No. He never has given us a reason. Oh, shit. It's oh. just one day. So, when I was a senior in high school, he just magically decided that he didn't want to live at home anymore. There was nothing that precipitated it. There was nothing that initiated, like, like my parents didn't kick him out. He just decided one day he didn't want to be there anymore. What and, you know... And then he contacted me two days before my wedding and wanted to know if he could be in the wedding. And of course, I was like, yes, absolutely you can. So we took the first tux fitting and I mean, that was and after the wedding you know, I had my own life. I, had, I was married. I was, just, you know, everything going on. And so, like, one day my mom called me and said, he disappeared. Just poof, gone. And I mean, it was, all right, well, I mean, if that's the, the way he wants to live his life, you know, he's an adult. You know, that's. That's the the way he wants to to do it. And, and what, did your, what did your parents? Yeah, you know, I wasn't gonna stand in his way, you know. Did your mom, did and your so mom ever I talk just about it? I just felt bad because he was um, saying all these derogatory things about our family, and none of it happened. None of it happened. Can I ask you how long after he moved out from the house did he join the military? No. He didn't join the military in, uh, until that was in 96 that he moved out and he didn't join the military. Hold on. Check your Bluetooth and make sure your Bluetooth is turned off. That might be the issue. Ah. Did your mom ever talk about um, about him missing? You know, or... One second, Bear. Did your Dad, did your mom you know did your mom ever talk to talk about him being gone? And what yeah, was yeah, actually, <clears throat> my mother up until probably I want to say two or three years ago would cry every Mother's Day because she would. I would call, my sister would call, and she would wait on a call from him that we kept telling her was not going to come 
but she just held out hope that it was going to come. And, uh, it, you know, she finally let him go. You know, she still loves him, uh, but she finally let the hope go a few years ago. Um, and so, I mean, it's just, you know, she, it, she feel, she feels bad because she she can't believe that of the things that he does now um and she can't she doesn't understand where she went wrong and i have to tell her i'm like mom you didn't do anything wrong i'm like you know that what he does is, as an adult he makes his own decisions you know, I, you know, I, you can't blame yourself for that. And that's just, you know, the, the way I, I approach it with her, you know, we don't talk about him a whole lot, um, just because of, it brings up too many bad memories for her. Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you another question, BJ? Sure. This is, this is the bear. Um, your parent, I, I'm hoping and praying that your parents. Oh, he hung up. <laughs> Dang. This is crazy, he hung guys. up with his this ear. Is wild. Yeah, he hung up with his ear. Isn't this a wow. fucking trip, Teddy? Hey, you know I what's crazy? Wild, yeah, I mean, like, okay, so I don't even feel bad no more because if he'll do this to his own blood, like, what the fuck were we ever to him? His mother. Yeah, they, I mean, the person that brought him into the world, his brother, his sister, he just abandoned them. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, hey, hey, fuck it. I'm a piece of shit compared to them, and it, it, it didn't mean anything to them, to him at all. That you know, he uh, left his family like that with that all of that heartbreak and all of those questions, and a mother, you know, concerned about her son, you know, concerned about his welfare, blaming herself for the things that he's done and for what he's become, and have no remorse, you know, no desire to go back and make things right. Uh, I mean, what the fuck else can you say, man? Now, let, let, let's just put this, I, I want everybody un, to understand the importance of why we brought this up. Bear, where does that book sit? Number 500. Where? Best-selling children's books. What the fuck, dude? All a fraud. Bro, that, that actually, can you imagine being a piece of crap like that where you can't even call your mama on mother's day to talk, call your bro i make sure i get my mom a gift you know make her get dressed up all pretty take her to go eat go hang out with my mom and you could just walk away from your mom and then write such a disparaging book about your mother can you imagine that Writing such a hateful, evil book about, ba even if it's about his dad, with what he wrote, he basically saying his mom allowed it. He didn't basically, he did. Yeah. Send him another link. She so he still gets royalties from this book? She, she, he literally said that she patched him up after his dad did horrible things to him. Does he still get royalties from this book? Um, yes, but um, he wouldn't let me change the address for the checks to finally come to us. Oh no! Did you know what's number five hundred on on uh, number number five hundred and twenty nine for best selling books for children? Um, by universe publication, publication or publishers or something like that, right? Yeah. DJ needs the link. He got locked out. I just sent it again. I just sent it. Sorry. It's in the chat. Yeah, it's already back in the chat. Yeah, he's back. So, okay, I'm gonna bring him back up. Yeah, I got a question. I got a question. BJ, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, baby, this is the bear again. I'm hoping, what, I, what I was gonna ask you is, I was gonna say, I hope and pray your parents have never read that disgusting book. If it's all lies. Yes, my mother has. Wait, did she, wait. Did she say anything about it? Wait, that read it. I mean, she just says that it, it broke her, you know, when when she read it. Um, but she knows that, none, and anybody who knows her knows that 
if none of it's true. Um, and she just does not understand. It, like, it goes back to she just doesn't understand what she did wrong. She didn't do nothing wrong. Nothing. So when did you guys start to see this pattern develop in him? At what age did he start kind of getting into griftiness and, and acting like this? What, what That you think? When he joined the Angry Viking and TikTok, that was the first time I noticed that he was doing that kind of... Next month will be 20 years since you last saw him. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, he, in school, in high school, didn't do any of that. When he married his first wife, didn't do any of that. Um, when he joined the military, as far as I know, he wasn't doing any of that. So it, it happened, you know. He was going around all the time, once a week when he was in the military. So, yeah, I mean. What, wait, 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 wait. What did Denise just say? That he was calling mom while he's in Bahrain. Or wherever he was. He was like FaceTiming or whatever. Yeah, because he, he would put her sister on the phone. That's right. She did talk to her sister. Yeah. And so, um, he, you know, she, the uh, book mom, came out in 2004. You know, the book came out in 2004. He joined the military in 2006. Yeah. Wow. So he wrote this book when he was still in communications with your mom and family. Yeah. I didn't know about the the book until after we were married. Yeah, after me and Denise were married in 2007. So I had no idea about the book so um, when, until when he and I were together in Bahrain and he and I got engaged. He showed me all this shit like Christina was sending him and I saw it like Christina was sending him pictures of them when they were married and stuff because she wanted him back and so on and so forth. He was fucking talking to all of y'all. He wasn't talking to me. He was talking to mom because he would he would because she would she would set an alarm and she would make because of the time difference. To make sure she was awake because she, she would she didn't want to miss his call. He was yeah, he was emailing my grandparents. And he was emailing, and he was emailing my aunt. Um, but n so that whole yeah, so because he he kept saying he introduced my mother to I guess your sister. And said, you know, this is Amanda's sister, and say hey to my mom and wait what? Yeah, yeah, she would she was on the phone with him and he would I guess her sister and him were in the military together and he would call mom and I guess she would come by and he'd be like, Oh, say hey to my mom and so mom was on the phone and she said a girl said, Hey mom. So, I mean, you good? Wow! Wow! <clears throat> Mama T, you good? I know. I know. Yeah, I just found this out. So it's not like I, I did. I, I just found this out. Um, I think it a man that knew nothing about this. Buddy. All accounts are coming to bear. Wow. If you guys have a question in the chat, just put it in there and I'll try to get to it. Hey, you good? D Nice wants to know why did he change his name? You know, Gator? That I don't know. Have no clue. The only thing I can think of is that um when he walked away from our family, he changed everything just to uh, have a break. Like nothing would be associated with our family. Mama T, do you I mean, need a that... break? Do you need a break to. Because I know this is imp uh, very impactful. 
Okay, I'm you sorry, to... man. I didn't. I want everybody on TikTok to look and see. This is real pain in a, in a person. This is real pain in a human being right here. Not the fake shit you get from this piece of shit grifter. This is real pain. She just found out some really fucked up news. BJ, don't don't be sorry, honey. I didn't know. You didn't know. You obviously knew more than me, but it like really fucking pisses me off to know. <laughs> That your mother talked to my sister. Mm -hmm. Like, that's how I met him. So I met him is her. And, like, she went along with everything, too. Somebody wants to know, BJ, did he really grow up in Elizabeth City, North Carolina? We were there from 95. I was a senior in high school. He was a junior. It we were born in Raleigh, um, and our dad was a, a Methodist minister, and he moved around. So we moved like every four years. Um, but we were our final house was in Elizabeth City. It actually was Hertford, but he went to a he went, you know. We, this is but just Elizabeth a, City is like ten minutes away. I, I, I'm honestly, BJ, I'm just so shocked that a, a human being who has a mother in a family that love him could sit there, have communications with your family, and then turn around and write such a disgusting book yeah, about and, uh, his I mean, mom. Yeah. And I mean... that. It's like I've told Mama, uh, I really, truly believe there's something wrong with him mentally. Like, I truly believe that. He'll never admit it. None of his little cohorts will ever admit it. But I do believe there's something wrong with him. Um, because you, you, a normal person doesn't act like that. Because, especially now, if his entire family was gone and and deceased or whatever and there was no way anybody was ever going to find out hey you want to lie about your your previous life go right ahead but we were here and alive you know we're going to find out so like I, so and he would do little things to stick little jabs at my mom um, like when he wrote the book, um, he had an article done in the city that she lived in's newspaper. And he had that sent to the newspaper and they printed it about, she said the only thing thankful about it was that it was under the name Dylan Stevens, and nobody knew who that was. But she did, and she read the article because she got a call from my aunt saying, "Hey, you need to go pick up a paper um, because Matt is in that paper." And there was an article in the paper about it. And so she, he did, he did, would do things like that because he knew that she would see it and, or knew that family members would see it. And it's, you know, I mean, normal everyday says people just don't do that to family members. You can hate family members as much as you want. I mean, it's like I tell mom, and I've told this to Amanda, I love my brother, but I love him from afar. You know, I, if this is the life that he chooses to live, then that, that's, that's on him. I'm, I'm not gonna, you know, I mean, Hell, Amanda or Mama knows. I've got 184 followers on TikTok. 
I can't even go live on my own account. The first time I met her was through my wife's account. And so I don't I don't do the the whole social media you know thing. I mean, and, and so I mean, I just, I feel bad for my mother and our our family because he has literally made it out to be that he had this horrible life and he was beaten and he was essayed and you know just horrible horrible stuff and none of it happened i mean like none of it happened if you uh, if you were able to if he let's let's say he was to call you what would you say to him he never would he, yeah he, well the the first thing I would say is, what is wrong with you? Like, why did you do all this stuff to our family? You know, I, I just, we need answers because we didn't need, or deserve, or need any of the, the stuff that he's done. He lied to this woman for 17 years about us. And it just so happened that I popped up in one of her lives one night. And I mean, I, cause I, I was just like, I've, I had had enough of him spreading his lies about his family and, you know, spreading the, the, the lies about everything that he'd gone through. And it's like, I told mama, what, he went through after the age of 18 I cannot speak to before the age of 18 I can speak to I can speak to all that because he lived in the house with me his bedroom was right across from mine I mean it, it wasn't a uh, Gator, do you have a question? Um, I am just. <laughs> you look shocked. I've never seen you shocked before. I'm not. I'm not shocked. I'm pissed. <laughs> I am fucking pissed. I am hurt. I'm fucking. I mean, this this poor lady over here just fucking heard this this bombshell. This guy's had to live with this shit his whole fucking life. How old are you, man? I'm 45. 45. So he's 40 fucking five. He's had to deal with this shit. Since he was fucking 18, dealing with this scam ass fucking brother, bringing dishonor and fucking lies about his family. Natasha, I, 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 I mean, apart, I mean, not even. I mean, Fetty fucking is a victim of abuse. There's people in our fucking chat that are victims of abuse. Yeah. So it's just like, you know. I was in mom's live one night. If anybody wants to read. So if anybody has ever read a child called it. That book and Matt's book are very similar. I've read it. Yeah, They're I've read very. That book. I've read you that read book. It, Betty? Oh, I've yeah. read that book. Oh, yeah, bro. That we book can't hear you, buddy. Punching, bro. You can't hear me? Before you talk, uh, Natasha wants to know if you could show the pictures that you showed on Mama's live. Do what? The I wedding pictures. We I think it's the wedding pictures. They're at the bottom of my office closet. Well, they're buried at the bottom of my wife's work closet. They're, they're in a tote. Oh, okay. But they're on Reddit, so. Uh, Made in America says so he low key played your are you are you saying that he's trying to low key plagiarize the the child called it book? I w I'm not gonna say that I don't know, but I just know his book and that book are very similar. I'm not gonna say it was plagiarized. He may have taken inspiration from that book. Oh man! Dude. But I know that book 
the child called it is a true story. Uh, oh, it's him. very true. It's very I watched true. I, I've yeah. watched the documentary on the man. Yeah, I have too. And it, it's very, it's, it's, mm -hmm. bro, it, this, this right here, as somebody who's experienced abuse in several different manners, this, uh, to know that this man that I thought was somebody of honor, somebody of integrity, somebody who that wanted to fight the good fight for this country. This is how he bonded with you, Fatty. Facts, bro. This is exactly how, I mean, he got all of us in. Is because we all had the core beliefs of this country and the Constitution and, and freedom and the United States of America and our nation. But he bonded and, and, with you on this topic right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure, bro. I mean, we, we talked about this several times. And, I mean, this is when the night I met him, we talked about it. You know, and, and on lives, I think we even talked about it back on live on, pa on panels, bro. So, I mean, it's just, it's wild, bro, to know that this dude was... A, a fraud the entire time bro and and, and after everything we already know everything else that's happened this is just wild bro like i'm just like fucking blown it's embarrassing and, and it hurts it hurts i'm gonna be honest I'm gonna fuck you this. dylan fuck you dylan stevens you fucking punk you fraud i, I want to say this over the course of the 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 history that this community has been together there's been people that have come to us and said this is what we think and I'm gonna tell you right now, we all stood up for him. And, and we told those people they were lying. And I think we would be, I would be specifically rem remiss if I didn't apologize to those people that were a part of this organization and were telling us things. Now, whether it was all factual, what you guys found, I don't know. You know, we never really got down, but you guys, Something keyed you off about this guy that the rest of us had a blind spot for. And I want to just apologize to those people for us not listening to you. Wow. Mama T, are you doing okay? I mean, as best as you can be when you hear more and more shit about how, you know, like you gave everything to one person and then finding out that uh, but only use all that they fucking knew your your childhood as hey look family i want to share something before i bounce i definitely got to get out of here because 4 30 would be uh on me before no, i know Lana, it. i'm okay i'm okay um and um mama t for real i appreciate you coming out tonight you didn't have to really appreciate you doing that uh, and, and sharing in this reunion. Um, I know that was a bad thing, but this is a reunion right here. You know what I'm saying? Me and all of these men uh, that are up here on this panel, everybody that's in this chat, um, you know, we, we have a, a common enemy, but it looks like we are bonding ourselves. And I pray that we continue to do so. For my brothers, Gary, Bear, Gator, Fetty, you know, South Paul, all the brothers that were here, man, we got to do this again real soon. Uh, not on this type of topic, but we got to do this real soon. Like we need to get back to being, you know, brothers. We ain't Absolutely. we ain't gonna be AV, but you know, we still family. Um, and everybody in the chat, I did. I let y'all know I love y'all. I hope y'all love me too. Give me a damn sub. All right. Are you gonna give yourself go. a swirly, Gregford? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, look, I love y'all, man. Hey, Tar Heel 77, <laughs> thanks for stopping by, man. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, look, no just problem, so y'all know, we, we, got, we, we got some mending to do as brothers. I intend to do it. I look forward to doing it, man. I can't wait to hang out with y'all again. Amen. Amen. Absolutely. Later, Bro. Greg. Right, Later, man. Greg. Just so you guys know, I'm the host of the show. So um, just because Greg's stepping off, we're still going to go until. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm all right, not. so I can say it. Peace, Greg. You better fucking follow me back, asshole. Hey, I already <laughs> followed you back, Mama T. I did. I did it last yeah. night. Yeah. We'll make sure to we'll make sure to get you to that many freaking people before you die. Okay. Amen. Amen. There we, there go. There we go. I'm a tomorrow at four o'clock p.m. So <laughs> hurry the hell up. <laughs> yeah, hurry listen, up. folks on TikTok, and if you know guys in the different, if you're not, if you're in one person's live stream and you're not familiar with the other people. 
you you will be. But go ahead and if you want to sub to everybody here, if you want to go over to TikTok and sub Mama T, uh, TikTok, if you want to come over and sub these guys, look, this, this, is, over with. this, this is far from over, buddy. Oh, damn Ooh, right. Yeah, I'm dropping all the links in the chat. Friend. I'm dropping all yeah, the links in the chat for Mama T. I'm dropping them for everybody else. Drop like, them. Yeah, we're, drop we're, we're them. Hey, look, them. and everybody that did sub already, I appreciate it. Hank, Jen uh jessica i mean jessica meredith thank you hey texas i appreciate it love y'all i'm out i really got to go to sleep i love y'all man i'm gonna be off soon later man i'm gonna gonna hang off for a night i got i got a few more gary this 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 situation like this family thing is like right up your alley bro Do do you have anything to comment on this because i know you're a big family man it's what you do do you have anything to contribute? Because I I know those I know those gears are working in your head. How about I'm in you want I'm in all of it. it. I'm in all of it. I don't have really much to say. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm I don't have much to say. It's not the person that you thought you signed up for, huh? I mean, I wasn't there for him. I was where I was there for the cause the whole time. I didn't really. But- Care can about him like that? Can like I didn't get an. I didn't get an opportunity to do anything with that. So, you know, my my thing is, is to see how he was able to do what he did, and I'm looking at this woman just break like this. It's it's bothering me because if he I, like she was, you see how tough she is. You know what I mean? She's been dealing with this for how long? And then something hits that it actually, that's, that's crazy to me. That's crazy to me. So I'm, I'm. I can't believe you guys have any idea how fucking stupid I feel right now. You should. Do you have any any idea how stupid we feel? Yeah. Like we're all in this together. Facts. All right. So do you, you're not alone. I'm sorry, mama. I didn't mean to. Amanda, take this as a learning experience and seriously just don't let it don't let it drive you into the ground. Let it raise you up. D Marie says she was ride and die for him and he does this. Disgusting. <laughs> yep. Pretty much. It seems like every time I get into a chat with Mama, I wind up making her cry. <laughs> I really apologize. BJ, you don't have to be sorry though, but you, I need you to understand. Like, there's every time somebody comes up, like you have more info than I did. Like, yeah. I don't know any of this, and I feel so fucking stupid. Like, I literally thought that the rest of my life was gonna be spent with that man. Like, I after everything that we've gone through. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just kind of blown away that now that everything I've heard from you and Mama T over the last couple of days, like after the initial shock is over, it's not you. It's just it's just now you you now that you're you're now you can see all the little plot lines on where he's at today, listening to this backstory. Yep. Now, Mama I, T, you make sure that those grandbabies go see this man right here, and you—I you know, don't know what—I don't know if that continues, but you make sure those babies get to see that those grandparents and the rest of that family that's not fucked mm-hmm. up. You mm-hmm. make sure that they that they know that their family loves them. So we this is going to be fucked this. up later on in their life. We've talked about this because you know he he told the same thing to our kids. Uh, like the whole story, but not like all the detail. Even his firstborn child, who BJ knows, <clears throat> okay, my bonus child. Uh, I've told them, like, when I found out all the shit, I was like, I would love nothing more than to be able to afford to take the kids to freaking South Carolina to go meet their uncle BJ and their aunt Denise and their cousin. But I am also not, and guys, for fucking all of my TikTok little bitches, it's not me dry begging. It's saying with everything that he's doing to me, he was the one who made the fucking money. 
Like, I can't fucking piss in a pot right now. And I'm not asking for help. What I'm saying is, is it would be amazing for our children to go meet their uncle and their aunt. For us to fucking find out what it's like to actually have a fucking family. A family that I didn't know that we even had for 17 years because I was told they were horrible to him. I cut off my own family because they were horrible to me. And to find out that I actually had people that were like watching the entire time that I had a mother-in-law who fucking gave a shit about me and my kids. Like, that's just like... Yeah. I'm just taken aback. Like, I'm just shocked. Well, it's like, it's like I told um, Mama. I was like, <laughs> I, I hold no ill will because I knew of her, but she had been told for 17 years that we were this, this horrible, horrible you know these these monsters, and she believed him. Which I, if if my wife was telling me all that stuff about her family, I would I would be by her side and and have her back. I have no problem, you know, with the fact that it took this long to for us to to finally meet. You know, I hate that it happened under these circumstances, but you know, like my, my, I have my little boy who's five. He he knows there's Aunt Amanda, um, so and and so he'll when he sees me on her her on TikTok, he'll say, "Is that Aunt Amanda?" And I'll say, "Yeah, it is," and. You know, I mean, he, he's, you know, he, and he knows he's got cousins. And I mean, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, I hated that, th like I said, that this is how we had to meet, but I'm glad we got to meet. Um, I mean, it's, I hate that she got quote unquote, brainwashed for 17 years um but i completely understand her standing by her man and because anybody any normal person would do that you know but now she's able to see pieces that were okay this didn't make a whole lot of sense but he was telling me this is how it was and I mean, it's it's just one of those things where it's like, you know, she just needs somebody to fill in the gaps for her. And it, it's like I told her that first night, I have no skin in the game. I, I could care less what he does. You know, I'm not trying to to get in between them. I want her to have the information that way she can make the the choice and make the decisions that are best for her. And, you know, that's why I've reached out to her. Amanda. I just. Amanda. Yeah. You see what real family looks like? You see what real family looks like? Get, get, get back over there and marinate in that family. You ain't alone. BJ's right there with you, man. People want to know if Mama T has a YouTube channel they'd like to subscribe to. 
No, I t- it took me freaking 20 minutes to figure out how to do this shit. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> all right. She's on so just she's, she's on, on TikTok. TikTok. I put her I put a link in the chat. I'll put it in the chat again to if anybody wants to subscribe to her TikTok, I'll, I'm going to put her link in, to her TikTok in the chat. BJ is a great brother-in-law, mama. I know. Do you have any this questions from the? Wow. Do you have any questions from the TikTok community, Mama T, for the panel? Not right now. Everybody's just like, okay, guys, do y'all have any questions? <laughs> <laughs> so while while we're waiting on them to, to type this in, so we've covered the middle part of this series, and you know, you can, uh, let me ask you this, BJ: you know, Have you? you can, is there anything yeah, yeah. from? Prior to that part that you'd like to share with us or anything you you think that is relevant to this pattern of misconduct, pattern of behavior, pattern of fraudulent uh, grifts that, you know what I'm saying? Like, is there anything that you want to get off your chest or say to us? I mean, he. Oh, BJ, go ahead and share yeah. with the guys like when he left, where did he go? Who did he go stay with? One of his teachers, wasn't it? You would say with a teacher. When he left, when he left at 17 and ran away, he went to move in to his, one of his teachers' houses. And in the state of North Carolina, the, they couldn't consider him a runaway because he was 17. And so she knew where he was, but unless he made the conscious decision to come back home, they couldn't do anything. So th- there's the, uh, the, the first chapter. We got into the second chapter with us, and that, that was very cleansing and healing for our community. And now let's go ahead and discuss what he's been doing since he left the Angry Viking. And let's just go over from, uh, what, 21, 20 on? After he left us, t- tell us what he's been doing. Uh, hey, guys, yes. Anything that's in my bio is only mine. Anything that's in my bio is only mine. He doesn't have access to any of it. Hang on just a second, y'all. Hang on. Yeah. Hey, yeah, DNC, DNI, DNA. That's exactly it. He said that he lived on the streets. Uh, did you take your mask? Do you know? Did you have fun? He said that on live. He said that to all of us. That was his yeah, whole backstory. Yeah, he, he used that to bond with Fetty and manipulate Fetty's emotions. This is a master manipulator. So anybody on TikTok that's still standing up for him, all of you clowns that are battling with him, that still find him to be an ally and a friend, he's just using you. And you might be a grifter too. I don't know. That's your business. You didn't affect me. You didn't affect my brothers and sisters in, in, in this family here. You didn't, you know, you may not be affecting Mama T or BJ. So we don't give a shit what you do. But just know, guilt by association. All right. You guys want to grift with him and do all that shit? That's fine. You keep our fucking names out of your mouth, or we'll come for you too. He said well, that he slept in the gym, the gym at the school. Yeah. No. No. He, he slept under a bridge. He always he always said that he slept in the gym at the high school, and that this teacher found him sleeping at the gym in the high school, and then she would sneak him in so that. Um, he could take showers and stuff before he went to school. No, never. He lived never. in the attic at a firehouse, allegedly. Never even heard that one. And I've been his wife for 17 years. Never heard that one. Just like the man also said, he lived under a bridge and ate rotten garbage out of, out of trash cans. And never was happened. Great, and was great by another homeless man because he was getting freaking food before he did. Yeah, never happened. None of that is true. This is, but it's like I told bigger than I mama. So sick. I mean, you I know, knew this would be big, but this is 
much bigger than I thought. Yeah, this is a lot it's bigger than I thought. I told Mama the first time I met her, when somebody has to lies to lay a foundation, they have to keep up with their lives. Mm -hmm. You have to make every lie bigger than the one before. Because eventually, somebody if you don't, somebody's going to catch on. You know he's watching right now. I mean, I mean they're not even but, catching on, which is so much more worse. Like everybody wants to talk crap about me. Like, oh, I'm the wife. I'm, I'm like, what is it that they say? I'm um, not deranged, but like I'm the I'm the scorned wife because he doesn't want me anymore. Guess what, baby back bitch? I don't want you because everything has been a lie. You're a liar. You're a fucking con. And then I have proof of it, and everything just starts making more and more sense. And you're fucking pissed off doing your crocodile fucking tears. You're doing your yeah. crocodile tears so your skanky fucking bitches freaking keep giving you money. While you claim that you're sending money to your wife and children, who you also have said a thousand times online, you will never let them go without. With you're all a this fucking liar. You're a yeah. fucking asshole. Yeah, and yeah. seriously, oh yeah, and I'm unhinged. Thank you for that text message reminding me of that. Yeah, I'm unhinged. And I can't take care of my children. Since he's been gone, since he abandoned you guys, has he sent any money at all? Any child yes. support? Okay, he has. He has sent money. Yes, that's good. But he also numbers, says that he sent tens of thousands of dollars. Yeah, he says he sent tens and thousands of dollars, and he sends fifteen thousand dollars a month in child support. No, he fucking doesn't. No, that's not true. But yes, he has sent money. Like I have never denied that. I have never said the numbers because it's none of anybody's fucking business. Oh, Period. I wasn't going to ask for numbers. I just want to know if he did no, I'm send saying, money. Yeah, like other people, like he wants to go and say, hey, I've sent her this, that, and the other. It's, it's none of your fucking business. However, I've never denied him sending money. Now, has he sent money since he showed all of his receipts? No, I have not said, I have not received a single fucking dime from him since I believe, and without me getting out of here, if I remember correctly, June 11th was the last day he said money. For his so kid. But a while. don't hold that against me, like I'm saying, for you TikTok freaking bitches. Hey, listen, uh, uh Bear, can I say I gotta get I gotta get off because I gotta go to work early in the morning. Okay. Um, I'm on the East Coast. I just want to say something before I leave, real quick. First of all, Mama T, it was a pleasure meeting you. I'm sorry to see that you're so upset right now. Um, I thank you for coming up here. And giving clarity to a lot of uh, questions that we had as a community, as a brotherhood, as a sisterhood, as uh, people that love this country. Um, Fucking you know, Americans. Exactly. I mean, you know, and to know that we were lied to and had and people were taken advantage of by this man is truly sad. Um, but, you know, what's, what's, what's even sadder is to find out what he's done to his family. Uh, knowing this book that I'm learning about as somebody who was sexually molested as a child and that was abused. Um, this is like not something that's OK to me. Um, and it's to know that somebody that talked to me about this stuff and, and know it was fabricated. Um, it, it, it's, a couple of thousand. It, it, it really it's sad. So um, with that being said, man, just remember, man, this is America. We go, we got to make sure we vote somebody that's going to fight for this country in the office in 2024, man. Uh, and Dylan, while you've been over there wearing dresses, motherfucker, we've still been over here pushing truth, bitch. We've still been over here pushing facts and fighting for this country, you fucking weirdo. So, uh, you know, with that being said, I hope you guys have a good night. And, man, you know, make sure everybody subs to all the channels and shows love, man. It, it You know, it took a lot to come up here and make this live. People were dressed. Say what everybody had to say. So I appreciate um, you, Fetter. Thank you, honey. Much love. Hey, Fetter, before you leave, um, I guess this is yes, your brother and Mod. Um, where do you where do you all plan to go from here? Brother. Who? What? Somebody in the chat wants to know. I think this is um it, it's for all of y'all. Like, where yeah. do you plan to go from here? Where, where, oh, where do we leaving? plan to go from here? 
Oh, yeah. we're going to keep fighting for this country. We all have channels. We all have platforms. Gators back in the, back in, back in the scene. You know, uh, Gary Lamb's doing his things. And, 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 and you know, uh, uh, the real Greg Kelly's back in the picture. And there's a lot of us that are doing our thing. We're going to keep pushing truth and facts. And so tune in. Tune in. You guys will see what's going to happen. But, I mean, as far as we go from here with him, I mean, you know, uh, if more facts come out, you know, we'll most definitely make sure they're they're made public. But I mean, uh, the, the it, everything speaks for itself. So I mean, as far as that goes, but uh, yeah, you're gonna see a lot from us. We're gonna be doing a lot of different stuff. So keep your eyes open. I mean, as far as this situation is concerned, um, I've said it and I'll say it again. He has one chance for this community here. And he can come on alive and apologize to his family. He can apologize to the AV community. He can apologize to his soon-to-be ex-wife and his children. He can come on here and legitimately apologize and own up to all of this. Otherwise, you know I'm retired. I'll make him a fucking project, and you know I will, Dylan. You know it. He's, he's never going to apologize. It. I'll make you a fucking project. He's never going to apologize. Social media. Why do you think that I'm doing it right now? Because he will never apologize. No. He's sending me emails he telling me think he's like, done my mail wrong. shut, he'll send me money. He will never apologize. Hey, Gary, where do you go from here? I go to Disneyland. <laughs> go to Disneyland. <laughs> No, seriously. I mean, it's not even. I don't have anything else to say but to try to cheer anybody up as I possibly can. I mean, this is heartbreaking. I don't know what to say. Now, understand, we could have come in here and clowned him all night long. <laughs> There's so I'm much. I'm not going to lie. That's what I was hoping was going to happen. <laughs> not... This is better, right? No, this is not better. Well, not not... For me. <laughs> <laughs> sorry no i mean it is but it isn't like because here's the thing i don't want to be a total asshole to him but dude you fucking you literally have proven that you don't deserve anything so i wish we were clowning him the entire time and the fact that you said that is abuse victim talk I just can't believe that was all a lie. And you heard it here, guys, from his own brother. Everything he's ever said about being essayed is a complete freaking lie. He never lived under a bridge. He never lived um, in a gym. He never lived. Uh, he never got essayed by a freaking homeless man picking garbage. It's all lies. He and allowed the dog to do it and then talked about it. So that doesn't yeah. count. What do you think about that, BJ? <laughs> I, I honestly... That doesn't run in the family, does it? Can't the hell, no! <laughs> the dog didn't run in that sure the hell would have. I mean, I, I can't believe... So, it's like I told Mama the first time I met her. If he put in that book that this is a work of fiction... Just to be an author, I have no problem with it. But he put in there that these are his real life experiences, and I'm sorry, it, none of it it happened like zero. I mean, it, it, I like when I was reading the book, I was literally turning the page to find out the next amount of BS that was going to come out. I mean, when he was talking about me and my sister playing outside and while he was in the locked up in a shed, we didn't have a shed. That he had to sneak inside the bathroom window to go inside and get food. We didn't have a bathroom window. I mean, like he needs, like, I mean, it just, it didn't make logical sense because I was like, I was 18. My sister was 13. I was already dating my first wife. 
at that house he's talking about. So I was literally never at home. Very, very true, Mickey. Very true. He has no idea how much he just re-victimized all of us who were SA and DV. Yeah, and and the, the the thing that bothers me the biggest is that there are true people out there, true survivors. Oh my gosh, that... hang on a second. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Wolf, please please don't come in here and ask fucking stupid questions. Okay. Number one, look at him. He is literally the fucking carbon copy of my husband. There's number one. Number two. Hey, put, put BJ up on big screen. Number two. Okay. I knew who he was as soon as he fucking came into my life. So don't be a fucking dumbass and come into my life and fucking start acting stupid and saying stupid Tell me shit. that's not Dylan's brother. Oh, that's Take totally his off. brother. Oh, somebody <laughs> actually said that that's not his brother? Yeah. Tell me that's not Dylan's brother. <laughs> that's totally his brother, bro. You Look at that. That's this is Dylan. the, this is the non-chemically induced version. Facts. You got to get I in the light and say nobody can fucking see you right now. Back. Oh yeah, I, I literally <laughs> know everything about this man. <laughs> you know, for the love. I of mean, God. <laughs> I can tell you every school he attended. I can tell you, I can tell you the stuffed animal he kept until he was ten or eleven. You know, and you're his big and, brother, right? You're his big brother. Yeah, he's 44, I'm 45. We're 13 months apart. Oh, I mean, literally, anybody who says that I'm not, I'm not Bot's Wait, BJ, brother. what's the stuffed animal? His name was Champ. He was a monkey. <laughs> Are you sure it wasn't a dog? <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> I mean, he was, he was a stuffed monkey. Did you take the hat off? Oh. oh, let me hold on. Let me blow it up. Give me a second. Keep it off real quick. Oh, he doesn't have a mohawk. It's not him. Oh, no mohawk. <laughs> no mohawk. <laughs> I got a comment from a text message from Nana1776. She says, it's been a long time that they've been in limbo for all this time, and she's disgusted by his actions and the crap it did to the community. And for anybody that is still doubting, anybody that is still um, caught up in his bullshit and lies, we have just laid out a lifetime of evidence, a lifetime of receipts, a fucking history. And he's doing the same thing, guys, over on TikTok. Oh, yeah. Wake up. I mean... 90% of his followers, subscribers, gifters, or whatever they're called, they're, they're middle-aged women that, I mean, he loves. Ladies, I'm single. But, What's up? Uh. I mean, he, he, for some reason, I guess they love the big muscles and the, the mohawk and dirty nails, dirty nails and... Not no, teeth, not, not showering. I mean, that must appeal to dunking uh, your head in the toilet. Yeah, dunking your head in the toilet. That must appeal to women, I guess. Um, you know, I know my wife. If I dunk my head in, my to in the toilet right now, my wife would probably make me sleep outside. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're, wrong, you're right. I mean, it, it's. I mean, it, it, <laughs> I don't know where he went off the path, but he he <laughs> he went off the deep end. So you, you never know. saw a catalyst. There was not no event in his life so traumatic. That he had to that that would cause him to out like this and and just become this total grift. No, uh, never any catalyst. No, nah. no. The only thing that I can think of 
is when he was, let's see, I was, Amanda, did you know about the encephalitis that he had? Encephalitis? No, I heard that he had meningitis. And he no, had it was, a, it was encephalitis. He had meningitis and he had mm -hmm. to have a spinal tap and he almost died. He didn't almost die. He, okay, so we were probably, I was probably 11 or 12. He was 10 or 11, somewhere in that age. Um, oh, no, I heard it happen in college. No. Um, so he came down with encephalitis, which I don't know if anybody knows what that is. That's the inflammation of the lining of your brain. Yes. Um, they put him in a medically induced coma um, for one day so they could bring his temperature down. Um, that's the only thing that I can think of that maybe it scrambled some part of his brain. Um, and cause he, his fever got up to like 106, 107, something like that. Um, that's the only thing that I can think of, you know, and he was in the hospital for Christmas day. Cause I remember, cause I was really mad because I had to spend Christmas at the hospital with my parents. Um, you know, because I was like 10 or 11 and, you know, he was, he was not hydrocephalitis and hydrocephalitis isn't a thing. It's hydrocephalus. He had encephalitis. Shout out to what? Encephalitis. Encephalitis. Yeah. Encephalitis. Yeah, hydrocephalitis isn't even a thing. You mean yes, hydrocephalus? I, I, I know that because my son had the hydrocephalus when he was born. Yeah, he had encephalitis. Is there any history of mental illness in the family? No. But that somebody asked. No, there's, you know, heart and diabetes. Heart and diabetes that's it. Um, so this is but, all just conscious choice. Yes. Yeah, the heart failure is something because of y'all's fucking father. Right. And just in case anybody's wondering on TikTok or here on YouTube, um, we all found out about this where what? Two days ago? We can't hear you. You have to unmute yourself, promoter, from producer. Yeah, we, we found out about three, four days ago, I think when we That's talked right. to Mama T, and then um, we put this together in a hurry. So this isn't rehearsed, is it? There's no script. This is just us getting facts out, because this community has always been facts over feelings. Nana oh. says she's had a fi high fever of 106, lost hearing one ear, but she's not as jacked up as this creep. <laughs> <laughs> He burned a lot of bridges, man. Like, there was a lot of good people, a lot of bad people, but a lot of good people in the Viking gr or group. Not that... a lot of bad people. That, I mean, we had, you know, we had some some odd people, but the majority of the people in the group were amazing. They were patriots. We had, and people, always gonna we have had that different out. type of people. We all connected on the same yep. thing. It was just people. We, we, we saw you. a call to, to unite in, and we did it. I do not apologize. I appreciate you. And you know, to see the biggest somebody... cause we saw was when a, a militia had threatened to burn down Louisville, Kentucky courthouse over uh. over uh, a, a certain case that was going on there at the time. And he came on and was like, "Oh, all right, you know, where I'm going to go there by myself or whatever." And that really inspired a lot of people to say, "You know what? You're you're going to allow the justice system to work." You're you're not going to threaten communities. You're not going to threaten people's lives and 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 communities with destruction. That was the cause that we all stood behind. It wasn't color. It wasn't violence. It wasn't about politics. To be honest with you, 
It was about standing up against bullies that were threatening American communities. That was what this organization was about. And as you can see by the panel, it is far from a racist group. And I hope you can see it's far from a violent group or was. Because that was never the intention of anybody in there. We all, everybody here has broken bread together at some time. These are all my brothers. I got pictures with Gary Lamb. <laughs> Y'all got pictures of me messing up my finger. I ran into a glass door. Yes, he did. <laughs> I cut my finger all up. My wife was over the sink doing all kinds of they came in with no, don't get it twisted. He they came with some with some they they had I the 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 kit that we call a uh, first aid is not a kit. I don't know what that is. That's garbage. They brought some stuff that I was like, why is that green? Oh, it's supposed to like I they had some medical stuff for my finger. So it was they they was right on it, but you know so let me ask casper are you talking about the social network the the social media sites is that what you're asking too because yes he stole all that money too and then i guess Lori defford d ford oh, dylan sad. discarded my dying That's husband right. for a atm machine my husband gave dylan our savings but dylan blocked my husband because he ran out of money Wow. He did. I know that person that put that message out there. Wow. This man what? has no no empathy at all, huh? Not an empathy bone no nugget. Soul. Was he always like that, BJ? I mean, did he always have no empathy? Because you were raised no. by, 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 by a pastor. No, I mean, he... Like I said, like I said earlier, we had an extremely normal life in, you know, growing up. Our parents bought us cars. You know, we, I mean, we had curfew, but I mean, oh, no. we played basketball for a high school team. I mean, we did every day. We had girlfriends. I mean, we did everyday normal kid things. So none of this, none of what he is now was apparent when we were growing up. Listen, um, man, I want you to tell your folks that we're sorry about that book. And we're sorry to you about this book that he wrote and that slandered your family's name for his own personal goal. And I'll make sure that we tell as many people as we possibly can that that is a work of fiction. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's like I said earlier. I I I feel bad for for Mom T. I have no skin in the game. I haven't spoken to my brother in since my wedding day. Um, so. We're going on, what, 22 years? No, since your wedding day? No. The day before our wedding, 16 years ago. 16 years yeah. ago. The Six, day I was going to say 16 years, goofball. Yeah, so I haven't spoken to him since then. So it's, it, it doesn't, like, when I see him do his crazy antics on TikTok, I get a chuckle out of it, but I don't feel... I don't get that. Oh, that's my brother. He's a famous TikTok star. I mean, there, there's. I just see him as. I feel bad for him. I, I because that's not who my parents, and that's not who my parents raised, and that's not the brother I knew growing up. Um, I mean, it was just. I. I don't know. Look at this right here, BJ. Can you see that? BJ. Get a P.O. box so this community can send cards to your oh. mama on Mother's Day. Oh. <laughs> That's this community, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, it's, 
it's it, I felt I like I felt bad for her because you know now I will say my dad has been out of the picture since my oldest was a couple of years old. So I haven't talked to him longer than I haven't talked to to John or Dylan. Um, but so my focus is all on my mom and I, I dreaded Mother's Day and speaking to her on his birthday because I knew she would be just a wreck um, just a blubbering wreck and there's nothing I could do to fix that like I couldn't say that built up anger in me because he was doing it to her and he, you know he wasn't even around and so I just you know I just explained to her you didn't do anything wrong you, you know, this is, this is his life. This is what he's decided to do. You know, just you, at some point you're going to have to let him go. But when you tell that to a mama, that's, you know, that a mama can't do that willingly. You know, it's going to take time to and it it finally did. I mean, it it. I think it was probably two or three years ago that I was able to to speak to her on those days, and it didn't bother her. And so, and the thing that that upsets me is leave it there, Bear. He acts like he doesn't care. As far as he's concerned, he has no mother. He has no family. He kept saying it tonight in his, when he's battling. He had no family. But I'm here. Oh, you got... Um, I mean, I'm here. I'm real. I'm alive. <laughs> you know, I, I didn't cut off ties. You know, I didn't, you know... I didn't do any of that. So for him to say he doesn't have family, hey, you know. He doesn't. Go on. Get. Let him get. Just go on. Yeah. Business. Just get. And, you know, I have my own personal story about mothers. You know, the, the guys in this group, the, the family here know it. You know, I don't haven't shared it, but I have my own personal story about mothers. And this is fucking heartbreaking. To see somebody do this to their mom, to see somebody do this to their family. I, I, don't, I have a story. I, I mean, I have a history with not just moms, but whole families, right? You know, I'm not going to get into it, but this is fucking heartbreaking, man. Oh, yeah. And my mom is it. When we were growing up, as I, I've already told Mama T this, she was the type of mother that she did not want. Are you yelling, okay, Mama T? Yelling in the house. And so, if my father, because my father was, I mean, it's like I told her, we grew up in the 70s and 80s. Corporal punishment, that happened. You know, um, but my mom would always get in between my dad and us. And so my mom would take the brunt of the of the anger so that the kids didn't. Right, and to no, see no, no. Hey, and just a second. For everybody that's texting me, <clears throat> no, I'm not okay. I don't need you to come over. Yes, I'm getting your messages. I'm not gonna freaking stop everything to reply to your messages. I'm here. Okay. Just please let me just like take it in, please. It's just what Christy D uh, Dungeon says. You're processing it. It's a lot to unpack right now. I love you, Christy. Thanks, babe. I mean, um, and so it, it, where he came up with this imaginary life that he lived, 
I have no clue because he had a good life growing up. I mean, I remember... I remember... Because we shared a room up until... Let's see, we lived in Hillsborough, North Carolina in 91 through 95. So, hey guys, he's in my TikTok watching, so make sure that this is good. Baby hold on, page. hold on. I just want to let you guys know that this, just, just to reiterate who we're talking to, the two people on the bottom, one is his wife, one is his brother, biological brother, was raised with them. Knew everything. Just know these are credible people. These people lived with him, broke bread with him, and know them. So I'm sorry. Go ahead and continue on, BJ. Yeah, it was just so we shared rooms up until, you know, we were teenagers. So, I mean, it's not like, you know, this life that he imagined that took place happened. We, I mean, we had, we had a normal life and for him to go on there and get all these, have all these people believing that he was just this horribly mistreated person. If, if anybody can believe anything, I want him I want them to believe that if you give money to Dylan Stevens or Big Old Texan or whatever the hell he wants to call himself, you are literally throwing money away. Literally. Do you call if him? If you Matt? run out of money, he wants nothing to do with you. He will block you and mute you because you can't you cannot you know give him more money. I mean, and it's like I said earlier, I have zero skin in the game. I don't care. You know, I I don't, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't matter to me. It doesn't, if these people want to give away their hard-earned money, hey, <laughs> better you than me. I, I mean... If if I knew the thing and that he's going to have his believers that will say, oh, they're just lying and, you know, believe what you want. I literally lived with the man for 18 years. She lived with the man for 17 years. So 35 of his 44 years. I mean, laid out for you right here. I mean, it's not. I'm. I'm not just making things up to to make myself look better because I, I'm not some mega, you know, social media you realize, star that. You realize that I didn't to, even put. I. You realize <laughs> I didn't even put two and two together. That you literally had him for. 18 years and I had him for 17 years and was he ever jealous of you being his big brother did he ever feel like he didn't get enough attention as a kid did he ever so when you guys would have like your little brother arguments did he ever go I hate this fucking family I wish it was never here no I mean Matt or Matt um, Dylan has Dylan started working out and everything at a retreat we went to up in the mountains of North Carolina. And that's when you started getting bigger. So for the better part of our childhood, he was bigger than me, even though I'm the older one. It does look here. Um, um, I shaved my head. I've got a gut and I'm proud of it. I don't care. Um, he feels the need to show people that he's working out daily. 
He has an okay. inferiority complex. That's why I was asking that because he has a severe inferiority complex. He's very intimidated about not being the center of attention. I mean, typical narcissistic uh, cluster B behavior. And so well, I'm he, he fucks with your head too and tells you that he has body dysmorphia. He doesn't have body yeah, yeah, dysmorphia. Yeah. He, he gaslights. He's narcissistic a shit. So my question is, I, I'm trying to figure out when did that click? I, I, you know, it, I don't think we're going to figure it out tonight. No, you're telling me one thing, you know, and then you're saying that he had a great childhood and that yeah. none of this shit's true. And like, the, there's really no trauma there for him. There's no catalyst in those eight, in those 18 years or 17 years. And mama T got, I guess, a broken version of him. So somewhere between the two of you, his fucking circuit board fried. Yeah. I mean, he didn't like, he's, the person that I grew up with is completely different than the person that she got. That that person, the the person I grew up with, was we laughed together, play or because we were only eleven months apart. We played together growing up. We went out on double dates. You mean thirteen we, months? Part that are 13 months. Yeah, you're, 13, you're 13 months. Yeah, 13 months. When you're fucking online, dude. <laughs> we, we went on double dates together. We, you know, did everything. We went to high school parties together. I mean, it wasn't like we, he did his thing and I did my thing. You know, we went to. Christian, our parents paid for us to go to Christian schools for let's see, tenth grade. I was there tenth grade and eleventh grade. So he was there ninth grade and tenth grade. So for two years, our parents, our parents paid for us to go to a Christian school. I mean, so it's not like we had this sheltered, you know, horrible life that. You know that he portrays to all of his followers, and I mean it's it's he's incorporated this into his grift. Yes, and I, I feel really say, bad uh, for her because she got the version that she constantly was told all of these things so it's almost like brainwashing and I feel really bad for her that I had to basically rip that band-aid off and let that pain infiltrate her life so I, I do feel bad for that um, and as much as she says I don't need to I do because if I had not popped into her life that night I mean, it, I it may have. It, 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 actually, it? it's good for her for healing so she understands that she's not crazy, Mama T. Yeah. You're not let crazy. Me, let me tell you this, BJ, okay? Had you not come in that night and told me everything and continued you and Denise talking to me, I probably would be dumb enough when that motherfucker decides that he wants to come back home because he realizes there's only one person who has ever had his back. I'd be dumb enough to let him come back. Yeah. I mean, I, I agree. And, you know, and so I, part of me feels that maybe I broke up a marriage and you know, well, you, definitely, you, def you definitely didn't break up a marriage, honey. You know, obviously I, there was no marriage in the first place because everything's been a fucking lie. There's been no life together. It's it's all amen, just been what he wanted. That's why I was saying early. I don't know if you were in here, Mickey, but Mama T needs to make sure that those kids get to know their grandparents and. I think his phone died. Well, the Continue father on. the father is not allowed around, period. Like, um, I know y'all don't know about all of that, but no. Their father is not allowed around. Um, and I have talked to BJ and I've talked to Denise and said, like, it would be amazing for us to be able to go meet them. 
Yeah. You know, kind of just do like a low key thing with just them. Uh, meeting his mother, that's going to be a lot harder for me. Obviously, it's going to be a lot harder for me. Like, it's okay. I was abused by my parents. And hey, Mama, let me ask you a question. Do you know how to eat an elephant? Do I know how to eat an elephant? Yes. Um, no. One bite at a time. What the? His son tried to reach out to him on TikTok and the bot blocked the poor guy? Uh, yeah. One Your bite son? at a time. You're going to take yeah, this day by son. day, step by step, okay? Small steps. That's how this is going to work for you. No, absolutely. Exactly. You're right, Teresa. I know. That's crazy that he had one of his bots block block your his own kid. Mm-hmm. Uh, he actually blocked his own child on every account that Monkey has made to try and go and talk to him. Um, then when my son made like a video calling him out, like, Dad, please come home. Like, I'm pissed off at you. Like, I'm angry. Like, so on and so forth. But we were starting to build a relationship, yada, 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 come home. Um, he had every single one of his um, TikTok accounts banned. Yeah. You want to come out with me? What the? F yeah. He had it all permanent. And then literally laughed about it. Yeah. No, he didn't. He laughed about blocking yes, he his did. own He son. literally oh, laughed yeah. about it online that he had his son's freaking accounts permanently banned. And yes, and he blocked his children's phone numbers too. And then wants to say online, like he can't come to the house to see his kids because he'll be escorted off the property. Why are you even worried about that? Why don't you just text your children? Like you don't even have to come here. Just text your children and act like you give a shit. He can't do that because it doesn't fit his fucking narrative. Does it fit his narrative that, Hey, guess what? I need money because I'm this broken man because my wife is doing all these horrible things to me. No, you're a baby back fucking bitch. I wonder, because you know he's watching the show right now. I know my uh, TikTok person, my TikTok person that works for TikTok that is watching my live to make sure I don't get bananaed. He literally said um, his account's in here watching. So eat a bag of dicks. What's boo. banana? You guys keep saying bananaed. What the frick is that? It means you get like TikTok shuts you down. Yeah. Dylan. If you if you want to just lurk in the bushes and watch from the window, just come on in and explain yourself, man. Don't be a bitch about it. I'll give you the we link. We all thought more of you. We uh, the the Dylan that was portrayed to us would have come in here in a heartbeat, and the Dylan that was portrayed to us would have come in here and stood up for himself. That's the Dylan that we knew. Like I've said it a thousand times, I'll mute. And I will give my word on my child in heaven that I will not open my mouth at all. He still won't do it. Damn. All he, all Monkey wanted to do was go fishing with his dad? Wow. Yeah. You couldn't get a hold of him when Monkey got jumped even? Wow. Yep, my son was severely beaten at the park in our neighborhood, and he wouldn't freaking pick up the phone <clears throat> when other people were calling and texting him too. He said that, oh, it's a scam. She's just trying to get me to talk to her because she wants me to come home. When he did this shit uh, last year, um, my son was in jail, and he wouldn't answer the phone either. He said the same shit. That's crazy. Chat, you got any questions? I mean, this is this has gone deeper than I, I. I mean, Bear and I have been working on this for a couple of days. This is on yeah. and, and Silver Fox, and like we've all been communicating and just kind of sharing some information. But I told you even, it was going to be much, much worse than what you we're thought. We're even finding out a lot more shit right now, which is well, why we wanted to do this. Well, I didn't expect BJ to come on. That's the fucking icing I on the didn't cake, expect bro. I didn't expect, I didn't expect BJ to come on. I saw BJ in my chat because, I mean, he knew what was going on and so did his wife. But everybody else was like, in my chat, they were like, no, you've got to bring BJ up. And 
I didn't even think about it that way. And I mean, that was true. Well, because what this actually with BJ coming on, it actually shows the beginning. Like he wasn't mm -hmm. raised this horrible person. He wasn't mm -mm. It's his dad, conscious choice. Yeah, this is this is an actual choice. However, he told me, his wife of 17 years, that he was. I don't think that's anybody's business about the kid being in jail. Yeah, don't, don't, we're not going down rabbit hole, holes, guys. I just can't. You know what, Dylan? I will send the link again. Come on to the chat. Silver Fox isn't here. So, just me, buddy. What are you just, afraid just of? This gator, your brother, your, your family, man. Your family is live right now. Oh. Come I on, will Dylan. Literally mute myself and give you my word on my children that I will not say anything and let you fucking talk. Come, come talk to your brother, Dylan. Come talk to your long lost brother. Come, come, come talk to your brother. <laughs> Remember, you couldn't find me. I'm right here. You couldn't find any of us. We all disappeared. We all went to witness protection pro uh, program and we moved to Dubai. Disappeared. <laughs> Just disappeared. I'm right here, man. You've been looking for me. Couldn't find me. You had questions. Wanted to know why I stole your fucking uh, social media platforms and why I, not Dylan Stevens, shut down the angry Viking. The reason that, you know, come on, buddy. Come explain yourself. Hot shot. Mr. Fucking dress wearing, fucking penis flavored cigarette smoking, swirly doing whatever the fuck you want to call yourself. You're a paper tiger you're nothing and now we've just shown everybody that you have a history of being a fucking scam artist and that you don't have a soul nothing is sacred to you not even family not even blood does the so, youtube panel know about the ig message about his daughter what's that i had do you know that i did. Who, who no. said that? She does, yeah. No, the y'all, they, the guys don't know about that message, y'all. Do we want to know? No, no, you don't. You don't. No. No. Oh, no, I think no. I think I know this one. Well, hold on. I'm not gonna say it because I out of do respect we, do we for Mama bring this up, guys. If you think you know it, then fucking say it. It's already out there, and I did not fucking put it out there. I I read this on Reddit. That he was talking to some girl and said that he liked, he thought that she was as beautiful as his daughter, or yeah. something like that. It was, it was, it was uh, really disgusting. And is that I the daughter not. that was behind? Is that the daughter that we met earlier? That yes. is that who? She's a fucking kid. Yes. And I did not fucking put that shit out there. I found, I found about it later i found that on a reddit on a reddit board yeah i yeah. found out about it literally about 12 hours after it was put out there because I, I, I swear to god dylan i know you're watching if i find out you're a kid diddler <laughs> oh buddy oh my friend my friend it's You might yeah. want to go into witness and protection. He wants I mean, to claim, he I'm wants to claim right that now. I I jumped into his fucking um, IG and I fucking sent that message and all that shit. Okay, number one, if I was gonna send a message. It was definitely not going to be anything that was related to my children. You sick fuck. Also, do I believe that he said it in a sober mind in like any way, shape, or form like that? Absolutely not. I think he was coked out of his fucking mind, drunk as fuck. And so he said something absolutely ridiculously stupid, off the fucking wall, fucked up. Yeah, dude, it was. I am it was not bad. going to have his back in any way, shape, or form with that message, especially considering the fact that after I found out about it, that motherfucker tried huh? saying that I sent that message to people. Eat a dick, motherfucker. Eat a dick. Yeah, dude. Like I read that, and I was like, "No, he did not." See. And yeah, I know Fetty's still watching, and Fetty, that this is a big thing for Fetty. So Fetty, you know what? I'll let you investigate that. I'll let you and your team do your thing, buddy. Yeah, I've had it. And then, like three days later, 
he said thank you to everybody for all the Instagram support <laughs> and stuff going to that same account. Oh, I forgot where I found that. I, sh I should have screenshot that, but you better fucking hope to God, Dylan, that that that. <laughs> Yeah, he's that that was weird and I wasn't going to bring it up. But since they mentioned it in the chat, do your thing, Fetty. I can't believe that. I can't believe a lot of shit this that this guy has done. And now he's. I don't know. I don't know, Gator. I don't know, man. You know, I can't I'm not going to fucking say he is. Just so we're clear on social media and in this chat and in this community, I'm not going to say he is until I have proof. But motherfucker, if I find out there is proof. Innocent until proven guilty. All what right. You know, I, I did. I found it last night at work. Fudge. What was it called? And I think the little girl got um, disgusted about it. Or the person he was talking to. The it's woman, on yes. The yeah, woman, the woman uh, got disgusted about it. She's like, like How? a mom of like three or something. And yeah. she actually wrote him back. She did. She said like, um, that's disgusting. or I forgot what it was. Like basically like you creeped me out. I can't believe that you even wrote this. So I'm like blocking you now or unfollowing you now or something yeah. like that. He offered seventy thousand dollars for people to prove his innocence while claiming he had proof it wasn't true. Yes, he did. And then guess he did what? what now? He did. He offered seventy thousand dollars for people to prove he was innocent while claiming he had proof. That? Yeah. But I thought you were a broke ass bitch in your fucking car. You got seventy k sitting around. Yeah. Is that Dale seventy k? You fucking loser. And you know what? We're, we're not in here as this community to try and get him to repay anything. I don't know. People in the chat, maybe like, that's to go after him if you want to. But um, if, you, if is, you want any of his information because you want to sue him legit because you have proof, feel free to DM me. Listen, we're not here. I, I'm not getting anything out of this. Nobody in this panel is getting a fucking thing out of this. This isn't we're even monetized. For money. We're not asking for you guys to send us shit. This is a discussion this is <laughs> revealing more facts than i fucking thought i'm gonna be honest with you and he can't well, pay his child support but he's got 70k sitting around for somebody to prove he's gonna fucking put out a a fucking a hit or whatever on the fucking truth right yeah well the, and the thing about it is like he'll go on like he'll do a live and tell all his followers that you know everything that if you saw the youtube live that that wasn't true and you know i mean okay i mean you know what dylan if you want to sit there and say it's not true bring me and gator on and i just died bring me and gator oh, on bring us on we'll, we i will tell you to your face that i what i read on that instagram Gator will tell you everything you want to know. I think uh, he's his phone died. Gator will tell you. Mama T will go on there and tell you to your face that you are a pathetic loser. Or come on right now. You could monetize this on your TikTok. Yeah, come make, come, 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 fucking cheerlead your fans. Do a battle while you're in here. Come fucking uh, give me a universe. That's Put on true. a fucking wig and a dress. It's early enough. Be, be it's you, early buddy. enough. Come to here it's early enough he could. He wants he he want come on, he wants to be called daddy by his followers. Like it's gross. I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. So YouTube, he wants on TikTok, he wants the ladies that follow him to call him daddy. If I had a if I had a Mickey KY says if I had a the POS <laughs> would kneel down and choke on it. This is all disgusting. Fucking Mickey. Wiley says, come on up. Not up come on, Dylan. Up. Not up. Yep. 
Wasn't he going to the gym with his bid as bid ass big ass wrestling belt? Hey TikTok, are you not amused? I'd like to see he would like to see Jen would like to see you talk to him. I'd like to see me talk to him. <laughs> we can grab a cup of coffee, big guy. I want to be there. He he tried to tell everyone he had a fancy lawyer, showed up an estimate as proof of having a lawyer. An estimate doesn't mean you got you hired him. It means you asked a question, how much would it cost? And then you said, Oh fuck, I don't got that. Yeah. Didn't he get drunk and cuss Gator out? When if he ever cussed me out, I'd fucking run through him like berries to a fucking goose. <laughs> I mean, he he did get drunk several times and pass out on live. Which definitely. Oh, he not he passed out on the lives on the Angry Viking. He acted a fucking complete ass on the Angry Viking. You get fucked up and act a fool. Really? Do y'all have video of when he fucking passed out? Probably. Can somebody find that because he's continuing to do this now? Just call. Just all his videos. Him call me daddy. Your your daddy's here for you. What is he so like? TikTok, fucking... All you ladies that are out there swooning over this guy saying, oh, he's so sensitive. He's so compassionate. He's such a good guy. He's a really good guy. We just laid out a lifetime of scamming. Go find yourself a real man. He lady. stole the daddy thing from another creator. Yeah, that he was stole this from me. I see him doing this over there. I mean, it's not exclusively mine. It's not copyrighted. But he never did this shit. Well, he's back. Tar Heel's back. Yeah, Dylan, you can go hang out with fucking Irish. He claimed the lawyer was... <laughs> yeah, 16K. Just like, guys, um, he was going to get vindicated this weekend, and he was taking my children from me this weekend, and I'm sorry, the weekend's over. W what happened to that? Please, 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 Dylan. Like like James Brown. Please, 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 come on. <laughs> do, you, do you remember when you were the angry Viking buddy and, and you know, people would come in and you'd be like, come on in, bring him in the chat. Bring him in the chat and fucking eat up a troll. Come on, bring him in the chat. Ah! That's because you were on there. Step into a Slim Jim. Bring your fucking ass in here. Otherwise, you're a pussy just like you called everybody else a pussy. All that time on Angry Viking when they wouldn't come up live, you won't do it either. Bravo! That's seriously, what he still fucking does. Anna says, uh, I kind of get what's going on. I remember Phoenix. Okay, Anna, this is what happened. Okay. The Angry Viking stole thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars from Silver Fox and Gator. Not me. Silver oh, from Fox. Silver Fox. Then he turned around and told his wife, which is in the bottom right-hand corner, that Gator and Southpaw and Silver Fox. Silver Fox stole it. I didn't know about Southpaw. Okay, that Dylan and uh, or that Dale, uh, Dale and Gator stole the money from the Angry Viking. And we shut down the Angry Viking. We stole, or we shut down or stole the social media and took all the money from the t shirts and all the Facebook money and all the YouTube money. But we, while earlier, Mama T just went through receipts where he got that money to his personal bank account. All that about sums up our portion of it 1099 miscellaneous, 1099 NEC. And then now, his brother, this is his biological brother right below me, says uh, he sat there and claimed in a book that he wrote back in 2004 called Wooded Sanctuary that was written for kids, 9th uh, ninth and 12th grade, 9th and 12th grade, that he was a abused child that was had SA done to him, and that he was eating out of a garbage can. His brother, which is right there, who has balls to come on the show, says that uh, he had a normal family. Hey, BJ, I guess you really had a sister. Oh yeah, and he had a, he had a sister. The young, so this is his big brother, 
then Dylan is the or the angry Viking or big old Texan or big old tax fraud. Middle child. This is the middle child, and he had a little sister. So BJ had two sisters. Yeah. Just one. No, yeah, two. No, no, yeah, yeah. Yep, just you one. Two you don't know. BJ, it yet, you got two, two sisters. Two sisters brother. It'll click. You got two, you got two sisters. Here, I got a, I got a picture Denise, of your sister. Denise, explain your, it to him. There's your there's sister. sister. <laughs> <laughs> you have two sisters, BJ. Oh. <laughs> the other one. Goodness. So basically, what we're, what's going on right now, um, Anna, is it's a big angry Viking was a compulsive liar. That hasn't told the truth to anybody in this group. And actually, he disappeared and hasn't even called his mama in 18 years. No, uh, 16. Okay, 16 years. He hasn't called his mama. 16, 16 years because he yeah. was talking to her while he and I were fucking together and I didn't know it. Yeah. So what happened, Mama T? What'd you say? I said 16 years because apparently he was talking to his mother with my sister while he and I were together and I didn't know it. And for anyone that's sitting here saying that this isn't Dylan's brother. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's your brother. <laughs> here, I got a better picture. Here, we'll do this one again. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> This is a mama. This is a mama T exclusive picture, y'all. <laughs> yes, that's a mama T exclusive. You ain't gonna find that I online. Literally have that one that I was actually hanging up on our wall before he ran off like a little bitch. Oh Basically, shit! Who made that? You realize Man. you you're busted as, as a fraud. fraud and a grifter. I mean, that does definitely make the face because he's got to suck on the straw so we can be like, "What are you talking about?" Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's it, it's it, it's Nightshade, really did you, sad. Nice. You know? Did you not just see the picture I just threw up? That's he's basically in dress, an address. Not basically. I mean, it is a dress. All of his <laughs> costumes were dresses. Every single one of them. Oh, oh, that's a uh, BJ and Mama T. She's on TikTok. Please go and follow Mama T on TikTok. The link should be somewhere in the chat. And if it's not, it's literally my name right there. Yeah, it's just Mama T. And my brother-in-law right right there. <laughs> That's my dress that he's wearing. He wore that to H-E-B. Wow. I bet, you, I bet he thought he looked fierce in that shit, didn't he? He, he did. wore a woman's bikini on the live? Logic, yeah. are you jealous? I, I saw. I remember seeing that. Yeah. That. That's mine. Oh Lord. Yep. He's showing his his vagina size and how much he can take in. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. And then it says, uh, "So I Texan after kids." <laughs> I don't know what that means. Thank you for the sub. Yep. There you go. Hold on. Oh Lord! Is that oh, your you dress, Mama T? No, that is not mine. That's when he was married to that other bitch. <laughs> so he was doing that after, after oh, he, he wants, and I got divorced. He so wants maybe to she, the, maybe she turned him. They want to know if is Texan coming after your kids now. He yeah. is. He says he is. is. He says he is. Oh look at that! That's your sister there, BJ. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. He was asked to leave the meet and greet in North Carolina because he was loaded and obnoxious. I didn't even know there was a meet and greet. I know, yeah, that, he the was, I know that he was kicked out of Sam's house because he was trashed. Yeah. He needs a 5150. Hell yeah, he does. It sucks because I knew when around PS Net came out, we Patriots were really scared and desperate for an outlet. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it was. Uh, Actually, what's what's really good about it is Gator and Dale were oh, actually okay. the brains behind all that. Are any of your bras missing? <laughs> no, Hank. No. He's been so desperate about getting followers again. He's re he's reposting old videos to the new account. Yeah. And he's reposting videos that he and I made together in our home. He's so stupid. 
Dylan, I mean Matt. I mean big old nasty. I mean big old fraud hop lover. Oh, just so y'all know, his real name is, is Matty B. Yeah. Matty B. I think I think BJ, you called him Matt this a uh, few times on the chat. Yeah. <laughs> Why did he change his name? I have no idea. Um, but <laughs> I do have a theory on how he changed it now, or how he got, came up with the name Dylan Stevens. I agree with your theory. We've talked about that. Yeah. So my oldest son, his name is Dylan. The parent, my grandparents' street they lived on was Stephen Street. Oh. So he just took Dylan and Stevens and wow. he took your it. son's name? He, didn't, Kaiser he, didn't, so give him, shit. he didn't now, give himself a middle name. No, he didn't give himself a middle name. Um, but that's personally what I think, but I don't have any proof of that. I won't say that's for fact or anything, but that's just what I think because that's just too much of a coincidence you know, but I mean, no, it's... Right. He changed his name before he started all this grifting, right? Yes. Yeah, he changed it before he, he changed it before he wrote the book. Yes. Yeah, because he published the book under... He published, published the book under Dylan, under Dylan Stevens. Stevens. We know everything, um, buddy. Mama, were you aware of the name change before BJ came? Yes, I actually found out about the name change, though, the day after we got married. Hey, just so you know, I'm seeing messages... That now nobody, none of the big guys on TikTok are talking to him. Nobody wants to talk to him. And gentlemen, he, good job. He was pissed off today because everybody that he used to battle, so on and so forth, when he was requesting to battle, they were all declining him. Good, yeah. good job. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're catching on. And I hope you learn something. I mean, I'm not here to teach grown people anything on TikTok. We're here. I'm here today to enlighten everybody about what's been going on for a long time. He does have a middle well, name. He does have a middle name. Fraudulent. Fraudulent. Right. Okay. And let me, let me say something too, for those in the back that don't pay attention. Okay. This motherfucker wants to go and tell everybody that I'm money hungry. Right. Like the only reason I'm doing any of this stuff and calling him out and all of this, blah, 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 is because I want his money. Can, can we take a step back and actually like look at this like logically? If I oh, wanted really? his money, I would keep my fucking mouth shut. Yeah. He joined under Dylan Stevens. What? Right? Did he enlist what? under uh, Dylan Stevens or did he just uh, enlist under uh, Matt? Matt no, when he joined the military, it was, no, when he joined the military, it was Dylan Stevens. Wow. I've got his name change paperwork, but bitches, I love y'all. I'm too damn tired to go fucking search for that shit right now. But I do have a copy of his name change paperwork. Yeah, you don't need to get any paperwork. Yeah, I, you think, don't do I think I think every all of this tonight speaks for itself. Yeah, like hey, just worry just about so the name change or not. Don't care, guys. Like, come on, let's pick our battles. Just so yeah. y'all know, just hey, just so y'all know, any of those big uh big creators on TikTok that wanna, you know, sample this or remix this. Dude, I will not copyright you. You have full. This is this is not done for money. I'm not even. This is not monetized. I'm not asking for no money. This is just to expose the truth about what's going on. About to clear the air of what happened between that douchebag and the the, the original the crew. And at the same time, I we felt compelled to introduce you to Mama T. And then in the course of tonight, we felt compelled to introduce you to BJ over here. The poor guy had two sisters growing up, didn't even know it. Um, <laughs> I don't know if he disclosed the name change. That would be something that uh, the two below would know more about that. Did he to, disclose the name change to what? To the military, I'm thinking. I mean, I he, would have he, he had to. Yeah, he had to. It's the same social. I mean, guys, you can't. He's, he's not smart enough to be able to outdo the military with that one. Yeah. But he was smart enough to not let his wife know what his fucking name was before until the day after we were already hook, line, sinker, and married. 
He blames nobody wants to battle him because he he has less followers as before, but now he can't make the podium on TikTok. Nobody That's wants insane. to battle you, little boy, because they don't want to play with the shitty kid on the block. They don't want to fucking come hang out and be seen with you anymore. Just like we don't want to be seen with you anymore. Just like she doesn't want to be seen with you anymore. And probably just like he doesn't want to be seen with you anymore until you change your fucking ways dylan yeah i was that's just, that's what i was gonna say i guarantee you i guarantee everything that I, I have that if he were to call my mother today and say i am so sorry you know blah that's blah blah call your mom you piece of shit I can answer that, Maureen. It's Matthew because that's what she named him. And, you know, he would, she would take him back. I mean, <laughs> his mama. Put, put it like this. I've got, okay, so Amanda doesn't even know, doesn't even know this. Oh, so, wow. stand by. <laughs> For the love of God, can you stop saying shit? Oh, Amanda doesn't know this. I'm kind of fucking done with those statements. Brace yourself, woman. This doesn't involve you. This okay. is before he met you. So? So, my mother, the last time, so he disappeared for God knows how long, mm -hmm. and then he called my mother up one night. And said, hey, can I come stay with you? And mom being mom, she said, yes. And um, so what is it she said? He started dating some girl down where they lived. Um, I'm not going to say where they lived to. Uh, Pretend Sam my mother. Or one of the other ones where he was doing all of his meth and fucking uh, yada yada yada. Right. So. Oh wait, I was right on something. At least that one don't fucking lie. I think the, her name. Seriously, I've heard the, this. I think her name was. I think her name was Sam. I don't know the girl's name, um, but what I do know is, mom took him in. You know. Let him stay with it. Turned into like a couple of weeks. She got him a job for a big acting production company. Um, and he was an actor in the in the production they were doing. And oh my God, I'm he had see to that work. Shit. He had to work one day. Well, that morning, mom went to go do errands or whatever he was there and she was there the girlfriend was there well matt whatever his name is Dipshit. went to was in my mom's room on the treadmill which mom said that was fine you know that yeah but she didn't mind that but she had an issue because the girlfriend was on my mother's computer, which had all of her personal information on it, you know, whatever. And so she walked into the bedroom and said, hey, do you mind telling her to get off the computer? I don't want anybody on that. And he freaked, slammed, slammed the door open and grabbed a hold of the girl and said, we're out of here. They left. He never called the production company to say, hey, I'm not coming. He just no called, no show. They were going on live. They had a sold out house. And they called her 10 minutes before showtime was like, um, is Matt here? Or is Dylan here? Because we're fixing to go on. And she was like, no, he hadn't. And so she tried to call him and it got sent straight to voicemail. Wow. So he never even contacted the company to, I guess, quit. He just didn't show up. 
Everybody and, wants you to call him Matt. And so <laughs> does he she, even have these two degrees like he claimed? Yes, he does have those. Some women some women paid for his schooling. Okay, number one. Women didn't pay for his schooling. Goodness gracious. Number two, yes, he has three degrees. He has a bachelor's degree from Campbell University, and then he has two associate's degrees from Lone Star College. Wow. So, he was milking that GI Bill. Do what? He was milking that GI Bill is what he was doing. For his last two, for his associate's degrees, mm -hmm. yes. He milked fire science, uh, Fire science and criminal justice. We were married for those. Does he do a lot of blow, people want to know? I'm guessing that that's a new thing now because it's obvious that he's doing something. Yeah. BJ, what was he like as a kid? Was he just the normal, everyday, rambunctious? Yeah, I mean, he was... As a kid, he was the typical middle child. He was a little... Um, little standoffish, but nothing major um i mean he like i said it was the, <laughs> a, just, just a typical hang on hang on hang on he said he just said the other day he doesn't need tiktok he could just take one of his degrees and work nine to five i've begged him for years to work nine to five yeah <laughs> you can't do that because it's too boring. He needs action. Well, guess what? Why'd you quit fucking working for the fire department? And why do you keep telling everybody that you retired? You dumb fucking piece of shit. You didn't That's fucking retire. Thing. You fucking so quit. You, you quit, dumbass. You got into the fire department April of 2012. You quit December 2019. Can can you do math? Because your math doesn't math, boo-boo. Your math Seven doesn't years. math. That's the thing that I don't understand is... You would rather stick your head in a toilet hmm. than work a nine to five. Preach, baby, I mean, preach. Fucking that preach. doesn't like that doesn't make sense. Fucking preach. I uh, mean, people on TikTok. Hold on, hold on one second. People on TikTok that are watching Mama T, send her some. What are you the uh, the, the cash the cash gun machine? Help help her out. Help a sister. Give her out. a hammer. Give her a hammer. Or the whatever money the fuck it is. A Give her the money gun. Give no, her the money I, gun. I want Zeus's. Yeah. Give a her Zeus. 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 Hook her up. She's coming on talking about all this. So hook her up. Give her money what? guns or Zeus's or money Tupac. guns. Tupac. A money gun. A money, money gun. gun. A fried money, money guns. guns. Money guns. Ah. So just so you it know, would, BJ, I, so I went would, on the... Thank you for the gem gun, babe. I appreciate you. You didn't have to do that, but oh my God. I needed to giggle so bad. What happened? And Caitlin sent me a fucking money gun. <laughs> <laughs> and, guys, I just needed to laugh for a second, but holy shit, I just like beat my chest, like trying to act like him. And now my freaking right. left boob hurts, okay? <laughs> Whatever, what other, what other thing? Send a money, send a seal. Somebody send a seal to to Mama T. Who the fuck told you to send me this? Shut up, BJ. <laughs> Actually, what it wasn't, it wasn't BJ. It was Rachel. <laughs> send a seal. Yep. Send a seal over Damn show. It. Lori Poo. <laughs> she said, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Oh, Just, Star said it too. I got to do it twice. <laughs> what do you got to do? Do it! Right, Do it! All right, ready? Or, 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 or. <laughs> what the fuck? Hang, hang Damn it, Stephanie said one too. I gotta do it too. Oh, more somebody times. fucking is a little baby seal on it. Or, 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 or. <laughs> Thank you, my love. Now, Stephanie. Or, 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 or. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I appreciate y'all. No, Mick, you don't tell him to do that because you know that one makes me cry. Yeah. Okay, no, no Leon Lions, no Lions. Here is Angie. <laughs> or, 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 or. So you Look do that I... to get them, or you do that when they send them? I do it when they send them, like, and the seal just kind of like grew, like it came to life. Right. So, <laughs> All right. Yeah. 
I mean, Welcome I just... to TikTok on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, TikTok on YouTube. Damn it, well. Brooke. Or 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 whatever. A whale. Send a whale. Jesus. Thank you, Brooke. <laughs> Greg, I'll yeah. see you on TikTok, buddy. We'll be over there. Yeah, I know, Greg. Gregford, you got to go on TikTok and do that when you get a seal, bro. Gregford. <laughs> Damn it, Brooke again. Or, 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 or. <laughs> this is crazy. Please spamming you. Shut up. Now they're spamming you? <laughs> so uh, Samantha says he doesn't want to get a job as a harem. He has a harem. Uh, has, he has a harem of lonely women to support him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean that, that that's it. I mean... The and the thing, <laughs> the, th the thing about it is, if he you have people right. that constantly are giving you money to live off of, Christine, Tammy with the whales, I love you guys. Thanks, babes. You're never gonna, never gonna change. The only question I've got is, and I've told this to mom before. And, you know, I know the answer is if you're making all this money, why are you living in your truck? Mm -hmm. Because let me tell you, if I made a hundred thousand dollars in one month, I'm quitting my job tomorrow. My wife would quit her job tomorrow right. and my house would be paid off. You know, and it, you know, it's like somebody said, you know, he may have given that money, you know, he may have gifted that, recycled that money back to other creators. I don't, I'm not doing that. If somebody gives me a hundred thousand dollars, I'm disappearing off that app. <laughs> I'm gone. Yeah, no, okay. So I saw on Reddit. I saw on Reddit that this happened to him. That that this this thing that they that they that he and these guys are doing is they sent like I don't know I don't know fucking TikTok. I'm I'm watching seals and shit right now. But <laughs> in a fucking grown woman. But you know, have I done stupid shit? This fucking community knows I'm the dumbest Hi. motherfucker around. But uh, my point is, they, I guess they were. They're battling together, right? And right. They send each other money to pump up the other people. Yep. So that's it's a called scam within itself. It, it's called recycling. So basically, if you and I are battling each other, I would send you a shite ton of coins as me to make sure. Yeah, I would send it to you, but then in return, I would expect you to turn around and send it back to me. But you're doing so the, it as you, and I'm doing it as me. Right. So if I'm battling Bear, you would <laughs> come into my life and boost me up with all these coins to make sure I beat him. Oh. Then if you're battling Mama, gotcha. Gotcha. I would go into your life and do this. I would throw that those coins back to you. It just goes in a big loop. And so, so that's how you make podium. It's like a, it's like Rachel a, it's like a corgi. community Thank fund. You, that they just I don't do the corgi dance, boo boo. I don't. Well, do the it's corgi like a community dance. fund that they shuttle back and forth to make it appear like yes. they're getting more votes, but so it's really nothing. That's why if you see that Reddit post where he says, where he showed where he made in, you know, he took in a hundred thousand dollars, but he put out ninety seven or ninety eight thousand dollars. That's where he just took those coins and moved nope. them or took nope. that money nope. and moved nope. it nope. over. But that's not true. But that's not true. The out number, he's saying that he recycled that. Right. That's not true. The out nope. number, because I still get the fucking emails. That motherfucker pulls out. The max he can every single day. Really? Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. I am glad you said you still get emails. Because this is going to touch back on the middle part of this. Oh, this, what? Uh, Phoenix Network? 
is he still get he's still getting subscriber he still donations gets paid for Facebook from Facebook, ladies and yes. gentlemen. He is still getting yes money from where you donated in Facebook and you subscribed to him on Facebook. It's he's still um, getting I, that money. I think it's three or four people that every month on the 15th he still gets money from those three or four people can you do me a favor can you one day we'll get together and you like maybe tomorrow pull those names up um and so we can yeah. reach out, we can because reach out to them, the emails, and get them the emails come through and it says this one didn't go through this one didn't go through blah 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 but these other ones do go through and so it's i think it's like i want to say it's like 250 dollars every month on the 15th that he gets yeah, logic. That's what she just told me this uh, yesterday. And I wanted to make sure I told you guys. So we'll get the names of the people that are still funding this fucking grifter uh, unknowingly. And we'll get it to you. I'm sure you're in our communities. I'm sure you're um, uh, invested in this right now. So we'll figure out who those names are and get those out to you so you can take care of your business. I wonder if he's live right now. I don't give a fuck if he is or not. Um, he's, he's not live right now. He's in here uh, watching. Oh, come on, Dylan Creeper. My, mother, my TikTok person said he's in here right now. Creeper, <laughs> come on, Cletus. Yeah, come on, fair, man. No, no, it's not. Oh, a TikTok you, you play with such such a it's tough guy a TikTok on TikTok, TikTok stuff, man. You, you're such a badass TikTok. on TikTok, right? You're such an honorable man on TikTok, and everybody thinks you're such a good guy and you're compassionate and all this. Come on in here, man. Come talk to your old boy Gator. <laughs> we'll be nice. Let's have a sit down. You and me, come to Jesus. Why would you lie, Bear? <laughs> you just I, said you'll be nice. I said, yeah, I'll be nice. I'll just. I'll, I'll keep my mouth shut. I'll mute. I would love to see Gator talk to him. I would love to see Gator talk to him, fucking too. I would like to see well, Gator talk to him face to face. <laughs> the thing about it is, is I know he would not come in because he knows I'm here. And he knows he knows in his heart of hearts that he cannot refute what I'm saying. And so he would get called out on all that nonsense. So basically the last 17 years of his life, he's lied. Late and he would have to screen out like this. Um, I didn't lay my screen out like this. I just know how to work a camera. I will. Um, you know what, Dylan? You come on right now. Right now. I will pay you $100 to come on right now. And you you come on right spoil, now. Man. I will pay you $100. I will cash app it to you right now. You don't even need a swirly, big girl. Yeah, big girl. Just come on in. I will pay you 100 bucks to come on right now. If somebody knows his, his phone number or somebody knows his. Really? Anyway, tell him. What do you, what do you want? Right, tell what tell you him. Want? You you want tell him to come on right. Yeah, tell him to come on right now and I'll, I'll pay him $100. You want his phone number? I can give you his phone number. No, he's that, watching. We don't, he's we, watching. We don't want his number. Yeah, he'll need a lion or a Zeus to actually come on. How much is a lion? A lion is $400. A Zeus. What the is fuck? $400. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not paying him a lion. I'll give you $100 right now to come on. Right now, cash money, straight to your cash app. I'll do it. I'll even pull the phone out, and I'll do it from my phone, and you can see it. I'm, on, your, wife. I'm your wife, and I'm the only one who knows how to suck your cock, and I'll do it for fucking free just for you to come on. Woo. Woo. So you're going to get a blowjob and 100 bucks. That's a lion, right? That's about a lion. I would say that's lion value. Wow. You know what? Check this totally, out. Totally fucking worth it. I can brush my teeth afterwards. I know how to brush mine. Oh my god. Oh, check no, check this out. Here, here, Dylan. What I'll do for you, you come on right now. I'll send a cash app of hundred dollars to you. I will send your brother a hundred dollars for your mom, and you'll get a blowjob from Mama T. <laughs> I ain't sucking your dick and I ain't giving you a fucking dime, but I will give you a piece of my motherfucking mind, you little bitch. I think that's fair, right? 
Well, hell, I want to come on now just so I can get the money. <laughs> <laughs> it's come on, crazy. Dylan. Mm. You know what? I'm, dog for you, I, Dylan. I'm, I'm your wife. I'll give you a blowjob and I'll add in $100 for you to take the kids to fucking McDonald's because you're a broke ass bitch. Oh. And you get to see the kids you haven't seen in so long, and you can't wait to see them. I miss my kids. I can't wait to see them. You get a blowy and some fucking FaceTime with the kids. A fucking hundred bones. Another hundred bones. Look here. If, if you could spend a hundred dollars at McDonald's, your mother gets a hundred dollars. Do it for your mother. Somebody your mother said. Gets 100 bucks. Somebody you know in my. Hang on. Somebody in my chat said. Not him trying to decide whether or not to enter the chat. <laughs> oh, he's fucking thinking about it. Thinking hard. A fucking quarter in front of this guy, and he's like, <laughs> "Come on, Dylan. Come on. That's three hundred dollars and a blood job. job. But and the most job. important thing is your mother gets money, and your kids get to go to McDonald's for you. When they you. get to see their dad." He needs new tanks. He's oh, you know what? I'll make the deal even sweeter. Okay. I will buy you new tank tops from Walmart too. I'll make sure that they're multicolored, and I'll make sure there's a size smaller so that you can like make your pecs look fucking fantastic. I'll also buy you a toothbrush and toothpaste. I'll, Hell, I'll, throw, in, I'll throw in some fucking old spice fucking body wash too, and some uh, shit for your balls. Mm. Oh tell wow! What, I'll tell you what, Dylan. You used to tell me that I was, you know, you know, a good advisor and a good mentor, and that you looked up to everything I said. You know, you know, the advice I had given you and the way I took care of you and watched after you. Come back in, and I'll mentor you some more. All right. I can either mentor. I can light a fire in your heart, or I'll light one under your ass. Like I said, he's getting two hundred dollars from me, a hundred dollars from Mama T tank tops and dude just the time with the kids should be worth more than all that that's all Wait, don't forget uh, i added in and don't forget, don't forget the blow job toothbrush oh toothpaste, yeah face old spice body wash balm for his balls no 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 he has an only fans now no he doesn't rachel davidson please oh so god <laughs> please expound Wow. Does he Only seriously fuck. have that again? Only fans pictures of him. If he has that again, yeah, please, you can go look at those. Please yeah. DM me because it is totally worth it for me to pay $5.99 for that subscription to screenshot that shit and post that motherfucker on every gay fucking website possible. You have to pay $5.99 to see people's big toe. I mean, to see his, that's actually a deal. His brain is probably on overload and it's short circuiting. <laughs> oh my lord! Still no Dylan. Still not going to nope. come and talk. Still not going to stand up for himself like a man. Hank, Hank is offering a, a jar of peanut butter in the dog. In a dog. Ooh. <laughs> there you go, big guy. There's your flavor. You know what? Here, here's even better. Even better. Stop being a baby back bitch. Come in here and talk to them. And I will not talk about you or say your fucking name for a week. Whoa. That's oh. better than any fucking cease and desist order. Jen says that. Uh, <laughs> didn't you say his uh, his 11th toe is small? I mean, that's what happens when you do steroids. <laughs> it's like a penis, only smaller. <laughs> I mean, put it this way. When you get to a certain age... Your ball sack is supposed to let you Stop know if the water's cold. Nobody. Okay. Um, his sack can't let you know if the water's <laughs> cold when he sits down to take a shit because they crawled up his ass. Wow. There you go. I've that's too big. BJ, that's too big, buddy. <laughs> you have until 11.15 Mountain Standard Time. You, yeah, you got two minutes per our time, dear. In the words of the great Samuel L. Jackson, "Tick tock, motherfucker!" Dude, I'll let you. I'll make a good God. Come on, I'll let you stick it in my ass. Oh God! You... I don't think you would fit. 
<laughs> I mean, I won't feel it, so that's why I'm saying I'll let him do it. Cheek, so that's all right. We all. Oh, you, got, oh you got the offer. You got the offer. Damn. You got two minutes. Come on, Dylan. Two minutes, and you get a couple hundred bucks. Your mom gets some money. You get to see the kids. You get to go. Oh, fuck. You get a blowy, and you get to go to the promised land, buddy. <laughs> Don't forget, don't forget the t-shirts the and the ball the 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 nut and balm. That's a good deal. And the promised land. That that alone is, I think I'm... you're welcome, Lodgy. <laughs> That's priceless right there. Hey, TikTok. I mean, you, you can't hey, TikTok. Throw a one in Mama T's chat if you are fucking amused. <laughs> are you not amused? Are you not amused? I mean, boom. <laughs> well, it's so like I said, that lady's he, chat. he won't come in here because he knows that he cannot refute anything I've said. I'm not saying anything to disparage him. I, Everything hey, look, I've I, said I'm has been the here, truth. But, uh... My TikTok guys, I got to reset. I just got a text message from y'all know who I have to do it. So love you guys. Bye. He made $2,500 today. And none for the kids. He hey, can't do this. Why did he make $2,500 today? What was his number when he ended in the not ranks or whatever? He looking like the gay Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> hey, you know what we should do? Because we got this guy Logic Rex in here. Making fun of this man dressing like a woman. Lodgy, it's up to you. You want to come up? You want me to? I'll, I'll put the chat in for Logic. Oh, at any time. Yeah, Logic is cool. $100 for you, $100 for your mom, $100 for your brother. Time with your kids that you miss so much. A blowy, an ass fuck. Come on down, Dylan. <laughs> come on down! <laughs> and time's expired. <laughs> I offered it. I let it go for about ten minutes, I think. And he ladies and gentlemen on TikTok, oh, they're not there. But you know, anybody in here that doesn't know this community, this is probably the most fucking diverse community you'll ever find—a diverse <laughs> community of patriots. All right, I'll send it. This. Hey, hey guys. So um, he got off live and said he's getting his kids back. That I know I'm lying about everything that I've said and that he's taking the trash out. That all I do is talk smack and don't know what's going on and he's going to make sure to take me down. Guess what, bitch? I've been down before and I'm not getting down on my knees for you anymore. And I sure as fuck ain't looking at that bitch ass fucking crown that a 45 year old man fucking stuck underneath his belly button because some fucking skank ass hoe fucking took out money on her fucking retirement and sent you fucking coins. And so you went, oh, oh. Uh, yeah. Pow! 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 But the, you know what the funny thing is? He does nothing but attack mama. But he doesn't, even when I went into her life that first time, he never mentions me. Anybody that mentions me in one of his lives gets muted and blocked instantly. He doesn't right. say, Anything against what I've said, he just mutes and blocks them. He does that to me too. So we're on he the same constantly, you know, he constantly is, you know, running her down. Doesn't say a word about anything I say. He just ignores it completely. I mean, I mean, okay blocked his freaking children's phone numbers, blocked his child's freaking TikTok accounts, and then literally made it his purpose to go have every single one of those accounts permanently banned and then laughed about it when they were done. Let me tell you this. I showed up in his chat as Gator. I didn't even say anything. Nothing. And he saw my name and kicked me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Hang brave. on, hang on. I'll tell you this. You're I'll tell so you brave, Dill. He's not that smart. He's not he that smart. One of his he has mods. Did. He didn't know our names. His, no, I'm telling you right now. He's not that smart. His mods saw you don't have a profile picture. 
Then when they saw you don't have a profile picture, they saw your minimal followers following, and that's why they kicked you. What if they, he was the first person I saw on TikTok? It doesn't and I matter. Was like, hey, it doesn't matter. Hi. Doesn't matter. You have any so idea? Fuck how all the new people. people coming on the TikTok. If you're not new on TikTok, if you don't have followers, if you don't prove that you send money to people, you can't be a fan. Nope. Yeah. Big and that's how he is. It doesn't matter right now. He will hold mute and block everybody. He won't. He will have his fucking little hose do it. So hold, just, hold on. Just so you know, if, if, you're, if you're new to the channel, if you're new to the stream, just to let you know, we are talking about Dylan Stevens, a.k.a. the Angry Viking, a.k.a. Matty B, Matty Blair, a.k.a. Big Old Texan, uh, a.k.a. Big Old Texan Family, a.k.a. Big old tax fraud, and uh, with what we have, what we who AKA we have, with us, dildo. Yeah, AKA dildo. You guys like that one, huh? Just so I you that know, that one was great. That was great. This was uh, this was his bodyguard at one time. That's his brother, and that's his wife. Unfortunately, still. So, I just want y'all to know everything you're here, you're seeing on this channel right now, and on. Live on TikTok, there's nothing. We don't want nothing to hide. If you guys, if you guys want to ask questions, the Bring it. it's Anything. open. It's open in the in the chat. Again, I'm not monetizing this. This is all free. If you're a content creator, you are more than welcome to use any of this to expose dildo. You have uh, if you use from this stream, I'm not going to copyright you. I don't know if Mama T feels the same way. Um, guys, bodyguard for what? So Gator was his bodyguard when. Dylan, Dildo, B-O-T, Angry Viking was Angry Viking. I was his personal security. That was the one who made threats. sure that he was safe. Yeah, I was his personal security, and I was the head of security for the Angry Viking organization. Wait, wait, wait. Grandma Michelle, Mama, his piece of shit landlord is on a live now. Oh, I don't give a shit about that trashy fucking cum guzzling bitch. Who's that? Is that his? No, that's just the fucking whore um, that while I was out of no town, I didn't go come to my house and do a no lot of my house, show my home and my car where myself and my children live. And wow. I'll, I'll slit that bitch's fucking you know what. No, he never went to prison either. He's a fucking idiot. Hey, I got something for you guys in the Why chat. Why in the world would you who... fucking even claim that you went to prison too? He's a fucking dumbass. No, never did. Never. That's another thing he he bonded with. Remember Kenny that, BJ? I told you that. Yeah. He claimed that he went to prison because he stomped that uh, his best friend, what was his name, Rodney? Yeah. Right? Rodney's like face that. in because he, he had um, caught him screwing Christina. Nah, never happened. Damn. I don't even know. I mean, unless it happened with you... The man's never even been arrested. You know. Um, oh, yeah. he, he claimed that he went to prison um, because he caught Christina screwing his best friend Rodney and it was attempted murder and he dragged his ass out of the house and freaking curb stomped him. <laughs> hey, hey, thanks, Mustang. I appreciate it. Yeah, nobody was getting next to him. The fuck? <laughs> you haven't heard that, Denise? No. Okay, so, <clears throat> this is Logic yeah. Rex. This is just a... This is how diverse of a group we had. Oh my God. That's Logic Rex. Hey, buddy. Hey, guys. How you been? Long time no see, my man. Definitely a long time. Yeah, how long has it been? It's been well, about a year on my channel, I think. Years. Almost two years since I... Yeah. Damn, yeah, that's a year and time a half, flies. Baby. Yeah. I didn't even realize Bear had a second... Uh, like, Bear, this is your channel. I didn't even know you had this channel. Yeah, I have uh, Barry yeah, Axe, which I... And then I have uh, All American Chicanos Network. Me, Pablo, and now Corey Chico's too. relaunched it. Damn, this is a trip. Damn, Gators, right? good to see you guys. I know. Wow. Do you want this, to say a little bit about yourself and your, how you were involved with the... Just with so Zelda? everybody doesn't think that we're a bunch of fucking dicks. You know what I mean? Logic. I mean, we're all a bunch of dicks. Well, yeah. Yeah. Draw some I'm a level. chick and I'm a dick. Hey, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, it happened the same way. I mean, a lot has changed, obviously, but yeah, I kind of just came across AV the same way as others got connected and 
just like stuck with it for a while and then i remember um one night dylan brought me up and then i got into a debate with red flag laws with him and then after that just stuck mm -hmm. around but it was kind of crazy how everything evolved i mean i feel just as stuck as everybody else i feel conned like yeah. we all do buddy and look you know i said it earlier um or like, no, it's embarrassing you didn't even fucking know that douchebag Lawrence, what's up, buddy? It's it's extremely embarrassing. My for friends all of them. with J Flop, no, J Flop can eat a bag of dicks like he does on the regular. <laughs> Sorry, I'm dealing with my fucking TikTok too. So, uh, Logic, um, can I say that you, you know that, are you you're open now, right? Oh yeah, oh, I've yeah. been open for a while. Yeah, he's a. I don't know what. Are you just a crossdresser school? Let him explain it. Yeah. Um, yeah, nah, I'm actually like, I got into the point where, um, like I'm actually over on Twitter now for a while, just doing, doing my thing. Um, I couldn't That's figure it out. I had to go ahead and, uh, wait, is that go. your picture? Yeah. Yeah. Are you on fucking TikTok too? No, I've never created it. Oh my God. You so should, because you were like the hottest fucking profile picture ever right there. <laughs> I've told I, we, Logic and I have had this conversation numerous times that if I ever went to a bar and met Logic, he better fucking speak up first. Dude, can I tell you this? Okay, hang on. So this may sound horrible. So Logic, like you're like, how do I say this without like you coming off like a? You you dress that way. Um. So it's actually like you uh, haven't transitioned. I actually, um, I came to the realization, um, I've been on HRT for about five to six months now, so I am starting to medically transition. I kind of, wow. kind of lost a the battle there, like five years worth of therapy before I made the decision. So it's kind of. Okay. So what I was going to say, so you haven't like, like done the medical transition, like surgically or anything like that. Um, well, I'm on HRT now. Okay. For like well, the past five months. So, so let me just tell you this. If I saw you in a bar, okay, I'd be like hottest chick ever. And then I'd be really, really excited when we got back to the house. <laughs> oh my God. Just saying, boo. Just saying. I did not expect that. Okay. <laughs> just just figured I'd give you a fucking compliment. Logic, if we got back to the house, I'm going to fuck you up. Later <laughs> oh says he'll fuck you up. I'll be, I'll fuck you up. <laughs> and then we'll go grab some beers. Oh shit! Logic is um, one of the coolest motherfuckers, though. Oh, it's so fucking cool. Logic's always been one of my guys, man. One of, one of my whatever. Oh shit! I actually, yeah, and uh, going way back. I remember the first night on Hoodie's channel when I put the red pumps up on the camera. Yeah, I remember that. Oh my <laughs> Everybody got stuck. But shit, no, I don't even drink anymore. You quit drinking? No shit. Yeah, for about like a year and some. I would months. totally right lick some shots out of your belly button. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Logic. Oh my God. I remember when Logic uh, was just, uh, I don't know, was just a cross dresser. He was a cool, like, we, we used to talk all. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't mean to misgender you, but we used to talk all the time. Damn oh, it, God, I just got a seal, that. guys. No worries. <laughs> I'm just gonna say this right now. I, I, you know, I'm, not, I'm not like working my ass off or anything out there, but damn know, it, Rachel. I, I think I'm not. I don't think I'm or, a fucking or, 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 or. Thank you for another seal. person. And oh, don't worry about the pronouns. Pussy throw. Where is he? <laughs> this motherfucker's getting pussy thrown at him. Well, I am bisexual, so I mean that does work. Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! Two sport fucking pro. Dude, you know what? If, if you if you know how to go downtown and handle business, then we are gonna get along just fine, boo boo. I'll pull your hair and everything. Damn. He escalated quickly. Damn, this got weird. It might work out then. I mean, I, I know I know my pussy ass husband's in here watching, so I figure I might as well freaking. Give him a show. It's like the only fucking three way he'd ever he probably got. He's probably watching Rex over there getting fashion tips. <laughs> oh, it is like that. Yeah, like I could definitely direct him to a link for the wig. I mean, <laughs> it's definitely better than what he got. <laughs> I'm growing my hair out too, so I mean, I won't need the wig eventually. I can just like you know, if I give it over to him. 
Okay, Logic, what do you think of this, bro? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you something, and I want your honest opinion, okay? You ready? Okay. Kind of scared. <laughs> Is he doing it right or no? Uh, I mean, who wore it better? Who wore <laughs> Did you just ask who wore it better? <laughs> I did. Who the fuck are you comparing him to? Wait, was a that real pirate? Your I guess it's a real female pilot, a pirate. You know what? Wait, he, that is he literally that. that is literally Dylan dressed up in a pirate costume. Yeah, that's what, that's why I said gay Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> <laughs> who wore it better, Jack Sparrow or him? <laughs> oh, I mean, if we're going for the gay look, then Dylan def <laughs> definitely is winning. <laughs> Shit. Like, at least shave the chest hair if you're going to cross dress. He looks like an <laughs> ugly version of the, what was the Pirates movie where the, the what the, his, the, cha the Spanish chick was fucking Black Jack, whatever the fuck his name was, daughter. He I, I, literally I, just said Jack Sparrow. No, the other, there was a movie with Jack, the, one of the, did somebody help yeah. me out? You know, I don't Pirates know. Pirates of the Caribbean? Pirates of the Caribbean, but like the third one or something where they had That's the hot still chick. That's at world's so end huh prior to the caribbean at world's end yes oh my gosh you're such a nerd bj he's like he's such an ugly version of that shit of the fucking <laughs> the, the other pirate's daughter <laughs> oh wait I like, I, no i like how no, rex says was... it everybody in my chat is like wait orlando bloom is that the pick that originally won j flop over <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know this, what J-Flop is. What is that? This I is... have no... I can't share the picture that um, won J-Flop over. Just so y'all know, man, this is a bear exclusive from Mama T. <laughs> Literally, Whoa. that picture is in a box sitting like five... No, about eight feet from me. Mm -hmm. That is a bear exclusive. So Mama T gave that. As a bear exclusive. So, Dale, are we still lying? Are we still full of shit? Are we still all grifters? We have a lifetime of history here, buddy. We got a whole lifetime of you scamming people. So, all the bullshit you've told everybody over on TikTok, or all the bullshit you told everybody here, all the bullshit you told everybody on Facebook. Uh, what's the other, the other fucking thing he does? Crumble? crumble that's a cookie place here in colorado uh, it's some fucking <laughs> other website he does right so let me tell you something Twitch, we've just, we've just proven all your bullshit my man all of it and we all offered of you money to come up and i offered you a blow job and i don't even know how many fucking things that's been stuck in and anal and anal you offered it all i mean anal was smarter Clapper, than a blow it. job <laughs> Oh, yeah, we know about your Clapper account, too. We know about all your accounts, my man, all of them. I don't even know what Clapper is. Oh, God. What's a Clapper? I know it's the... another version of TikTok. <laughs> oh. It's like... It's, it's also one of the diseases that you go to the doctor for. Oh, yeah, I know, the clap. 360, he did. The Trump train in Florida. Was that when you guys were down there? Oh, he didn't show up. So here's that thing, too. So he didn't show up for the big freaking thing in Florida. What the fuck happened to all that money? Because I've had a lot of people come and ask me what happened to that money. He what showed up in Florida. Huh? He showed up in Florida. It was just a bust. They because, it wrong. Because, because, because he just, because it was, uh, there was somebody else that, Biden was, running, was, showing... that was running like all the events, like the scheduling and shit. Well, and that person was... never decided to say, hey, before we come down to Lakeland, Florida, are there any other big events going on? So when we showed up, Vice President was there yeah. doing his thing. And so nobody was going to come see this fucking piece of shit. Well, oh, so a lot of people wanted to know where all that money went from that family. That it was supposed to... That's the reason he was going. It was a bust. Wait, what it, family? <clears throat> he had told everybody that he was going there for a family. No, he went there been, for... A, he went there to promote himself. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I remember okay. it was a bus logic. I think we held the... We did a live while they were down there. Yeah, yeah, I remember. I remember the live. I, you I know who it. else started doing a live? Who may be interested in this live? Citizen Stringer. 
Huh. We all oh, remember right. Citizen Stringer over there. I forget what his name is. I'm sorry, but Oh, he changed it because it was something else at one time. Yeah, what what is Citizen Stringer now? Somebody. I know you guys still follow him. What was that called? Um I Nana watches that. I know that. Steve Oatley, there it is. Thanks. Three. Three sixty. Yeah, somebody let 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 Citizen Stringer know that we're give him this live. <laughs> Tell him he's more than welcome to do whatever he wants with it. Yep. Whatever he wants with it. Because Bro, you can't get any more exposed than you just got exposed tonight in the last four and a half hours. Bro, this is getting, this is naked getting pulled over the coals right now, man. Dude, you villain also co covered it, but villains. Rest in peace, gone. villain. Rest in well, peace. No, bro. because all of his little followers over there are going to say, oh, that's not true. Not, she's just an angry ex wife that scorned. Yeah, so, and he'll go on tomorrow and say, oh, they those guys were just, you know, they're all mad because it, when it, I loved his, his saying from tonight was, when you get big on a social platform, people come out of the world work for you. If you didn't right. lie, you wouldn't get, yeah. it's simple. I don't see people going after Tim Pool. The conservative twins, any other streamers? I don't see people on fucking TikTok. I mean, I don't, no. I don't see other people on TikTok getting beat up by, by fucking people from their past coming in saying, "Hey, you're a piece of shit. This guy's a scammer." Yeah. No. Thousands of people. Thousands. Thousands. I have I've never heard of any story or instance where somebody gave them a self swirly. That is the <laughs> first time in my right, life I've I heard that. Shit. <laughs> I fucking saw that shit on Reddit when somebody sent it to me, and I was like, "Wait, yeah, please tell me," because like I saw the beginning of it, and I was like, "What the fuck is this weird shit somebody's sending to me?" And this is how well I know that man. This is how well I know that man. I saw the fucking. I I looked at the beginning of this shit, and I was like, "Oh my god, that's his neck." Whew. I mean, he literally head? shoved his own head into a yep. toilet and flushed. Ooh. Yep. Not a toilet he cleans, but a public toilet. Oh. That was a public toilet? Yeah, yeah at, the, at the gym. Oh my. No, are you serious? That was a yeah. public toilet? Yeah, it was yeah. A toilet at the gym. Oh. What? <laughs> so yeah, fucking I, I mean, who does that? I mean, oh. I follow. Thank you, Nana. Thank like, you. I follow people on TikTok with millions of followers, and I've never once seen half the shite that this man has done. <laughs> I mean, if he's still, he's, I don't know if he's still watching, but I do have the number to a pretty good therapist if he would like it. I mean, <laughs> that's insane. That's depraved. I apologize to this entire community for ever defending him, guys. I am so fucking sorry. Me too. Because I know you people took my word I've for it. Him I know, you, I know when I said he's a good guy, he wouldn't do anything bad. I know you guys took my word for it, and I am sincerely sorry. He, he licked very... the damn toilet? What? Hey. As well, lick the damn toilet. Ooh. Oh. But he said he cleaned it. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Why would that even matter? He, okay, let's toilet. trust. Let's trust that he cleaned the toilet when he can't clean his fingernails or wash his ass or brush his teeth. And you kissed him. <laughs> Ooh. I, I mean, is love is love, is. motherfucker. Love is love. <laughs> Everybody love falls on all time. Don't judge me. Don't fucking judge me, Logic. I take everything back. You know what? Keep a dick in your <laughs> pants, and I ain't pulling your hair now, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, shit. That was me that said rude. it, not Logic. I mean, the wig would come fucking off. rude. That was Bear, not Logic. <laughs> Whatever. Mean, that was I me, Logic. I saw freaking Logic's name, like the little circle, like, not around fucking Logic. <laughs> so, Logic, never mind. I take it back. Bear, go fuck yourself. <laughs> I will later on tonight, okay? <laughs> Thank you. I will tonight. Later on. So, Mama T, you still nervous about this? Did I, did I not tell you it's just a big community of good people? 
No, it absolutely is. But I mean, I don't, I do obviously have no problem saying that I did a lot of fucking crying. I did not expect to hear so much more. And I have no problem saying that I feel absolutely horrible as well. You know, personally, I gotta change my mind on that. I should come down there. That would be like, for me, that would be the biggest revenge. Go fuck his wife. <laughs> Did you just say go fuck his wife? <laughs> that, that was me revenge for Lodgy. I mean, which one of y'all are single? I am. Who said I am? Rex. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. I'm rest. definitely single. I have not had sex with anyone other than my husband in fucking 17 years. There you go, Gator. I can definitely do it better, too. Just saying. <laughs> I'm just I'm talking. I mean, if he wasn't stupid, he would tell y'all that I could suck the chrome off of a fucking. I'm out uh, of the game, my man. <laughs> I'm out of the game. I, I walked away a while ago. I'm just talking shit at this point. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. I'm really, you know, yeah. Then video, video it and send it. Oh, my God. Oh. Y'all, I'm seriously only talking shit at this point because I'm hoping he's still in here and I'm, this shit's gonna fucking wind up on Reddit anyway, so I might as well fucking post it to his OnlyFans account. <laughs> oh my god, what is it called? Only Daddies? <laughs> Trail Hitch. I don't know what that is. <clears throat> That's crazy, though. That is. Only nuts. showers once every six months. Are, is that is that true? Like, is that really true? Or are you just being facetious? Okay, no. <clears throat> so the timeline, no, that's not true. But no, he does not shower all the time. Um, I can tell you in all honesty, I've literally witnessed him brushing his teeth in the past two years, probably ten times. You know when your when your brother gets disgusted like that. <laughs> <laughs> You, li you live with them, I would bring new toothbrushes. I would pack toothbrushes for him when he was going fishing. He didn't Thank use the shit. I feel bad for him. I guarantee brother. you he still has fish guts underneath his fucking fingernails right now from the last time he went fishing, and that was in June. <laughs> That's true. Hey, that's your DNA there, BJ. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, you for reminding me. Than your little brother, man. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just disavow. Disavow, BJ. <laughs> oh, okay. Peanut butter under his fingernails, too. I fucked what? him and had children with him. What the fuck do you... What are y'all laughing about? Facts. No lies. Did you win that one? Well... I personally don't I, I don't see him as my brother brother anymore. Um I don't know who this person is. I mean I, the brother I knew was from the from seventeen years ago or sixteen guy, years that ago. That guy's gone. Yeah. yeah, so I don't know who this guy is. I could tell you who uh, this guy is. He's this guy. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> I mean <laughs> I I I I don't know who I don't know you don't I know. could not imagine treating my family the way he does and right. treating my wife the way he does and my kids and you know I I I, I could not imagine that um, and so I, d I don't know who he is anymore. So <laughs> when people ask if it embarrasses me to see him act like that, most of the time, no, because I don't look at him as my brother. I look at him as some bizarre yeah. person that shoves his head into public toilets for abuse. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I don't, I don't look, I don't look at him as the brother I knew when I was growing up, and you so him, you knew him pre peanut butter and dog hair. Yeah. Oh, God. 
Well, let me just say this. He was he was on his he was in his live, uh, or and there's a video of him sitting there where I guess you, Mama and you and he are having a discussion or an argument somewhere, and he goes in there and he's like, "I got this stuff going on, man. It's all bad. No more depressed." Uh, yeah, Men's Mental Health Day, uh, Month, right? Men's Mental Health Month, right? Well, brother, here's Men's Mental Health Month. This is called an intervention. Go seek help. Yeah. You are. I, I, I truly believe he needs it. Like, he needs to, to talk to somebody, work through whatever issues he's got. You know, I mean, he's it's. undiagnosed, and he is out here just fucking running around, creating havoc. Choices. Yeah. Understand um, that, that later I'm sending you a picture right now. All right. Understand that the choices he's made voluntarily have not only affected his family and his 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 mom, dad, his siblings, it's affected his wife, his children, and his choices have affected thousands of other people. And yeah. his mom. And, that, and his that's mom. a that's the sad thing is that the people out there, you know, in, in the virtual world have given money to him because they believe all the stories from his, pa Goodnight, his past. And it is, you know, it's like I told Amanda that one time or the first time I met her. If he bear, would just bear the picture to bear. If oh my god. <laughs> if he would just come on his help, even his platform, and just say, you know what, guys, I this is up. the real me. This is who I am, you know, and apologize for everything. It it'd be totally different. He may lose followers. Yeah. But, but he would gain followers yeah. by fucking showing that he at least has a soul and that he's willing to redeem himself. Yeah. And but it would he be a much purer environment, a much more wholesome environment than the fucking grift going on now. Yeah. Because the way I look at it is basically he's scamming those people for the money. I, just see, <clears throat> I would like him just to go on. So I would like for him to go on his his TikTok one night and just be all, I love mama. Yeah, I mean, shit. I mean, even myself, I think I got into like the $200 range and that's like peanuts compared to what other people donated. I think I even oh, yeah. put like a, a couple 20s on my credit card for that. Like I was definitely invested in it too. Like I can't imagine all the other money that other people donate. Bro, I get. Do you remember when the big when the big snowstorm hit Texas and they were going out without power and all that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. While Gator and and uh, Silver Fox were gonna go pick him up, I sent him two thousand dollars to help yeah. him buy heaters. See, so that... this is right after the wait, 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 wait. What? Oh, here we go. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, see, that's why ahead, I don't even complain. You sent that motherfucker money to buy heaters? Yep. Okay, that fucking piece of shit was with that disgusting Oompa Loompa. My children were there. Okay. He used the stove in the house to keep my children warm. While I literally was in my home, I almost died. Wow. That's just the kind of person I am. And, that, and you know what? I don't ask... I don't ask for money. I think I asked for money once to go to to a to a certain place that we will not talk about. But other than that, I don't ask for money. Wow, Have you ever seen me ask for money, crazy. Rex? You've been on my show for a long time. Have you ever seen me mm -hmm. ask for money? No. But that's wild. What the, using the stove? Yeah. That's and so we found out about this. Silver that's Fox so and I found out about this, and we offered from our from over here on the east coast from our respective states told him we we're going to come get him the wife and kids and get them the fuck out of there and get them to where it's warm where there's power but he couldn't find us right we disappeared you fucking liar mm -mm -mm. after all that shit dylan we even offered to come save you and your family 
And if the other woman is in there, mama, just just understand, I, we, she needs to know all this shit too because she's just as scammed as you are. No, she's not because she was spending the fucking money that he kept. True. Because I've true. got the proof of it. That bitch was fucking spending eighteen hundred dollars a month on her fucking fake ass fucking weave. Five hundred dollars a month on her fucking eyebrows. Eight hundred dollars a month getting her fucking nails done and her fucking buying her makeup. No. She's not, she is not fucking, she is not innocent in this shit. Yeah, Chica, you ain't That's... kidding. The hole gets deeper and deeper the more we go into it. It's bad, dude. He's not a good person. He's not right, a good back. person. Please hold for customer service. <laughs> Wait, there. Have you gotten the picture from him yet? Yeah, I'm, I'm actually photoshopping it to be a little bit better, so it's not a <laughs> screenshot. So it looks better than a screenshot. Yeah, it, it was just sent to me, so I was like, okay, I gotta fix this so I can send it to you. Yeah, I got Photoshop for this. <laughs> I pay a lot mm -hmm. of money for my show. Oh wow, Lawrence. Yeah. All right, wow. guys. Wow. Is there back. a ballpark number for how much he scammed from these men? Yes, there is. You guys ready? I got a new one. Thanks to Mama T and the Gator one. Boom. Hey. <laughs> God. <laughs> I've seen that on Reddit. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what am I looking at? Wait. Stay flopping. Bye. Stay flopping. So receipts that I have from 2020 from um, all of this AV stuff, um, it's about 80 grand. And oh, that shit. is not including money that they sent to him personally. This is just the websites and the Facebook and the YouTube and the Spreadshirt. It's about $80,000. Jesus. Wow. And let me say one other thing. He hasn't paid taxes on it. Nope. Still has not. Who the, the hell is IRS, doing that? if they ever catch up to him. In, he didn't file his taxes in 2019, 2020, or 2021. Oh! Tax evasion. Yeah, that's bad news, bears. And the government will give it to you nice and raw there, Matty B. Tell me. <laughs> I don't know how he's made that much money and they haven't figured it out yet and come after him. Because after Rona, <clears throat> the IRS is so freaking far behind. Yeah. They're trying to come after people for $600. I okay. know, right? He's going to get that good love. So oh, I mean, my you know, goodness. The good thing is, is he was already a seaman when he was in the Navy. So he's used to taking it without lube. So he should be OK. <laughs> I mean, I just could not imagine. <laughs> I mean, just saying. Damn. Oh, like, and here's the thing. Here's what's so fucked up is none of this shit would have been happening if that motherfucker would have fucking called his fucking wife the night everything fucking went down. Tar Hill is the angry Viking's older brother by 13 months. Yeah. yeah, I'm the older brother. All he had to do was fucking come back home and I would have never been the fucking wiser. Never. I no. would have fucking been this stupid the entire time. Yep. Because I would have never geez. contacted her. I would have never spilt the beans about the book and the everything so literally um no stacy they're not going to investigate me because even though we're fucking remarried per the state i, I haven't filed taxes with him since 2018. lauren so, says I mean, that you look younger than dylan <laughs> than matt oh way, way younger because yeah you BJ do. doesn't do fucking steroids he probably drinks less too yeah i don't drink at all <laughs> Uh, I mean, it, I drink Mountain Dew. Well, there we go, beast. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Tar Hill is the older brother who looks a lot younger. 
For real. And actually probably brushes his teeth. Every day. <laughs> you can tell just when he smiles. <laughs> and he doesn't and he doesn't walk around like this. <laughs> Literally, I I can honestly say that I have never in my 45 years put on a dress. <laughs> never. Never. <laughs> Ever. And you probably have better legs than him. Look at those legs. Look, look, look. Hang on. Somebody in my chat said his next book is going to be called How Mama T Took My Ass Down. <laughs> And that one will actually be accurate. <laughs> be I'm accurate. just waiting. I'm, I'm waiting for my cease and desist letter to come in the mail. I still haven't gotten mine. So I mean, okay, you, you, just remember, he was supposed to be vindicated this weekend, and he was taking my children from me. Yeah. It's over. I mean, he doesn't do roids. Yeah, he, you you don't. Note to self. Who said he doesn't do roids? This is going to be a public service announcement. When hang on, you're hang on. Standing at the who's, refrigerator, grazing on your food. Don't put your don't put your phone do in the refrigerator. Close it and then not be able. He was to talking. Tar Hill doesn't do roids. No, oh, he said okay. Tar Hill doesn't no, do roids. Yeah. Tar Hill said a thousand times he's got a dad bod and he's proud of it. Hell didn't yeah! Court, didn't the court give you full custody? No. In your first divorce, though, right? You did. You got the kids. No, I mean, I've got the kids, but I mean, I'm just the custodial parent. Oh, yeah. Him do the, they want to they want to hear me do the scream again. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> <Dude>. scary. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't. The only, the only reason why I wouldn't want Dylan to go to jail after meeting uh, BJ is his mom. That would crush your mom. Yeah, that would. That's the only reason why, for your mama's sake. Yeah, that would definitely destroy her. Um, because and guess, who, and guess who's gonna who's gonna call first? He's gonna call his mom first to send him some money for some ramen noodles. No, he's no. not. No, he will not. No, he, he would try to get a cell phone to get on TikTok from inside the jail to get one of his followers to he would call one of his fucking moderators or he would call me he ain't ever gonna call his mother no ever. no because he's he... already played that shit out and now he knows the fucking truth of it has come out he will never call her yeah he knows he knows that you know he's burned those bridges he will, call, mean... he will seriously call me because he thinks that I will take him back after what you yeah. heard tonight, you won't. I wasn't going to take him back after BJ came into my life almost a month ago. Ooh, Dylan. Oh, wow, so this was all super recent. <laughs> He'd go live for a commissary. <laughs> I mean, get those, get those noodles and snack packs. <laughs> see if he yeah, and he dunk his head in the in the toilet there at the jail <laughs> from, for coins. I was just about to say that. Oh, so cringe. What else has he done? That's true. Oh, he can't dude, even show even his face here. Last, uh, well, last thing he's a coward. Did. He is nothing but a coward. He is nothing he, but a he's tiny, the, tiny so little man. The same day or a few days or the day before he did that, he got the tattoo of the crown on the below his belly button. What's the crown for? Uh, he lost a bet. Some bitch fucking gave him fucking money. On a damn battle. Yeah. She gave him enough money, so she got a dare, and she dared him to get a fucking crown tattoo underneath his belly button. So he's and got a he did. Him. Then so. he went into H-E-B, I guess their local grocery store. Yep. And went into the middle of the store where all the people were at, and said and announced, can I please have everybody's attention and propose to a guy on live huh? using a ring pop ring? He, he, oh, that's what the comment that's what the ring pop comment was about earlier? Yes. yes. That's angry crazy. Viking, ladies and gentlemen. The angry Viking. Everybody, let's 
That's so cool. Well done, buddy. Well done. You are a fucking pillar of the community, my man. I mean, it, it literally does not make sense that things he does. Like, who? I hate to keep bringing this bag up, but who shoves their head in a public toilet? Somebody that has serious behavioral and mental health issues. Thank you. Either that or drunk. I mean, a tattoo, yeah, you do that on dare, whatever. Does he have more than one wife? Live Freedom wants to know. How can he have more than one wife? Hey, man. Um, I think that's the question. I think that's what they're hinting at. They're trying to make sure that you're you're covered as well. Yeah, he can't have more than one wife. I don't know, man. Frankie Lyman did. He had like five. <laughs> I mean, that's, if so, I hope lot. every I hope every single one of them stick it in his ass raw. <laughs> What's Just saying, Frankie, Frankie Lyman did it. If you guys know who that is, or am I just the old one in the group? Uh, 360, that's called narcissism. He absolutely is addicted to social media, and he's addicted yeah. to attention. And you cannot you cannot take the spotlight off of him as some of our folks used to observe uh, on his lives with us. Is How that is that he, mocking the LGBTQIA? He's talking whatever. about get, getting on the knee and proposing to a man with the ring pop. Is that making yeah. fun of the LGBT? No, he was doing it to be a little bitch because the dude <laughs> that has his back, Max, is a fucking loser too. And so Max is having his back on lives and shit right now. So he was told, hey, go freaking propose to freaking Max on live to embarrass him. But he didn't give a shit. Seriously, he's not making fun of that community. He's hey. just a fucking idiot. Catch yeah. Lori's comment. What is that? Uh, somebody Lori's says, uh, no, it's not Moggy. Oh, is he engaged to a chick named Nikki Friggin? Remember? Oh, yeah. Supposedly he is. But supposedly that bitch is, also, is. That bitch is also married and her husband's dying of cancer. So they're God, fucking dang, really? Two yes. peas in a pod. Yes. Jeez. What's wrong with his belly button? It looks like he's about to blow. When he was sick, he wound up with um, a fucking hernia, and he's always claimed he can't afford to take care of it to get it removed and like fixed or whatever surgically. It's just that he won't fucking do it. So he's got an umbilical hernia. Um, I so had one of those when, well, what was it? Three or four years ago. Um, yeah, Brady was a baby. Um, I mean, I had one of those that I had to have surgery on. I had to do it, go to the ER because it hurt so bad. Um, well, he doesn't have roids and blow that he can't feel the pain. So Yeah, I mean, put it like this. I could actually take, so it would poke through. When it poked through my belly button, I freaking? would push it back in. If you and... have a picture of Nikki Friggin, uh, email me at tcb at tcbshow.net. God, you I, don't want to see a picture I'm just of that curious. Bitch. I'm just curious. You, you don't want to see a picture of that bitch. She looks like she's 70 years old. Oh, she, seriously? Yeah. She's fucking ugly as shit. And then when everybody started calling her out, saying that she looked old as shit, okay, um, she literally went and got her hair cut and colored the same as mine. Shoe. So, uh, seriously? So she, so she's a, she's a mocking of you. I mean, but she's really ugly. She's a fake mama T. And she uh, does the, a, the Sam's tell, Club version. <laughs> you can tell she does a lot of blow. A lot of blow. Like her neighbor literally sent me a freaking DM and said, "You cannot call out my name." But I'm just letting you know, yeah, this is what her life actually is like. That's gross. That's and they a... had receipts, too. So that's the only reason I even bring it up. Hey, Rex, that's Cochina, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I, that's an understatement. <laughs> I don't know what's worse than Cochina. <laughs> so she's not hot at all? <laughs> no, she's like this big around. I think my freaking daughter has more meat on her bones than she's 12. 
Is she better looking than this? Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you said she's married. That's right. You said she's married and her husband's dying of cancer. I, I don't play yes. in anybody else's backyard. But I will fuck That's Dylan's bitch. California. <laughs> well, guys, it was great meeting y'all. But yeah, it is after 2 o'clock in the morning. I got to get up in a few hours. So, brother, yeah, I was about to say, we need to end this here, too, because I got to go to bed. I got to go right. to work. Because right, everybody well, thinks that. I don't have a job, but yes, bitches, I do work. <laughs> all right, guys, so I'll, we'll just leave it there. So if you guys are if you guys are new to the channel, the All American Chicano Network or TCB Reacts, please subscribe. Go to Mama T. Subscribe on TikTok. Logic, are you still doing content? Um, I kind of took a break. Got uh, work full time and part time, so it's mostly just working for me. Okay. I'll catch up to the content, but yeah, I'm still on YouTube every now and then, mostly Twitter. Um, okay. Um, over there. Go check out hey, uh, Logic a Rex. Text there, hot stuff, there. man. I have a, I, we, let's catch up or something. I haven't talked to you in forever, brother. Yeah, definitely. Sounds like a plan for sure. You still got my um, number? Yeah, I do. Okay, well, text me too. All right, sounds good. Get my um, number, boo, because we need to hook up now. <laughs> I'll be calling you, Mama T. I'm sitting here talking all this shit. Logic's going to end up fucking Dylan's woman. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I ever got Gator's oh, number. Oh, you're right. It's awful. <laughs> oh my lord! Oh, it's awful. <laughs> Why anyway, didn't you tell me was this bad? Get to bed, man. Listen, it's great to what? see all you guys. What's this bad? What did you get? Oh, it's horrible. Now, DJ, I you can just dip going. out, dude. Don't worry about us. You can just take off. Right. <laughs> Everybody, have a good evening, man. Great to meet you. Thanks for coming nice on. Nice to meet you, too. The truth and giving good us night, some backstory, man. Good night, night Amanda. The prequel. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see if I, I can do. download this. Yeah, because now I need, I can't, get, you just freaking screamed and said it's awful. I can't it's go to bed horrible. knowing what the hell yeah. it is. I don't think, Gator, I don't even think I got your number either. We'll chat. Uh, well, yeah, Discord. Whatever. Hold on, let me figure out how I to download I forgot the this. channel too, but I, I you know, you, you see what happened. Yeah. I don't do nothing. Yeah, same. I can't wait I, to I see how much I'm on fucking Reddit tomorrow. <laughs> Better yet, how much is he going to be on Reddit? How much is he going to be all over fucking social media now with everybody in his life? Uh, Gators Den. Uh, everybody oh, in his life from childhood until present day coming in here and telling you people. And none of us, except for, the, except for this former angry family, except for this family here, I had never met Mama. I had never met BJ. I never met BJ till tonight. Bear, did she send you a picture of the skank? Yep, I'm gonna. Oh man, she just told me what she did. It's horrible. It's worse. It's horrible. It is like it's it... bad. So it gets worse than self swirling and. No, this is the chick the that dog. he's like engaged to, and she's still married, and her husband is dying of cancer. And then this bitch is so nasty and ugly. Like she literally um, later on goes and cuts her hair and colors it the same as mine. Oof. Definitely I don't know if that person person give us nightmares. Sure. Maybe Jim I shouldn't show this because this might this might mess with this might give uh, Gator nightmares. What? And we know he likes he, he needs to sleep sometimes. I'm already fucking. <laughs> That's after the haircut. Do it again. That's after the haircut. <laughs> That's actually not a bad picture. That's She's just another haircut. sucker. Look at that. She wants some of that gator. No, she don't. <laughs> That's actually Ooh, not a bad dude. picture. That's after the fucking haircut. That's gross. Logic is fucking hotter than her. Right? Fuck. <laughs> Logic, <laughs> duh. Oh, yeah. This is logical. Hey, watch out, Raji. Dylan might be giving you a call now. Oh God, not get that far away. I, I, <laughs> I like, I like big dicks. I'm just saying. It's funny how someone calls him out. He doesn't want to give his energy. <laughs> nothing, nothing. He has no energy you know now. We deflated his ass on fucking TikTok last shit, night. Like he couldn't even fucking finish his, uh, with his battles. Everybody off and scan the system while I'm over here struggling, trying to live right, be right. Exactly. Next right. Shade. It's how I feel too, my dear. Teach my kids right and keep getting screwed. Pisses yep. me off. Yep. 
It's insane, man. This dude is such a grifter. Like, Don't call him A B anymore, Lawrence. He doesn't deserve that title. He hasn't. No, Dylan Stevens. A B. No. A B for a bitch. A bitch. They go. Gonna, he will forever be called Matt. That's Matt. Maddie Blair, Maddie Blair. Maddie Blair, MB, Mike Bravo, Maddie Blair. That's his name, Maddie Blair. Or That's BBB, BBB, baby back bitch. Baby back bitch, the three Bs. You know or dildo. All right, guys, but I'm going to wrap this up. Um, if you guys are, again, subscribe to Barry Axe or subscribe to the All American Chicanos Network. Subscribe to Gator7 if he ever decides to come back. His content will be there. Gator Mama Dale. T for sure is always live on TikTok. You can find her there. She's a great, she's awesome. She burns shit in front of you. And go to Fun Logic Rex on Twitter. Thank you. He's a great, he's great. He probably starts some beauty tips and stuff like that on there that you could look like, like him. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I ask everybody watching this stream, watching on TikTok, watching on this stream, you can find this stream. Uh, which side are we at? YouTube. I mean, what channel? Oh, the All American Chicano Network. All American Chicano Network. This will be there as a recording, a recorded show. Spread this everywhere. Everywhere. And any big YouTuber. It is a fucking danger, to be honest with you. Yeah. And any big YouTubers, you are free to use the content. It's uh, I won't copyright you. Just give uh, give me and Mama T the uh, you know that we allowed you to use it. You know the, the little shout out thing yeah, that you cur courtesy courtesy of yeah. courtesy of us. We deeply appreciate it. I hope you guys all have a good day. God bless and as always, deuces. Till next Thank time, you, keep rocking. Stay in here, Mama.